presentation for the opposition with the theme of fostering resilient communities by combating corruption and promoting efficient service delivery. The Honorable Chagulani Robert Sentama, we welcome you all to this. I want to welcome our leader of the opposition, Chief Opposition Whip, Honorable the Honorable MP for Mandia County, Honorable Jawakam, the Shadow Cabinet members who are here, present. I welcome you, members of Parliament, our invited guests, the Fourth Estate. We are very much going to have a short, a short presentation today, like I informed you earlier, such that we can get back to other business of the week. But also before I do so, we are here as the opposition in Parliament appreciating and acknowledging that we are not those who have been here before. Our elders who have been in the opposition before, most of us are their products. We have them. I want us to appreciate them with a hand clap for what they have done. That is not enough. In because we are facing us the same goal of removing the dictatorship in this country. So I request all of us in the opposition to have one goal, to focus on what we want to achieve, to get to where we want to get to. Um, and uh, he, he, he fed them with only five loaves and two fish. Call them, you, you add and get baskets of crumbs. Now those also fed many. That means we do not have to throw away the crumbs. We can also use them for something else. So if there are people who have gone away from us, in this country, I therefore call upon the Honorable John Baptist Nambeshe to give us <coughs> apologies. I call him to... I have elected to clap. Clap very well. Clap very well. Thank you, Mr. President, yeah. sir, and leader of opposition. I'm Seungu Joseph Gonzaga, MP Kalon County West. But uh, frankly speaking, I'm the Minister of Education. Because the other one is nowhere to be seen, so I'm doing two duties. Full Minister. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> and the leader of opposition gets here 
My name is Ruta Maguzi Semakura. I'm a Shadow Minister of Lands, Housing and Urban Development. Bachireke Nambo Zebeti, MP Mukono Municipality, Shadow Minister for Internal Affairs. Samji Ibrahim, Shadow Finance Minister. Luchams David Kalwanga, CPA Representative. Your Excellency, the Right Honorable Lead of Opposition, and all honorable members, good morning and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Shamim Malende, woman member of parliament for Kampala district and the shadow human rights minister. Your Excellency, the Right Honorable Leader of Opposition, my name is Nyakato Asnans. I represent Hoima City as a woman member of parliament and I'm the Shadow Minister for Agriculture. Uh, Your Excellency, uh, the legitimate president of the Republic of Uganda, His Excellency Chagurani Sentamo Robert, the Right Honorable Leader of Opposition, and other leaders present. My name is Muwada Nkunyinji, Member of Parliament for Chadondo County East, and the Shadow Minister now acting as the Foreign Minister of Foreign Affairs. Uh, thank you. Your Excellency, our Chief Guest, welcome. Right Honorable Lop, protocol observed. My name is Betty Itonaluima. I'm the woman MP for Wakiso District. I'm also the one who is championing full devolution and decentralization in the country, also implying I'm the Shadow Minister for Local Government. Thank you. Mr. President, sir, I am Kanyike Ronald Evans. I represent the people of Bukoto East in Masaka District. And uh, I am the Shadow Minister for Energy and Mineral Development. I thank you. Your Excellency, the Leader of Opposition, I'm Chiaga Hilary Innocent. I represent Maokota North, and I'm the Shadow Minister Arts and Culture. Your Excellency, the President, and LOP. My name is uh, Balimwez Ronald Insuga, the Member of Parliament representing Nakawa East constituency in the Parliament of Uganda, but I also double as the Shadow Minister for Kampala. Thank you. Your Excellency, my President, my Leader of Opposition, Protocol Observed, um, Christine Kaya Nachimuero. I'm Chivoga District Woman Member of Parliament, but also the Minister for Water and Environment in the Alternative Government. I thank you. Your Excellency, the President, the Leader of the Opposition, Amanja Richavakuchika, the Woman Member of Parliament, Ginger City, and I'm the most experienced Shadow Minister for Trade and Industries. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Your Excellency and the Leader of Opposition and colleagues, I'm Nantongo Fortunate Rose, the woman MP Chotera, and here being the alternative government, I'm the full Minister of Gender, Labor, and Social Development. Your Excellency, the Leader of Opposition, protocol observed, good morning. I'm Frank Kawie. MP Cassandra South, Shadow Minister for the Youth and Children Affairs. Uh, Your Excellency, our President, uh, the Leader of Opposition, colleagues, um, Nyeko, Derek, the Minister for Defense and Veteran Affairs. Thank you. Of Parliament for Kalangala District. I thank you.
ladies and gentlemen, Ugandans deserve better health care. They deserve better education. And they deserve better infrastructure in order for them to live their full potential and benefit and enjoy all their fundamental rights. Because education is essential for producing skilled workers, a workforce that will transform communities, it's therefore important that our children study subjects and courses that are relevant to their passion and natural abilities. We cannot achieve without changing, we can't achieve this without changing or in fact overhauling our entire education system and realigning our education institutions. Considering that 75% of Uganda's disease burden is preventable, then we must make our priority to invest in disease prevention rather than disease cure. This should be done in addition to hiring skilled and professional health workers through a fair recruitment process and go ahead to remunerate them fairly and on time. We must think about our creative area, think about our creatives, provide conditions that don't only protect their intellectual property, but also create conditions that help them to live to their full potential. About the creative that could go on and on and on, but the rest, I guess, Dr. Hilderman and uh, others who are creatives and within our leadership will elucidate on that. However, ladies and gentlemen, as attractive as all these alternative policies might be, it is actually impossible to achieve them if the leaders in charge of our national resources cannot rise above their petty selfishness. We must resist, we must reject, in fact, we must eject all forms of corruption in public administration. Otherwise, all this will be going to a waste. Our sources will continue sinking down the long drain of personal greed at the expense of our collective well-being and at the lives of our people, our children, and our children's children. As a national unity platform, we shall continue to take decisive action in that regard. Friends, many good proposals have been presented in terms of policy alternatives, in terms of laws, by ourselves and other leaders. But let us be honest. No matter how good our thoughts are, no matter how beautiful our proposals are, they shall never see the light of the day for as long as dictator Museveni is still in charge of this country. That is my firm belief. Yes. We must continue telling Ugandans the truth as it is instead of, you know, misleading them with eloquent speeches. We must paint to them a picture of the problem and indeed need go ahead and point at where the problem is. The man who has ruled our country for almost 40 years now is not just a political opponent to us, no. He is the embodiment of Uganda's problems. He's a living testament of corruption. He's the testament of oppression. He is the embodiment of the abuse of all democratic principles. In a nutshell, he is the roadblock. He is the stumbling block between Uganda and its progress. So let us face the reality and deal with the reality as it is. It's until you diagnose the problem that you'll be able to deal with that problem. I mean, he and his cronies live in extreme luxury while our hospitals are sick and our schools are rotting away. Yes, we have alternative policies. Yes, we have brilliant minds here in Parliament, you know, wonderful at economics, wonderful at debating and all that. But we shall debate, we shall propose, and we shall articulate issues. But let me be clear to you, once again, my brothers and sisters, that no matter how good our alternatives are, 
no matter how well intentioned you, our MPs, are, it won't make any difference for as long as we don't have any power to implement those good ideas. We must get used to that fact and deal with that fact exactly the way it is. I mean, we can draft the most comprehensive budgets, we can allocate funds meticulously, we can strategize endlessly, but as long as Museveni remains at the helm, the efforts will all be like rearranging cups on a falling table. We must channel all our energy. We must channel all our passion and all our abilities and all our determination towards one singular mission, removing the dictator and reorganizing the country as the citizens of Uganda. That is the only way this is going to be possible. So I continue to encourage all of us here present and those watching us outside that we must do what we must do. You cannot take a step unless you unlock your feet. So for now, what we have as a great resource is our collective determination and collective will to have a free country. And after having that, then we shall go ahead to build a Uganda where all Ugandans are equal regardless of their ethnicity, regardless of where they come from, regardless of religion, tribe, or social class. We shall go ahead to build a Uganda where leaders lead with integrity, where leaders are true servants and citizens are the true masters of their destiny. So let us use this resource that we have to put an end to this dictatorship. Let us use this resource to change this country once and for all. I thank you for listening to me, for God and my country. For your bread, six for your family, straight, straight, straight. We're gonna start. One, two, three. 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 Kuwa <laughs> ye nache malira yowe ni museveni nga ye senteze guanga zona zona azimalira mkwe kumira mbu inza kugulira bakulembeze wa mwetorode na kunyigiriza bantu so echizibu chetu ino kusoko kujao ye nache malira museveni then tuberene dembe ezivisasanya senteza uganda si mkwe jarabia na emu kutereze vyo ebisano kutasa bantu nga masomero nga maluariro nebila ifanana wevicho
Kala nsonge no nene ji reducinga kumuntu omu. Uh, nsonga jemba tesikonye kwe nsonga yenguzi. Ekute ejembe. Ni wangu bade omu kufe na ye ya sanga monsonge yu. Na ye abamu kulira vipasingo kulia nguzi. Okugeza speaker wa fewano. Speaker wa parliament ya Uganda. Ye nachinku mkulia nguzi. Elecho cheta goku ogeru wako. Nsi nechimanya. Nensi ne mkulinga autu. Kupanga sente. Zono nebuwa parliament ya nusubulu kuchusubula mbaba antu. Bonji nyo. So obulibu nguzi ye kansa. Ayono nye Uganda. Kati chafuka institutional enguzi ya fuka angeli ya kwe kumirambu inza na angeli ya kukakanya bavuganya government so enguzi inge kule mberu wanita mongo speaker wawano no munga mulimu sibo kabo kaba enarimu na inga mulimu na abafe chizibu nyo era na chotu ino chiru wanyisa ate tuja chiru wanyisa fenga NUP tuja kukola kukozi sebi kolwa sibi gambo wetu ino ubu inza wona ukulu wanyisa enguzi na itu wagala na budi chitongo licha government Chiko sobu inzo obo okuluwa njise nguzi kuwe nguzi ya sisigiza yugane mabiga. Ulire mwe abajite kao. Tewali lutaro rona rona. Okule kango ngamanti okule chitufu luba lutaro. Okule chitufu luba lutaro then tulimu lutaro. Hira tu ino kubela mulutaro. Ngatuluwa njise nguzi, ngatuluwa njise obuli yake, ngatuluwa njise obuwa nache malira. Do luba lutaro. So, si mchibi na chafe. Nzendo uza mchibi na chafe. Tuandiba denga echo ukula bilako buli muntu kaberenga speaker wa parliament ya gude ya kute ya lide nguzi kaberenga minister na akanga vurwa ngabe chino kubera fenga NUP tuba wa chakula bilako tuli option era mu Uganda mpya betu bikola betu job bikola ngatumazo kukuba na chema lira ku uh, kukukakanya ate kusa kuba memba bange ben kulembera mu kibina njagala nnyonjo gere ku nsonga ezigasa egwanga lyonna kati budget yenu si ya NUP yoka wabula e reflectinga ekifana ncha opposition yona so sagala ensonga za NUP atenzi ingi ze mbibine bilala njagala njogere ku chintu ekigasa egwanga lyona lyona si kibina choka nga NUP we bale nyinga tulooza nti bwaba obu menyi bwa mateka oyina kutesa na amenya mateka bwaba obu menyi bwa mateka nga waliwo evidence obwe obu o o o, 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 o obujulizi obumulumika then amateka gakole bumuga amanti te amam omuntu baba menye teka batesaganye naye then tujewa amateka bibere bya kutesaganya baganda bafe abasi wa makomera te baina musango no lwe nsonge iyo baina okuyimbulwa embagirawo awatali kwa kulizo kubati baina musango baba baba ino musango baletebwe mu koti bavunaniwe omusango gubake mu vi obaba gusinge bejerere so si kutesa ganyana bo. Iye nkola ya chie kira. Tetu kilizi ganyana yo. Tu kilizi ganyana mfuga. Ea mateka. Edabo yetu natuwa lubu inza. Ye mfuga jetujo kutambuli lako. Mwebaza. Lok tufisiza yo akade. Na jako mparlamenti. Nga tusoma jevaita alternative budget. Luna kuruwa lero. Era evi gambo vya president. Vyevi vera o. Fa budgeti. Tena wa kusoma na soka. Na tuitiramu. Na ye abada yo garanti we tuba tu somanga budget zino batu zikola. Tulino kulaba nga ziri practically on the ground. Tio soma figures na ye figures nga ziri related ne ku service deliveries kubanga budget ever meant to offer services to the people. Katina gamanti tu solo kuba ne no kogero luzungu or unje nyo ne togera figures and nunji na ye chili eri munansi wa ordinary citizens of omuntu wabli jo. Okulaba ntiebebe ya njini bietuwa ugera mbajeti. Babira bako. Elana agambe bietu sovolo ukubira ba. Nga tulina good governance. Obu kule mbeze. Obu teke chiti wa mumbali lila. Obu kule mbeze. Obu takiririza mkuli anguzi. Obu kule mbeze. Obu walking at the top. Chua mkule mbeze bu agama. Tizino tusente tuzitade mu ministro ya herese. Dalanga zibera yo. Tuzitade ministro ya yebi ngudo. Dalanga zibera yo. So njaga la kumweba zako ntia taskinze na darafe ngaba kulembeze tutulino kubere endabiru wamu eri bana Uganda bona kubanga endabiru wamu eri reflecting echo society chebeli no kulaba so twagalo kumwebaza na tokusinga byonna speech ya tedde munga tukubiriza nti tulino kwegendereze nyo the way we behave especially as regards to financial handlings abali na docket says tunulire byensimbi sifefeka Never enough for Balala Mugwanga, but in Oktunuri, they know that do we use the money for the intended purposes? 
kubanga we batu wa sente zifana na zia ne tukola budget inge shininga na yenga intended purposes are not fulfilled the ordinary citizens will always be in, in having bigger gaps in terms of services so kakati ya chiche mweba zako nechi dala ukula, ukula bantino atuza mwa manye we are not yet there but we shall be there very soon Yes, sir. We have a budget here. 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 a budget here. We a selected few individuals abali related to power center ngabo kabe baba eba compensating ku center so land fund twajita dem some good billions mu alternative budget yafe okulaba anti nazo zibera mu budget tusobola okulaba anti waliwe bitundu ebimu ngaba ba landlords bali willing ko accepting a compensation from government through land fund E, basobola okuleka abantu okubanti nonti nabo beta iza kubibanja byabo ekyo kubiri Mugundi ya fe tuachita demunti government yokuwange liirira weisa infrastructure zayo on time. For example, wali uweba yise ngudo, neyaba antunibaba anja sente za fe, nga baba value wingabu lichimucho nanga chagua, abantunibaba anja sente za we for years and years, kakati tuwaba gambe muzino sente ziri mwezi gendo kusasula uh, amabanja, domestic debts, ziri no kubera anga na zo ziri kumuanjonyo, uh, okubanti no naba antu baba bafune sente za abu mbude. This is done at a, a nail speed and the right of way is not obtained before we go to banks to borrow money. We have segmented because the point we make of the resilient communities look in agriculture we borrowed money 309 billion borrowed to boost agriculture is unutilized. And uh, we provide the table here for you to see. We borrowed the money for digital transformation. It is also not utilized. We borrowed the money to fix our broken road network to the tune of 13.2 trillion, it is still there, not utilized. There are road projects such as upgrading Ruwer of Talangu, for which we borrowed 44 billion from OPEC in 2018. You can imagine we borrowed 2018 to upgrade this road, but the money is there. We acquired 895 loan from the African Women Bank for the construction of Kampala Jinja Expressway. That money is also there. Government is looking for money to pay for, for, for passage. So the money for roads, even before you begin the allocating what is available, even if you are using just the money that you have borrowed, 13.2 trillion and the roads that are affected, a list is here, it will be provided. The same applies to the health sector, where we have borrowed money to fix our health infrastructure, but this money is also not utilized. It goes to innovation, technology, and development transfer in the manufacturing sector, 200 and uh, 76 in public sector, 43 billion, regional development, 109. I am giving you figures of money borrowed for these sectors or for programs that is not utilized. In the energy sector, we have borrowed up to 3.3 trillion. We have used only 2.3 trillion. And a list per sector is provided, which we'll be sharing. I have now moved to domestic areas. 
the total stock of central government area, according to finance, rose from 4.8 trillion 2020-2021 to 7.9 trillion in 2022. So the Finance presents a figure of 7.9 trillion as our domestic area. The Auditor General presents a figure of 10.8 trillion. And this is money owed to people who have supplied the government in various categories, including quarter awards, taxes, pension, ETC, rent. What is worrying is that uh, government is only providing 200 towards clearing domestic area. So government uh, owes its suppliers 10 trillion, but in the budget they are providing 200 billion. So it will, it will take them maybe my remaining entire life, because I am 50, I don't think I will reach 100 for this government to clear this debt when they are not contracting new ones. I now move to abuse, as noted earlier by the leader of the opposition, abuse of borrowed money. You may all have interacted with the report of the Auditor General. The Auditor General reports on page 84 that we, we have vaccines for COVID worth 300 billion that have expired. Remember the loan the last parliament contracted during the COVID period from World Bank and IMF. 300 billion was used to buy vaccine. Now these vaccines have expired worth 300 billion. There are other drugs at national medical stores worth 33 billion that are also expiring. Interesting. The Minister of Health now says they are going to use money, part of the money of Gavi, to go and destroy the, these vaccines. So you have borrowed the money, vaccines have expired. Now the money brought here by donors to deal with other problems is what you are going to use to, to go and destroy the expired uh, vaccines. I am reading all this list that will bring me to a figure because we need to clean the budget. Our proposal is that this budget must be clean. One of the figures that you will find in the budget, aggregated figure, this government is spending 187 billion on renting offices every year. 187. Even if you are not a contractor and they give you 187 billion every year, you can construct offices for someone. But maybe these buildings are theirs. 187 billion is what is being provided in the budget for rent. And we have provided a figure. Can you imagine you go to France and you rent for embassy 3.9 a year? In five years, anyone, even of average understanding, will use the 3.9 per year to construct. But we are spending, and the whole list is provided here, what we are spending on embassies, what we are spending on buildings, including later on I will be showing you, we are also renting uh, some structures for state house. Maybe the president and his wife are not fitting in uh, Nakasero and Entebbe. So they are renting extra buildings. So the list is provided here of where we are paying money for rent. Next financial year, we will spend 780 billion on transporting public officers. 780 billion. On average, that's what we spend. Because Usually we spend 220 billion acquiring new vehicles, 
we spend 404 billion fueling them, 155 billion on maintaining these vehicles. So in a year, we are spending 780 billion. The leader of opposition earlier spoke about phasing out, uh, which is part of the presentation that you have, reducing on cost of public expenditure like other DCs. Because another DC in Rubaga, the best you can do is buy him a motorcycle. <laughs> Someone is resident in Rubaga, that's where he's another DC. You buy him a pickup of 400 and then you fuel it and maintain it and give him a drive. And all they do is to visit one radio station after another to go and uh, badmouth the opposition. And you will see a whole fleet 200 vehicles, brand new pickups for other DCs. And you all know what they do in your respective areas. Because they, you can even buy them bicycles. So the table here is showing how much you are going to spend on buying vehicles, on fueling them, and maintaining them. We are also spend, we are going to spend 162 billion on donations by our leaders. And the list is provided here. Mr. M7, under his residence, he will donate 77 billion. Again, he has what he calls support presidential initi initiatives, 59 billion. Parliamentary Commission has 4.9 billion for communication and public affairs. Again, M7 has 4.2 billion in his office donation. The Prime Minister has 3.7 donation. The Speaker of Parliament, 2.4 billion donation. The National Council of Sports, 2.4 billion donation. The government whip has 1.8 billion donation, not his entire budget but he has 1.8 billion for donation. The opposition whip has zero. If the leader of opposition has nothing to donate, what about the leader of opposition? So the whole list of who has money to donate that comes to 162 billion is here. You can interact with it. We are going through this list, and I'm about to come to an end. I say this is going to be a summary. Looking for money that will be reprioritized. That's why we are going through this list. Money for donation, money for vehicles, money for this. All this money can be reprioritized in the sectors that the head of opposition outlined here, health, education, sectors that are going to help our people. But before I do that, let's look at the revenue projection. We had problems with the finance when they came to Parliament. They said revenue the projection was that it was, it was going to grow by less than 1%. Yet on average, it has been growing by, uh, by 11%. And that's why they had maintained 29 trillion when you go to the side of um, resources to finance next year's budget. When we, man we maintain the annual revenue growth of 11 it means we'll have 33.4 trillion and not 29. And then I want to come to other areas to complete the list of what we have identified as luxuries in the budget. That list, if it can be highlighted there. Next financial year, we have 34 billion for ceremonies and state functions. 34 billion. When you see 
these NRM people going to a function. They have 34 billion for ceremonies and state functions. Travel inland, next financial year we have 671 billion. Travel inland. And travel abroad we have 108 billion. We have 152 billion for workshops, meetings, and seminars. 297 billion special meals and drinks. We have, I have already read out the list of donations. We have 133 billion for welfare and entertainment. When you put this together, you will have 1.5 trillion that is available. And our proposal is that even if you reduce it by just 25%, you'll have 1.1 trillion available. I now come to our budget proposal. After doing all what I have outlined, we think the realistic budget for Uganda should be 43 trillion shilling. Not any other figure. Why? If you look at the, and you need to take note of this, every year government presents a budget, and I'll use last financial year, they presented a budget of 54 trillion. When it came to the actual release, they usually publish in newspapers that we have released money. Most of the time they have released the air. Because what that release means is that they have now asked the government agencies to begin submitting invoices to finance for payment. When those invoices are submitted to finance for payment, there is no money. The most interesting thing is that uh, even when they budgeted for 54 trillion, they made the release less than 5.4 trillion. By their own release, they have a budget of 54. When they published the theoretical release, it was raised by 5.4. When it came to actual money that is spent, it was actually 43 trillion. trillion. But they released uh, about uh, 49 trillion in theory. But they did not even release the whole budget as, as they had presented it. Uh, we are doing this coming to a figure, and this will be the, the last part. The figure that has, a, if you can go there, the figure that has our budget. So we, we've made proposals on what to remove what to reallocate these sectors, and I said we will not be going into details of what we intend to, to reallocate and to what particular sector and department. But eventually when all this is done, um, you will come to a budget of 43 trillion shilling. When you will have removed all the luxury, and our proposal is that uh, once you've dealt with this luxury, next year you don't even have to go and borrow nine trillion uh, from commercial banks. And then if for a sustained period of three to four years you are not borrowing, it means now you'll have more resources available. You'll no longer be spending 20 trillion on servicing debt. Finally, um, I hope I have been clear because I said this is going to be a summary. The NUP president, the Honorable Chagulani, made here very substantive statement on M7 being our problem, and I share it 100%. Part of the problem that we have in this budget, <clears throat> and this indiscipline is replicated elsewhere, is that the country has been made to finance Museveni's life, both public and private. I'll give you an example. 
the title first lady means someone's wife, isn't it? In fact, it's not even provided for in the government hierarchy. But next financial year, we are going to pay someone. His name is Waiswa Charles Baker. His job is executive assistant, first lady. So for Museveni's wife to be Museveni's wife, we must recruit staff for her, including an executive. I don't know really how he's going to engage with two adults who are married. But his job, and he's paid four million. Because how can you be paid to be an executive secretary to an existing office? The office of first lady does not exist. But we are recruiting someone to facilitate that office that does not exist on the government's structure. And the name is there. You can look at the policy statement of the president. We also have a, a special presidential assistant on household affairs, Butajira Penrope. This person is paid uh, this person is paid uh, eight million per month to help uh, these two adults on their household affairs. And that brings the entire list of people who work at Museveni's residence to one thousand. As you, you earlier interacted with it, he has a uh, 51 cleaners, 62 cooks, he has 80 gardeners, 29 housekeepers, 10 dobby and around area tenants, 100 private secretaries, 14 room attendants, 22 presidential assistants at the residence, <clears throat> 51 waitress and waiters, and 14 presidential advisors. So these are people who are supposed to be helping our president and, and his wife because State House is provided for under the Presidential Monuments and Benefits Act as a residence of the president. <clears throat> Interestingly, and we'll be sharing these lists as well. Mr. M7 has also created another category of mobilizers and political, some of them are mobilizers, political assistants in the state house. They do Museveni's political work, but they are paid by Uganda. For example, someone mentioned Namiaro here, the one who was in Kororo abusing Muslims who went to Foftari. Her salary in the state house is 12 million per month, but she sits at Museveni's office as chairman of NRM in Chambogo. So someone who is employed by NRM in Chambogo is on the payroll as a special presidential assistant, 12 million per month. That list has nearly 200 people who are doing that sort of work, we'll be sharing it. So honorable members, the details of our locations, of our proposals, uh, in a booklet that the lead of opposition will launch. And these proposals are proposals sector by sector, program by program. What I have outlined here is a summary and the structure of the economy. So I want to thank you very much for listening to me, for God and my country. Thank you, the very able finance minister, Honorable Samuju Ibrahim Nanda, for that very elaborate presentation. And thank you for being brief. Uh, allow me, honorable members, welcome the Honorable Miriam Atembe. She has just joined us. Honorable, we welcome you. Please feel at home. She's one of the elders I talked about before. 
and we are very thankful we still have her in, in our presence. Uh, honorable members, allow me, uh, that is honorable members and our visitors, allow me once again welcome, because I welcome these members in the absence of the leader of the opposition, the new members of parliament that joined us and that they are in the opposition, Honorable Apio, that is Honorable Dr. Apio and Honorable Sarah Guti, please stand up for recognition. You're welcome once again. I would also want to welcome our, some of our guests here and allow me mention the names. Mr. Chris Nkwatsibwe from the N National NGO Forum. You're welcome, sir. Thank you for coming. We have Mr. Aibaziwe Innocent from the Ethics and Integrity Forum. You're very much welcome. Where is he? Thank you so much for coming. And um, allow me, honorable members, at this juncture, like we said, we're not going to take a lot of time. Uh, allow me to invite the leader of the opposition to launch the finance, our budget for the financial year 2024-2025. That is all enshrined in that book that we all have. Honorable members, please go and read uh, whatever is in this book and understand because I believe most of you are going to be invited on different TV stations, radio stations, to tell the country what it is all about. So let us understand and uh, best present the opposition of pa the Parliament of Uganda. The leader of the opposition, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Helen. We are pretty much coming to the end. I um, understand we have some representatives from the UN who have joined us. I don't know if they are in the room somewhere. Are they? OK, well, um, we'll probably try and locate them at some point. want to appreciate you again, colleagues, for making time and coming. I want to appreciate again the director the office of the leader of the opposition and the technical staff who, who I tend to stress. Well, not stress really, but, um, you know, we keep driving them as hard as we possibly can to produce this work, and they are doing an incredible job, even when it's a lean team. But we appreciate them. I want to also, again, welcome the Honorable Dr. Miriam Atembe, who has just joined us. She's got numerous commitments, but she has come nonetheless. As I end, I'll invite her to say hello to us in about two minutes or so. As Honorable Helen has been saying, we do produce this work. Uh, let's, let's make good use of it. Um, it will even help us to keep shaping the next ones. These are documents that we avail so we can interact with them. Um, our alternative budget priorities were captured from our alternative ministerial policy statements, which were laid in Parliament and they were brought to your committees. I hope you have been attending these uh, sectoral committees and interacting with these documents and, and so on. But again, when you get the documents, please find time and read so you can excogitate over them and we see how we keep improving them so that the next time we have even better watertight documents. This, our opposition priority areas, we did unveil it a couple of weeks back and um, we were saying this is what we want to be focusing on, critical issues, you know, corruption, poor service delivery, human rights abuses, etc., etc., to make sure that uh, we execute our mandate. We unveiled this a short while ago. There's another small document that um, we have availed to us. Herein is our budget speech. It's a summarized version of uh, our breakdown of the alternatives, what we think needs to be focused on. So we have captured it in this document. 
And finally, this big, fairly big, not too big, uh, booklet here is what has our alternative budget priorities for the different dockets. So you'll find herein what we are proposing should go to healthcare, what we are proposing should go to education, to infrastructure, to all the service delivery areas. And we are showing you where the money can be gotten from. Honorable Semuju has very ably, and I want to appreciate him, made his presentation to show the wastages, to show the corruption and so on. So when we are telling government that you are allocating so little to healthcare, we are telling them this is what ought to be allocated there. This is what ought to be allocated to the different dockets. And we are also pointing out where the money can come from. Because normally, when we say allocate more to healthcare, allocate more to education, infrastructure, and so on, they say, but you see, we are a poor country. We don't have the resources. So we in the opposition are saying, we do have the resources. Let's cut down on the wastage that we have been showing you. Let's stamp out corruption. We shall have the resources to deliver services to the people of Uganda. And so ladies and gentlemen, I take the pleasure to launch this uh, booklet which has got our alternative budget priorities. Our hope is that, uh, yes, the good, amazing ideas in this booklet will be picked for the benefit of the people of Uganda. I thank you. Trillion Njakuba on the donation, Jevampa, Mping and Nengabinakuba to Buffy. Echitario, on Baka Parliament, Wavurijo. Sikanya no Murundi no Gumu, Kubanti Waluom, Kulembeza over donation, again Dagabidavant. Have a president with Gwanga. Saint Ezo, Zikola Nyo, Nazidim Pulwe Mu, again the Oxovolo Kulava, Gekula Kulanyavant, who wants say you. Kuba Kula Kulanizawam, Yomukwaliba Kanyan Constituency Development Fund. Gatujuko system. I zone hands off. Tiba kaji yaka uumbi, kula kula nye constituency, kakwatiwe mikono mitufu, haba ntuba ganyuremu. Nye donation zizi neno, nga ziga bibwa offices. Sika anya na zonze, sima yi prime minister, sima yi president, na kabelo opu, obo gabida wa meko, na gabida wa meko. Obo kade wa haba ntubuli mu Uganda, chitika tasobu la kula ki, ezo sento wangazi wa deyobu wii. Kwa sembele da, ku budget nga wuride, mwini di opposition ya sports, olo oza, chimala. Uh, but what you get, uh, of course, uh, sports national council on Gayo, Emigos over the Muri Egirio, Bulio Mo Ario Akava, Yagaloka Tegeza, Gamunavia Mizanio, Atabus Babus, Vedavia Galeno, Tewali Saint is about Tecamo Sports. Boba Tecamo, but Tecamo Twitter peanuts, Buton Dala, or two cage seller, never did you get a cup of course in Avunan is Waku Netball. Nengo uli nanti, annually, milioni bisatu, mubutufu milioni bisatu mu Uganda, ziba zigenda kolachi. Nechitegeza wateka mubutono dala. Tuino kude yoku drawing board, ni tumanya ABM za nyo, bigata ko bitia. Eza tuino kude ntumanya anti, ni wanga wabati bigata ko, because tutio kugata ko, tuje sente mpitilivu, nga bazungu jibuza wafechi ingamu sports. Ni wabatu tade mu sente, kuinvesti ingamu, tosobola kujia mu sente bakama vangi. To be no, to not be a guanga. To not be a guanga, Jukwa H. Fanan, in the Senga to the government centers, the air was as on none a take our bad nature because the Samuel is a good way, Zamaru, you know, as it umma or Kubango Muendo got interest in Munene. Go to Sasula, Senga centers, to Savolo Kubanga Zigan, and I'm such relation as you call it, take as a budget here for Yandi so once in a year, or find an uncle president who have no one to know a navy, or was a bit wound you with ya. Netu bite kama government yenu nga sifa ba sobolo kusala wanti chino chetu ina koko kukola Chitegeza vyo nabye tutege, tutege koko kukola tuba tuyuwa mfufu tuyuwa mutaka tewali chetu sobizaba na Uganda chigenda kubakolewa Okuja konga tumazo kuchuso kukulembeze kwa guangali Na yo kuwa kechifana nye kubichi ebi tukosa sawa zino kwe kugeza anti government okwe ola sente Nezi sawa bali 
neta ziko zesa ate sentezo nesigalange ezite ezisasulira omusoro monene nnyo echo kugamba bo kitunulira munti nno ebyo abya malwali ronga bibibu ebiti na toyi najjo sobola genda kumpi mu malwali raga singa nga wali ebitande ebimala oba eddagala elimala nenga government ina sente zetu ulide ate ezisasulira ko omusoro omunene nnyo kugamba kituteka mu mbere raga nti no muntu atuweleza ayagala kututira dala olaba abasobozi bali mu kweka rakasa lwa misoro nayo ina sente zewe woze zili wabali zitu de zisobola no kuyamba ko okendeze embere no kugamba nze njekala kwebuza na abatufugo babantu ko bibine bintu ebimbi etago okujja mu muzanyo tusobola kunga mandi sente waze wola e billion zisuka mu bibili okukola amalwaliro okuimprovinga ku innovations ne technology naye tusobola na zitu alayo obo yagala nsi obo yagala kutaba nansi e e olugudo lwejinja tuli manyi bulunji ntu buli muntu aluyitako okabirayo nze ntano kulu kwata dawo banga manzi tugenda jinja nera likirita kubanga jamu akukwata no bangwe basibide mu komera nayo muntu yewola esende zuka mu bubumbiro nana okukola olugudo azituulide azuwera omusoro na yesente takoze taina kola cha ina kola so priorities za government twagala kubuza ezitekawa so tugama ntsenga esetenga right priorities ndi ku improving ngudo we was sent na Uganda Kampala buli wo itabinya binya 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 chikwe wonyisa obulumi buno twagala ba na Uganda bategere ndi senga fetu ba de no buyinza sawe twandi gambe bugambe kati olujinja olugudo lejinja balukole encha so wandi ba de toza ne echo kulabira ke chirala the government ye wole sente zisukam mu mu efurumya sente zisukam mu bilion 18 okupangisa ebizimbe omukole bwe emire mu government kugamba echindo echo chirumya no muntu omuntu ne bobera gwe musobola okwewola ngo 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 ogena kupangisa wali so ogena no gula wali wa chiri ekizimbe chibuli mwaka tasobola gola yo kizimbe kugamba government chirabika ne bizimbe byabwe kugamba bana abantu ebintu bino ebakola bya bya kunyigiriza nsi ne twagade balaga kifana nyi nti senga sente zino zikwasibwa bulungi gwanga lyandi gobolo demu nyo na abantu bali kubanga ekimiriza o budget munsi doza wandi tuni de sectors bidi ebyenjigiriza ne byobula kakati webanga abana bachasomera wansi we miti ningo ina sente ozitulide bikuga ebintu bino byewunyisa anti tulina okubibulira abana yuganda ne byabulumu so ekifana nche tugeza ko kuanti ne wanku ba desa wazi ne birozo bya kute bisobola kutuka ne tumaint mu bange litali lya wala ebi bitu agalo okusa mu nkola ikwanga lijene mmaso hola moje mu kundi yo genda yo tode mekanika am nze sha dominisa wa agenda leban social development sector yonna eno sekte kwata kumbera zo obuntu nga abantu mwe muli abakozi mwe muli enkula kulana ne chikula cho muntu nga alternative budget to dem sente 1.3 trillion nga zino zisingira dalo genda ku abantu okutumbula embera za abantu eno ye sekta ekwata da ku bantu ku bachala enkula kulana ya bachala abavubuka abakadde abalema kati fe sente ya fya kuteka sente mwe byebigenda okuyamba okutumbula zetu ita vulnerable groups of people okutumbula embera za abwe atena dam sekta edi very delicate sekta ya labor organization bana abana abagende ebweru abagana makola eh, Saudi Arabia abagana okole WNA inti baleta sente nnyingi mu economy na yate ntono nnyo ezitekebwamu okulaba nga tulondola embera za abwe eri ebweru je bagenze no bayamba kubanga bizibinyi bafuna eno sector yoke nyine nga iyo efunye 105 billion okulaba nga tuteka wezo systems ezira abantu zigenda kulondola abana bano okubayamba iyo naje bagenze kubanga bera mawanga embera je bali mu tujitegera naye nga fe government tuba tulina okubafaako wadde bagenze bwe bwayoga na kwanga baleta sente sente nnyingi actually ba contributing a sente nnyingi nyo eno sector eta sente nnyingi nyo ku budget ya Uganda naye ate tulaba nti ntono nnyo ezitekebwamu okulabanga sector ekula kulanyizibwa okusokera dala fe nga abo ludda oluwabula government Biyo nabye tukola tubikola nga tubikola mu mateeka. Olwalero budget je tuyisiza eya trillion ana mwenya. Ekole ku financial ya eyo mwako ogujja. Tutaddewo bichi bye tutekeddwa okusokera ko nechi njagala okusaba government ya fe. Etekeddwa okuwa ekitiibwa. Oludda oluvuganya government nadala ebirowoze ebiretebwa. 
tutunulide nti singa government uh, e wa sente zo muwo musoro ekitibwa ojja kwesanga nga okwewola kukendera ne sente bulwezewola ne tutatukiriza kigenderera kyazo kyekya sinze okukosa egwanga lino kubanga bwewewola olwe kigenderwa nota kitukiriza ate mu buta kitukiriza no beranga sente zibazifulumye ate zibibwa ekyo kya bulabe nnyo awo no tunulide ekyo kuwa ebyobulamu uh, priority ebyenjigiriza priority singa tunatunulira ebintu ebisokerwako abantu bafe bajja kuba bayambi naye abantu bavu e sente zewolebwa tezuko lache zitekedwa kola ate zewolebwa ku ku interest enene chokate ne tuvawo ne zibibwa tusaba government ekendeze kububibwe sente singa sente zo mu wo musoro teziwe bwe kitibwa kubanga che kisinzo kutatanye gwanga lino nenga njagala okwebaza a uh, a uh, aboludo olwa bula government okubanti no tusobode okuisa budget je tugenda okuteka ku fulo atera tusaba parliament ejiwe kitibwa nga fetu tunulide trillion ana munya so si sente ndala zonna Uganda. <laughs> Ate na abali mbuyinza, ate bali sibe etegefu, kubite ekesa mungkola, kuwa wachimanyi, mbabi kola, uh, bagi na kubanga badda wansi, kuwa mbaba kola budgeti za wenga, batu nuri demekaze baba, so si meka ezi amba abantu. Budgeti jetuko za mbaja kwe unyanti, nga yikako wansi kwe yu, government jefurumia, ransu nga fe mbajeti ya fete, tubaliri demu za ababi, ababi vade batiloba wa yobu umbi obu trio ni ze kumi, okuda wa gulu zibagi za koku, kunyaga mungeri ya mbe ndala, na efe kuruno, Tuzita demu, feche tubalidi decheche, chigendiri muna Uganda, eda echiamba muna Uganda. Nja kuweba zawa nangu, wetuko zo mulimu gulu. Kwa wawo tunuri ya doketi ya ministry ya agenda, uwele duwa kusimbi ya zitegele kikangere wa ntua wa tunuri de echikula chaba. Nti tufunye trio ni emu, nobu mbitano. Zino sende zile zigera tu ya mbako nyo nyo nyo. Okudu ukilira haba chala, okudu ukilira haba kade, na haba vubuka mu programs ne projects, ziba yamba okwe kula kulanyi. Mudoketi ya fenga minister haba vubuka tuina obuumbi chukumi atano. Obuumbi buna chukumi atano, buina projects zenja uze bugenda mu, okuli ya green job, okuli ya appreciative, na okuli nendala. Zineno program tuwa uh, wezidi, na yete zina funding. Government iba denge ziteka unga, izo gira kone, haba mtibazi manyi, ya yete zina funding ya mala. Niyo tuwa tuistade musente, tukiliza chige na kugeza hako okuda mu echibuzo, echa experience, iba debu uzi waba nafe. Mitovwa mu university, mu university mwavu de, ni wakubuza experience wakufuno umulimu, nenga wachi manyu waka graduating, nenga wakua gaza experience ya miaka, ejiri mwebili, obe miaka esatu. So in a program of keeping anga tuli unemployed, egenda kubange wa abantu omukisa, na wavu kavu de mu university, o kukukule rao, nga bayi ingiza, nga bayi developing skills za wenga abantu, ate, baso wolo kubanga wafuna na experience, baso bozesa, okutula miri mweje, jama anji, singa jiba jiri advertised, baba baina weba adeba kolera, nga program, government jema anji, yada ekorebu ebi tongole, ebi 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 ateke wawo government, okubanga viwa abavubuka, skills zino. So, bie muku bintu vietuwe nyumirizamu, yada bie tutunuri dokula, nga tuke endeza, kubula liye mirimu, kubebi muku bitu gobamu, tiwe muma lediza, uh, umazo kusomo ise bulu unji, baku sabe experience, uru shiji yota ina, atene bata kuwa mukisa, kufuna experience ya yungori kumunimu. So, fetuko ze proposal, nga mbye, tutunuri de, tuina muu projects ingezo, ya zigendo kuyamba kaba, ntunga, tuina muu haba saoba, engineer, bulimulimu, omuntu wabela kone sector jaguamu, ero yotiso muu deploying. Ane agendo, kuna hello, zanti, obuse, anamu obuse, pumbala bulu unji mo. For example, we to stay kakubi obulamu. Nituziteka kubienji giriza 
ne tusteka ku byengudo no ku empowering abantu bafemu byemirimu tulabanga tuba tukole dedalo omulimo ogugasa bana yuganda basokerwa ko sente zisinga obunje zibadde zileta banga mu budget zibadde zili mu sente nnyingi ezimaliza nga zono ne dwabo ono nebwa endalanga tabaswa na kunyonyola waje zaraze socho vola bafe twagenze okubalirira obulunji ngate wali kudibuda ko na ngo busana mu obusa tubo malira dalala bulunji Na tui miride wamu na haba subu zibafe Ela tuongela yedo bozili ya febuli weta agisa Tia misoro jisu se Okusingi la dala haba subu zi Bajina echizibu chokumanti bo Tebaina musoro guankala kari la gweba manyi Gusasura kubia maguzi ya haba lese Omu subu zi emavega ko emiezi ngebili Emavega wada sasura buka dechikumi Kubuka dechikumi muabili okuingi zebi intu Na ene bakula ganti kati container jisasura buka debi na Era Container za zisu kila dane mubita anuzale mende ku revenue nga hava subuzi, bazi boycotti so kuzija yu ure mbeda yu misoro. Ita ili tax. Omisoro ogo, hava singo bonji bagu ita infleas. Omisoro ogo nobulichi intu chona omisubuzi cha hatunda katika tibuli waka furumia. Achaji ingi wa sente za asa sura. Gatiba mwenye nyoda zigenda kukolachi, neja singa achaji ingi dua. Omisubuzi za zira banga penalty, obanga echimone rezo. Kumanga ezi singo bonji bagu ndo kumaliriza, nga tege gandiba de ama goba gabwe. Okugeza, omusubuzi senga tunde chitu cha mituwa lomkaga muetano, asa sule mituwa lomuenda, kwa hili siti ya ibe furumye. So, hava subuzi bandi ya wagade, niti atuli sinewa wala wagala okubajia kwa msoro kwa itaksi. Gwandi badu msoro kwa nunga kusa suro munu digumo mu mwaka, nga pola yavawa sasura kesi siye. Enso nge ndala, revenue, Uganda Revenue Authority, tuwa gale veyo na yeko le report. E gambe mu parliament ya Uganda, tiba nage, nse nteke semi soro jino mungkola. Na ye moemba njikunga nyamfuno obuzibu kumanga jisu kilidobu nji, ata jirina muwe nji mga mateka. So, chidja kuyamba kone parliament, evitongo le vina vaye bie nja ule, evi funa njizibu wa mkunga nye emi soro nga yuara, e, nga vila gobo zibu webu funa, parliament ya demu, etu nulidia revise nga kumisoro jino. E cho kubiri, enso nge ndala, emi soro jandi ba denga po jiba jirete, wa jisoka nebebe uzi wa ku sekta, ze bagalo kuonge la kemi soro, obebe nituwebe gendo kulete wa kemi soro, nga bebe uza kwa babi kola. E, 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 babi kola, e, chidala nejibe langa jiso mesebwa, ama ntunebate gera, nebaba agazi so kusasure emi soro, na yenga jino, e jiri double taxation, wa triple taxation, e jigani wa mateka, jibe langa jiva u.
budget presentation for the opposition with the theme of fostering resilient communities by combating corruption and promoting efficient service delivery. The Honorable Chagulan Robert Sentano, to welcome your office. I want to welcome our leader of the opposition, Chief Opposition Whip, Honorable the Honorable MP for Mandia County, Honorable Jawakam, the shadow cabinet members who are here, present. I welcome you, members of parliament, our invited guests, the fourth estate. We are very much going to have a short, a short presentation today, like I informed you earlier, such that we can get back to other business of the week. But also before I do so, we are here as the opposition in parliament, appreciating and acknowledging that we are not the first who have been here before. Our elders who have been in the opposition before, most of us are their products, we have them. I want us to appreciate them with a hand clap for what they have done. That is not in the end, because we are facing us the same goal of removing the dictatorship in this country. So I request all of us in the opposition to have one goal. Um, and uh, he, he, he fed them with only five loaves and two fish. Call them, you, you add and get baskets of crumbs. Now those also fed many. That means we do not have to throw away the crumbs. We can also use them for something else. So if there are people who are going away from us, we in this country. And therefore call upon the Honorable John Baptist Nambeshe, to give us, <coughs> apologies, I call him to... I've elected to clap, clap very well, clap very well. Thank you, Mr. President, uh, sir, and Leader of Opposition. I'm saying Joseph Gonzaga, MP Calon County West, but uh, frankly speaking, I'm the Minister of Education, <laughs> because the other one is nowhere to be seen, so I'm doing two duties, full minister. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> Say and the leader of opposition, I guess here. My name is Ruta Maguzi Semakura. I'm a shadow minister of lands, housing, and urban development. Bachireke Namboze Betty, MP Mukono Municipality, shadow minister for internal affairs. Samuji Ibrahim, shadow finance minister. Which I'm David Kalwanga, CPA representative. Your Excellency, the Right Honorable Leader of Opposition, and all Honorable Members, good morning and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Shamim Malende, Woman Member of Parliament for Kampala District, and the Shadow Human Rights Minister. Your Excellency, the Right Honorable Leader of Opposition, my name is Nyakato Asnans. I represent Hoima City as a woman member of parliament, and I'm the Shadow Minister for Agriculture. Uh, Your Excellency, the legitimate president of the Republic of Uganda, His Excellency Chagurani Sentamo Robert, the Right Honorable Leader of Opposition, and other leaders present, my name is Muwada Nkonyenje, Member of Parliament for Chadondo County East, and the Shadow Minister, now acting as the Foreign Minister of Foreign Affairs. <laughs> uh, thank you. Your Excellency, our Chief Guest, you are welcome. Right Honorable Lop, Protocol Observed. My name is Betty Itonaluima. I'm the Woman MP for Kiso District. I'm also the one who is championing full devolution and decentralization in the country, or the implying I'm the shadow minister for local governments. Thank you. Mr. President, sir, I am Kanyike Ronald Evans. I represent the people of Bukoto East in Masaka district. And uh, I am the shadow minister for energy and mineral development. I thank you. Your Excellency, 
the leader of opposition, I'm Chiaga Hillary Innocent. I represent Maokota North and I'm the Shadow Minister Arts and Culture. Your Excellency, uh, the President and LOP. My name is uh, Balimwez Ronald Insuga, the Member of Parliament representing Nakawa East constituency in the Parliament of Uganda, but I also double as the Shadow Minister for Kampala. Thank you. Your Excellency, my President, my Leader of Opposition, Protocol Observed, I'm Christine Kaya Nachimuero. I'm Chivoga District Woman Member of Parliament, but also the Minister for Water and Environment in the Alternative Government. I thank you. Your Excellency, the President, the Leader of the Opposition, I'm Manjari Chivakuchika, the woman member of parliament, Ginger City, and I'm the most experienced shadow minister for trade and industries. Thank you. Uh, Your Excellency, and the leader of opposition and colleagues, I'm Nantongo Fortunate Rose, the woman MP Chotera, and here being the alternative government, I'm the full minister of gender, labor, and social development. Your Excellency, the Leader of Opposition, Protocol Observed, good morning. I'm Frank Kabuye, MP Cassandra South, Shadow Minister for the Youth and Children Affairs. Uh, Your Excellency, our President, uh, the Leader of Opposition, colleagues, um, Nyeko, Derek, the Minister for Defense and Veteran Affairs. Thank you. Of Parliament for Kalangala District. I thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Ugandans deserve better health care, they deserve better education, and they deserve better infrastructure in order for them to live their full potential and benefit and enjoy all their fundamental rights. Because education is essential for producing skilled workers, a workforce that will transform communities, it's therefore important that our children study subjects and courses that are relevant to their passion and natural abilities. We cannot achieve without changing, we can't achieve this without changing or in fact overhauling our entire education system and realigning our education institutions. Considering that 75% of Uganda's disease burden is preventable, then we must make our priority to invest in disease prevention rather than disease cure. This should be done in addition to hiring skilled and professional health workers through a fair recruitment process and go ahead to remunerate them fairly and on time. We must think about our creative area think about our creatives, provide conditions that don't only protect their intellectual property, but also create conditions that help them to live to their full potential. About the creatives that could go on and on and on, but the rest, I guess, Dr. Hilderman and uh, others who are creatives and within our leadership will elucidate on that. 
However, ladies and gentlemen, as attractive as all these alternative policies might be, it is actually impossible to achieve them if the leaders in charge of our national resources cannot rise above their petty selfishness. We must resist, we must reject, in fact, we must eject all forms of corruption in public administration. Otherwise, all this will be going to a waste. Our sources will continue sinking down the long drain of personal greed at the expense of our collective well-being and at the lives of our people, our children, and our children's children. As a national unity platform, we shall continue to take decisive action in that regard. Friends, many good proposals have been presented in terms of policy alternatives, in terms of laws, by ourselves and other leaders. But let us be honest, no matter how good our thoughts are, no matter how beautiful our proposals are, they shall never see the light of the day for as long as dictator Museveni is still in charge of this country. That is my firm belief. Yes, we must continue telling Ugandans the truth as it is instead of, you know, misleading them with eloquent speeches. We must paint to them a picture of the problem and indeed go ahead and point at where the problem is. The man who has ruled our country for almost 40 years now is not just a political opponent to us, no. He is the embodiment of Uganda's problems. He's a living testament of corruption. He's the testament of oppression. He is the embodiment of the abuse of all democratic principles. In a nutshell, he is the roadblock, he is the stumbling block between Uganda and its progress. So let us face the reality and deal with the reality as it is. It's until you diagnose the problem that you'll be able to deal with that problem. I mean, he and his cronies live in extreme luxury while our hospitals are sick and our schools are rotting away. Yes, we have alternative policies. Yes, we have brilliant minds here in Parliament, you know, wonderful at economics, wonderful at debating and all that. But we shall debate, we shall propose, and we shall articulate issues. But let me be clear to you once again, my brothers and sisters, that no matter how good our alternatives are, no matter how well-intentioned you, our MPs, are, it won't make any difference for as long as we don't have any power to implement those good ideas. We must get used to that fact and deal with that fact exactly the way it is. I mean, we can draft the most comprehensive budgets, we can allocate funds meticulously, we can strategize endlessly, but as long as Museveni remains at the helm, the efforts will all be like rearranging cups on a falling table. We must channel all our energy. We must channel all our passion and all our abilities and all our determination towards one singular mission, removing the dictator and reorganizing the country as the citizens of Uganda. That is the only way this is going to be possible. So I continue to encourage all of us here present and those watching us outside that we must do what we must do. You cannot take a step unless you unlock your feet. So for now, what we have as a great resource is our collective determination and collective will to have a free country, and after having that, then we shall go ahead to build a Uganda where all Ugandans are equal, regardless of their ethnicity, regardless of where they come from, regardless of religion, tribe, or social class. We shall go ahead to build a Uganda where leaders 
lead with integrity. We are leaders are true servants and citizens are the true masters of their destiny. So let us use this resource that we have to put an end to this dictatorship. Let us use this resource to change this country once and for all. I thank you for listening to me, for God and my country. Uganda ye nache marira yowe li museveni nga ye senteze guanga zona zona azimarira mkwe kumira mbu inza kuguliraba kulembeze wa mwetorode na kunyigiriza bantu so echizibu cha itu nino kusoko kujao ye nache marira museveni then tuberene dembe elivisa sanya senteza Uganda si mkwe jarabia na imu kutere zebio elivisa no kutasa bantu nga masomero nga maluwa liru na ibida ifanana webicho kala nsonge no nene jiri duisinga kumutu omu uh, ensonga jemba desikonye kwe ensonga yenguzi ekute ejembe ni wangu bade omu kufe na ye yalisanga monsonge yu na ye abamu kulira vipasingo kuli yenguzi wakugeza speaker wa fewano speaker wa parliament ya Uganda ye nachi yunku mkuli yenguzi ele cho cheta goku ogeru wako nsi na ichimanya nsi ne mkulinga au tukubanga sente zono nebwa parliament ya nusubulu kuchusubula mbwaba antu bonji nyo so obulibu yenguzi ye kansa Ayono nye Uganda kati chafuka institutiono enguzi ya fuka angeli ya kwe kumida mbu inza na angeli ya kukakanya bafuganya government. So enguzi nge kule mberu anita mongo speaker wawano. No munga mulimu sibo kabo kaba enari mna inga mulimu na abafe. Chizibu nyo era na chotu ino chiru wanyisa. Ate tuja chiru wanyisa. Fenga NUP tuja kukola kukozi sebi kolo wa sibi gambo. Wetu ino buinza wona ukuluwa nyisenguzi na itu wagala na buli chitongo licha government chiko sobu inzo obo ukuluwa nyisenguzi kuwe nguzi ya sisigiza yugane mavega. Uli le mwe abajite kawo tewali lutalo rona rona ukule kango ngamanti ukule chitufu luba lutalo. Ukule chitufu luba lutalo then tulimu lutalo. Ile tu ino kubela murutalo. Gatulua nyisenguzi, gatulua nyisobu liyake, gatulua nyisobu anache marira do luba lutalo. So si Mchibi na chafe, nzendo uza mchibi na chafe, tuandiba denga echo ukula bilako, buli muntu. Kaberenga speaker wa pali ya meti ya, gude, ya, kute, ya lide nguzi, kaberenga minister, na haka angavurua, nga bechino ukubeda. Fenga NUP, tuba wacha ukula bilako, tuli option. Eramu yugane mpia, betu bikola, betu jobi bikola, nga tumazo kukuma na chema lila. Kuku uh, kakanya, ate kusa kuba memba bange, benkule mbela mchibi na. Njaga nyonjo gere kusonga, Ezigasa eguanga liyo na. 
kati budget yenu si ya NUP yoka wabula e reflectinga ekifana ncha opposition yona so sagala ensonga za NUP atenzi yingi ze mbibine bilala njagala njogere ku chintu ekigasa egwanga lyona lyona si kibina choka nga NUP we bali singa tulooza nti bwaba obumenyi bwa mateka oina kutesa na amenya mateka bwaba obumenyi bwa mateka nga waliwo evidence obwe obu o, 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 o obujulizi obumulumika deni amateka gakole bumuga amanti te nti amam omuntu baba menye teka batesaganye naye deni tujewa amateka bibere bya kutesaganya baganda bafe abasi wa makomera te baina musango no lwe nsonge iyo baina okuyimbulwa embagirawo abatalika kwa kulizo kubati baina musango bobaba baina musango baletebwe mu koti bavunaniwe omusango gubake mu vi obaba gusinge bejerere so si kutesa ganyana bo iye nkola ya chiyekera te tukirizganya nayo tukirizganya mu fuga e ya mateka erabo tunatwa lubuyinza ye nfuga je tujyo kutambulira ko mwebaza lok tufisiza yo akadde najja ko mu parliament ngatusoma je baita alternative budget onakuruwa lero era ebigambo bya president bye biberawo ba budget tena bakusoma nasoka na tuitiramu Na ye abada yo garanti we tuba tusomanga budget zino batu zikola. Tulino okulaba nga ziri practically on the ground. Tio soma figures na ye figures nga ziri related. Ne ku service deliveries kubanga budget ever meant to offer services to the people. Katina agamanti tuso wolo kuba ne no kuogero uluzungu wolu unjenyo. Ne tuogera figures enunji. Na ye chiri erimu nansi wa ordinary citizens of omu ntu wabuli jo. Okulaba ntiebebe bie njini bie tuogera mbajeti. Babira bako. Era na agambe bie tusobolo kubiraba. Nga tulina good governance. Obobu kule mbeze. Obu teke chiti wa mbali lila. Obu kule mbeze. Obu takiririza mkuli anguzi. Obu kule mbeze. Obu walking at the top. Chua mkule mbeze bu agama. Ntizino tente tuzitade mu ministro ya herese. Dalanga zibera yo. Tuzitade ministro ya yebi ngudo. Dalanga zibera yo. So njaga la kumweba zako. Nti ataskinze na dala fengaba kule mbeze. Titulino kubele ndaviru wamu. Eri bana Uganda bona. Kubanga ndaviru wamu eri flecting echo. Susate chebe eri no kulaba. So tuwa galo kumweba za. Na ato kusinga vyo na. Speech ya tede munga tukubiliza. Nti tulino kwege ndeleze nyo. The way we behave. Especially as regards to financial handlings. Abali na doke se zitunuli rebye nsimbi. Sifefeka. Never enough for Balala Mugwanga, but in Okutunuri Renyo, do we use the money for the intended purposes? Kubanga, we were to what sent as if an Asian to call a budgeting a shining, Nayanga intended purposes are not fulfilled. The ordinary citizens will always be in, in having bigger gaps in terms of services. So Kakati Chichemwebazako, Nature Okula Okula Bantino, Atuza Mamani, and we are not yet there, but we shall be there very soon. Yes, sir. budget 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 compensating government gamba conflicts hand picking of a selected few individuals abali related to power center ngabo kabe baba eba compensating ku center so land fund twajita dem some good billions mu alternative budget ya fe okulaba anti nazo zibera mu budget tusobola okulaba anti waliwe ebitundu ebimu ngaba ba landlords bali willing ko accepting a compensation from government through land fund E, basobolo kuleka abantu okubanti nti nabo beta iza kubibanja byabo ekyo kubiri mu gundi ya fe twachya demunti government okubange lirira weisa infrastructure zayo on time for example waliwo we bayise engudo ne abantu ne babanja sente za fe nga baba value winga buli kimucho nanga chagwa abantu ne babanja sente za we for years and years kakati twabagambe muzino sente zirimo ezigenda okusasula uh, amabanja domestic debts ziri no kuberanga nazo ziri ku mwanjonyo uh, okubanti no nabantu baba bafune sente zabwe mu budde is done at a, a nail speed 
and right of way is not obtained before we go to banks to borrow money. We have segmented, because the point we make of the resilient communities, look, in agriculture we borrowed money, 309 billion borrowed to boost agriculture is unutilized. And uh, we provide the table here for you to see. We borrowed money for digital transformation. It is also not utilized. We borrowed money to fix our broken road network to the tune of 13.2 trillion. It is still there, not utilized. There are road projects such as upgrading the well of Talangu, for which we borrowed 44 billion from OPEC in 2018. You can imagine we borrowed 2018 to upgrade this road, but the money is there. We acquired 895 loan from the African Development Bank for the construction of Kampala Jinja Expressway. That money is also there. Government is looking for money to pay for, for, for passage. So the money for roads, even before you begin the allocating what is available, even if you are using just the money that you have borrowed, 13.2 trillion, and the roads that are affected, a list is here, it will be provided. The same applies to the health sector, where we have borrowed money to fix our health infrastructure, but this money is also not utilized. It goes to innovation, technology, and development transfer. In the manufacturing sector, 276. In public sector, 43 billion. Regional development, 109. I am giving you figures of money borrowed for these sectors or for programs that is not utilized. In the energy sector, we have borrowed up to 3.3 trillion. We have used only 2.3 trillion. And a list per sector is provided, which we will be sharing. I have now moved to domestic areas. The total stock of central government area, according to finance, rose from 4.8 trillion 2020-2021 to 7.9 trillion in 2022. So the finance presents a figure of 7.9 trillion as our domestic area. The Auditor General presents a figure of 10.8 trillion. And this is money owed to people who have supplied the government in various categories, including quarter awards, taxes, pension, ETC, rent. What is worrying is that uh, government is only providing 200 towards clearing domestic area. So government uh, owes its suppliers 10 trillion, but in the budget they are providing 200 billion. So it will, it will take them maybe my remaining entire life, because I am 50, I don't think I will reach 100, for this government to clear this debt when they are not contracting new ones. I now move to abuse, as noted earlier by the leader of the opposition, abuse of borrowed money. You may all have interacted with the report of the Auditor General. The Auditor General reports on page 84 that we, we have vaccines for COVID worth 
300 billion that have expired. Remember the loan the last parliament contracted during the COVID period from World Bank and IMF. 300 billion was used to buy a vaccine. Now these vaccines have expired worth 300 billion. There are other drugs at national medical stores worth 33 billion that are also expiring. Interesting. The Minister of Health now says they are going to use money, part of the money of Gavi, to go and destroy the, these vaccines. So you have borrowed the money, vaccines have expired. Now the money brought here by donors to deal with other problems is what you are going to use to, to go and destroy the expired vaccines. I am reading all this list that will bring me to a figure because we need to clean the budget. Our proposal is that this budget must be clean. One of the figures that you will find in the budget, aggregated figure, this government is spending 187 billion on renting offices every year. 187. Even if you are not a contractor and they give you 187 billion every year, you can construct offices for someone. But maybe these buildings are theirs. 187 billion is what is being provided in the budget for rent. And we have provided a figure. Can you imagine you go to France and you rent for embassy 3.9 a year? In five years, anyone, even of average understanding, will use the 3.9 per year to construct. But we are spending, and the whole list is provided here, what we are spending on embassies, what we are spending on buildings, including later on I will be showing you, we are also renting uh, some structures for state house. Maybe the president and his wife are not fitting in uh, Nakasero and Entebbe. So they are renting extra buildings. So the list is provided here of where we are paying money for rent. Next financial year, we will spend 780 billion on transporting public officers. 780 billion. On average, that's what we spend. Because Usually we spend 220 billion acquiring new vehicles. We spend 404 billion fueling them. 155 billion on maintaining these vehicles. So in a year, we are spending 780 billion. The leader of opposition earlier spoke about phasing out, uh, which is part of the presentation that you have reducing on cost of public expenditure like other DCs. Because another DC in Rubaga, the best you can do is buy him a motorcycle. <laughs> Someone is resident in Rubaga, that's where he's another DC. You buy him a pickup of 400 and then you fuel it and maintain it and give him a drive. And all they do is to visit one radio station after another to go and uh, badmouth the opposition. And you will see a whole fleet 200 vehicles, brand new pickups for other DCs, and you all know what they do in your respective areas. Because they, you can even buy them bicycles. So the table here is showing how much you are going to spend on buying vehicles, on fueling them, and maintaining them. We are also spend, we are going to spend 162 billion on donations by our leaders. And the list is provided here. Mr. M7, under his residence, he will donate 77 billion. Again, he has what he calls support presidential initi initiatives, 59 billion. Parliamentary Commission has 4.9 billion for communication and public affairs. Again, M7 has 4.2 billion in his office. 
for donation. The Prime Minister has 3.7 donation. The Speaker of Parliament, 2.4 billion donation. The National Council of Sports, 2.4 billion donation. The government whip has 1.8 billion donation, not his entire budget, but he has 1.8 billion for donation. The opposition whip has zero. If the leader of opposition has nothing to donate, what about the leader of opposition? So the whole list of who has money to donate that comes to 162 billion is here. You can interact with it. We are going through this list, and I'm about to come to an end. I said it's going to be a summary. Looking for money that will be reprioritized. That's why we are going through this list. Money for donation, money for vehicles, money for this. All this money can be reprioritized in the sectors that the head of opposition outlined here, health, education, sectors that are going to help our people. But before I do that, let's look at the revenue projection. We had problems with the finance when they came to Parliament. They said revenue, the projection was that it was, it was going to grow by less than 1%. Yet on average, it has been growing by, uh, by 11%. And that's why they had maintained 29 trillion when you go to the side of um, resources to finance next year's budget. When we, ma we maintain the annual revenue growth of 11, it means we'll have 33.4 trillion and not 29. And then I want to come to other areas to complete the list of what we have identified as luxuries in the budget. That list, uh, if it can be highlighted there. Next financial year, we have 34 billion for ceremonies and state functions. 34 billion. When you see these NRM people going to a function, they have 34 billion for ceremonies and state functions. Travel inland, next financial year we have 671 billion. Travel inland. And travel abroad we have 108 billion. We have 152 billion for workshops, meetings, and seminars. 297 billion special meals and drinks. We have, well, I have already read out the list of donations. We have 133 billion for welfare and entertainment. When you put this together, you will have 1.5 trillion that is available. And our proposal is that even if you reduce it by just 25%, you will have 1.1 trillion available. I now come to our budget proposal. After doing all what I have outlined, we think the realistic budget for Uganda should be 43 trillion shilling, not any other figure. Why? If you look at the, and you need to take note of this, every year government presents a budget and I'll use the last financial year. They presented a budget of 54 trillion. When it came to the actual release, they usually publish in newspapers that we have released the money. Most of the time they have released the air. Because what that release means is that they have now asked 
the government agencies to begin submitting invoices to finance for payment. When those invoices are submitted to finance for payment, there is no money. The most interesting thing is that uh, even when they budgeted for 54 trillion, they made release less than 5.4 trillion. By their own release, they have a budget of 54. When they publish the theoretical release, it was less by 5.4. When it came to actual money that is spent, it was actually 43 trillion. trillion. But they released uh, about uh, 49 trillion in a theory. But they did not even release the whole budget as, as they had presented it. Uh, we are doing this coming to a figure, and this will be the, the last part. The figure that has, a, if you can go there, the figure that has our budget. So we, we've made proposals on what to remove, what to reallocate these sectors. And I said we will not be going into details of what we intend to, to reallocate and to what particular sector and department. But eventually when all this is done, um, you will come to a budget of 43 trillion shilling when you have removed all the luxury. And our proposal is that uh, once you've dealt with this luxury, next year you don't even have to go and borrow nine trillion uh, from commercial banks. And then if for a sustained period of three to four years you are not borrowing, it means now you'll have more resources available. You'll no longer be spending 20 trillion on servicing debt. Finally, um, I hope I have been clear because I said this is going to be a summary. The NUP president, the Honorable Chagulani, made here a very substantive statement on seven being our problem, and I share it 100%. Part of the problem that we have in this budget <clears throat> and this indiscipline is replicated elsewhere, is that the country has been made to finance Museveni's life, both public and private. I'll give you an example. The title first lady means someone who's wife, isn't it? In fact, it's not even provided for in the government hierarchy. But, Next financial year, we are going to pay someone. His name is Waiswa Charles Baker. His job is executive assistant, first lady. So, for Museveni's wife to be Museveni's wife, we must recruit staff for her, including an executive. I don't know really how he's going to engage with two adults who are married. But his job, and he's paid four million. Because how can you be paid to be an executive secretary to an unexisting office? The office of first lady does not exist. But we are recruiting someone to facilitate that office that does not exist on the government's structure. And the name is there. You can look at the policy statement of the president. We also have a, a special presidential assistant on household affairs, Butajira Penelope. This person is paid, uh, this person is paid uh, eight million per month to help uh, these two adults on their household affairs. And that brings the entire list of people who work at Museveni's residence to 1,000. As you, you earlier interacted with it, he has uh, 51 cleaners, 62 cooks, 
She has eight gardeners, 29 housekeepers, 10 dobby and round area tenants, 100 private secretaries, 14 room attendants, 22 presidential assistants at the residence, <clears throat> 51 waitress and waiters, and pres 14 presidential advisors. So these are people who are supposed to be helping our president and, and his wife because State House is provided for under the Presidential Monuments and Benefits Act as a residence of the president. <clears throat> Interestingly, and we'll be sharing these lists as well. Mr. M7 has also created another category of mobilizers and political, some of them are mobilizers, political assistants in the State House. They do Museveni's political work, but they are paid by Uganda. For example, someone mentioned Namiaro here, the one who was in Koloro abusing Muslims who went to Foftai. Her salary in the State House is 12 million per month. But she sits at Museveni's office as chairman of NRM in Chambogo. So someone who is employed by NRM in Chambogo is on the payroll as a special presidential assistant, 12 million per month. That list has nearly 200 people who are doing that sort of work, we'll be sharing it. So honorable members, the details of our locations, of our proposals, are uh, in a booklet that the lead of opposition will launch. And these proposals are proposals sector by sector, program by program. What I have outlined here is a summary and the structure of the economy. So I want to thank you very much for listening to me, for God and my country. Thank you, the very able finance minister, Honorable Samuji Ibrahim Nganda, for that very elaborate presentation. And thank you for being brief. Uh, allow me, honorable members, welcome the Honorable Miriam Atembe. She has just joined us. Honorable, we welcome you. Please feel at home. She's one of the elders I talked about before. And we are very thankful we still have her in, in our presence. Uh, honorable members, allow me, uh, that is honorable members and our visitors, allow me once again welcome, because I welcome these members in the absence of the leader of the opposition, the new members of parliament that joined us and that they are in the opposition, honorable appeal, that is Honorable Dr. Pio and Honorable Sarah Guti. Please stand up for recognition. You're welcome once again. I would also want to welcome our, some of our guests here and allow me mention the names. Mr. Chris Nkwatsibwe from the N National NGO Forum. You're welcome, sir. Thank you for coming. We have Mr. Aibaziwa Innocent from the Ethics and Integrity Forum. You're very much welcome. Where is he? Thank you so much for coming. And um, allow me, honorable members, at this juncture, like we said, we're not going to take a lot of time. Uh, allow me invite the leader of the opposition to launch the finance, our budget for the financial year 2024-2025. That is all enshrined in that book that we all have. Honorable members, please go and read uh, whatever is in this book and understand because I believe most of you are going to be invited on different TV stations, radio stations to tell the country what it is all about. So let us understand 
and uh, best present the opposition of pa the Parliament of Uganda. The leader of the opposition, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Helen. We are pretty much coming to the end. I um, understand we have some representatives from the UN who have joined us. I don't know if they are in the room somewhere. Are they? OK. Well, um, we'll probably try and locate them at some point. want to appreciate you again, colleagues, for making time and coming. I want to appreciate again the director the office of the leader of the opposition and the technical staff who, who I tend to stress. Well, not stress really, but, um, you know, we keep driving them as hard as we possibly can to produce this work, and they are doing an incredible job, even when it's a lean team. But we appreciate them. I want to also, again, welcome the Honorable Dr. Miriam Matembe, who has just joined us. She's got numerous commitments, but she has come nonetheless. As I end, I'll invite her to say hello to us in about two minutes or so. As Honorable Helen has been saying, we do produce this work. Uh, let's, let's make good use of it. Um, it will even help us to keep shaping the next ones. These are documents that we avail so we can interact with them. Um, our alternative budget priorities were captured from our alternative ministerial policy statements, which were laid in Parliament and they were brought to your committees. I hope you have been attending these uh, sectoral committees and interacting with these documents and, and so on. But again, when you get the documents, please find time and read so you can excogitate over them and we see how we keep improving them so that the next time we have even better watertight documents. This, our opposition priority areas, we did unveil it a couple of weeks back and um, we were saying this is what we want to be focusing on, critical issues, you know, corruption, poor service delivery, human rights abuses, etc., etc., to make sure that uh, we execute our mandate. We unveiled this a short while ago. There's another small document that um, we have availed to us. Herein is our budget speech. It's a summarized version of uh, our breakdown of the alternatives, what we think needs to be focused on. So we have captured it in this document. And finally, this big, fairly big, not too big, uh, booklet here is what has our alternative budget priorities for the different dockets. So you'll find herein what we are proposing should go to healthcare, what we are proposing should go to education, to infrastructure, to all the service delivery areas. And we are showing you where the money can be gotten from. Honorable Semuju has very ably, and I want to appreciate him, made his presentation to show the wastages, to show the corruption and so on. So when we are telling government that you are allocating so little to healthcare, we are telling them this is what ought to be allocated there. This is what ought to be allocated to the different dockets. And we are also pointing out where the money can come from. Because normally, when we say, allocate more to healthcare, allocate more to education, infrastructure, and so on. They say, but you see, we are a poor country. We don't have the resources. So we in the opposition are saying, we do have the resources. Let's cut down on the wastage that we have been showing you. Let's stamp out corruption. We shall have the resources to deliver services to the people of Uganda. And so ladies and gentlemen, I take the pleasure to launch this uh, booklet, which has got our alternative budget priorities. Our hope is that, uh, yes, the good, amazing ideas in this booklet will be picked for the benefit of the people of Uganda. I thank you. Trillion ya namu satu feze tisubi na zetu nyoko yosa. Nemu jukile edi, baji wanisa liku trillion ya tano umu nana. Nienga abili, ga kusasura mabanja. Ugendu ukula baji menye menye muji ulide. Nga tuina just trillion kumi na satu. Zetu ulo ukula wangatuko lako appropriation nga parliament. Echo chiba chichamu, ati chiba chenye mze guanga liyafe, ati chiba chilinyika. Sente zikuwa wazia donations. Ulo zazichi zichi itagisa mbaje chiafu ya guanga. 
Ah, uh, chisa ukira dala, ngo mbako wa parliament. Na suvi na hati nangi, ngea kuwa haone donation, jivampa, mpe ngedenga vile kuwa antupa fe. E chita ali yyo, mbako wa parliament, wavuli yyo. Sikanya no mulundi no gumu, kuwa anti wali omu kule mbeza wa donation, agenda aga vila avantu. Kabe president we guanga, sentezo zikola nyo, ngaziri mpulu emu, egenda, okusovolo ukulaba, gekula kula nyabantu wa anseyo. Kuwa wa kula kula nyiza wamu, Ndiyo mkubali bakanya ni Constituency Development Fund. Nga tujiko sisa system, eyes on, hands off. Tiweka jiaka uumbi, kula kula nye Constituency, kakuatiwe mikono mitufu, haba ntuwa ganyuremu. Nye donation zizi neno, nga ziga wibwa offices. Sikanya na zonze, sima yi Prime Minister, sima yi Presidenti, na kabelo opu, obo gabida wa meko, na gabida wa meko. Obo kade waba ntuburi mu Uganda, chitika tasovu la kula ki, ezo sento wabangazi wa deyobu wi. Kasembeleda. Uh, of course, uh, sports national council on Gayo, Emigos of Anamuri, Egirio, Bolio Mo, Ario, Akava, Yagalo Kuba Tegeza, Gamunavia Mizanio, Atabus, Babus, Veda, Via Galeno, Tewali Saint is about a camo sports. Boba take camo, but take camo to Twitter peanuts, but on Odala. Otu kechisera, nabadi njokita kuwa of course na avu nanyi ziwa ku netball. Nengo uli nanti, anyuari, milioni bisatu, mubutufu milioni bisatu mu Uganda, ziba zigenda kolachi. Nechitegeza wateka mubutono dala. Tuino kude yoku drawing board, nitumanya ebie mizanyo, bigata ko bitia. E that we know couldn't to many anti, never wanga be obukat over to be got taco, because the two could get taco to just sent him pitiv, nga zungu gives a fetching gum spots. Never what to tade musente ku investing amu tusobola kujja mu sente bakama banki tubino tuino biwe gwanga tuino biwe gwanga okujikwa echifana nti nti senga tudira government sente ze yewoze zo nane teka wa bali nete koze samu lye za ngudo eza malwaliro ezituma okubanga muwendo gwa interest munene gwe tusasula senga sente ezo Tuso volo kubanga zige nda mu saturation nezuko la chitegeza budget ya fe ya andi se wansi. Na ye, okufana na kwa president wa fe. Newe tunawa nebi, rowo zebi, runji vitia. Netubiteka mu government ya nunga sifa baso volo okusala onti chino chetu ina kwa kukola. Chitegeza vio nabi ya tutege kwa kukola. Tuba tuyuwa mufufu, tuyuwa mutakate wali chetu suviza wa na Uganda chigenda kubakole wa. Okujia konga tumazo kuchuso kukulembeze wa guanga lima. Na ye okuwa kechifana nye kubichi evi tuko sasa wazino kwe kugeza anti government okwe wala sente. Nezi sawa bali. Neta zikozesa. Ate sentezo nesi galangezi. Ezi sasuli romu soromo nene nyo. Echi ukugamba bo chitu nuli na monti nino. Ebyo abia maluari ronga vivibu ebiti. Nato ina josobola genda kumpi maluari raga singa. Nga wali ebitande ebimala. Oba edagale ebimala. Nenga government ya ina sentezo tu ulide. Ate ezi sasuli romu soromo nene nyo. Gamba chitu teka mumbele la ganti no muntu watu weleza ya gala kututira dala. Laba haba sobo zivali mkwe kala kasaluwa misolo. Na yu ina sente zewe woze zidu wabali zetu dezi sokola no kuyamba ko okendeze mbele eno. Kukamba nse nche kala kwebu zana haba tufugo wabantu. Bine bintu yu mbieta kwa kujia mwomu za nyo. Tosokola kukunga manti sente waze wola e bilio nesu kama wibili okukola marua alido. Oku improving haku innovation zine technology. Na yu tosokola na zitu wala yu. Ovo ya gala nsi, ovo ya gala kutaba nansi. E, e, orugudo reji nja tulimanyi bulu nji ntubuli muntu alu yitako, wakavira yu. Nzi nteno kuru kwa tata wabanga matitu genda jinja nera likirita. Kubanga jamu wa kukua hata nubanga kwa basibide mkomera. Na yu mtu ye wada esende zuka mbu mbilo nana. Okukolo orugudo. Azituli de, azue romu solo na yesende. Ta inakola, cha inakola. So priorities za government tuwa gala kubuza. Ezi tekawa. So tuga mantisenga, esetenga right priorities. Nti ku improve nge ngudo, we uzi sente. Na ye Uganda, kampalo buli uo itavinyavi, nyavi, 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 nyavi. Chikuwe uunyisa. Ovulumi, buno tuwa gala na Uganda bategele. Nti senga fetu wa denobu yinza saa wemu. Tuwa andi gambi ya bugambi. Kati olugudo reji njaba lukole nja. So, wandi wa deto oza, ne, e, chukula vila kechi lala, the government ye wale sende zisu kamu, mu, mu, o, efuru miya sende zisu kamu bilio, ni chukumi chinana, o, ukupa angisa, evi zimbo, mukole we, mire muja government, kugamba, e, chintu ishu chiru miya no mu, tuwa mutu, nebo wabe ilagu, msobolo kwe wala, 
ngo 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 ogena kupangisa wali so ogena no gula wali e wa chidi chizimbe chibuli mwaka tasobola gula yo chizimbe kugamba government chira bika ne bizimbe byabwe kugamba bana abantu ebintu bine bakola bya bya kunyigiriza nsi ne twagade balaga chifana nyi nti senga sente zino zikwasibwa bulunji gwanga lyandi gobolo demu nyo na abantu bali kubanga echimiriza o budget munsi doza wandi tuni de sectors bidi uh, ebyenji giriza ne byobula kakati webanga abana bachasomera wansu we miti ningo ina sente ozitulide kuga ebintu bino byewunyi sante tulina okubibulira abana yuganda ne byabulumu so echifana nche tugeza ko kuanti ne wankuba de sawa zino ebirozo bya kute bisobola kutoka ne tuma yinti mu bange litali lya wala ebi bitu agalo kusa mu nkola igwanga ligene mmaso I'm a social development sector. I'm a sector of the sector of the sector of the the sector of the sector of the sector of sector of the sector of the sector of the sector of the sector Sente ya fe ya kuteka sente, mwebi ya bigendo kuyamba, okutumbula zetu ita vulnerable groups of people. Okutumbula embeda za we atena damu sekta ya very delicate. Sekta ya labor externalization, bana wana wakende we, wakende wakende wakula Saudi Arabia, wakende wakule Udabiona, inti baleta sente nyingi mwe ekonomi. Na yate ntono nyo eziteke buwamu, okula wangatulo ndole embeda za we, edie buwe lujiba genze, no baya amba, kula wanga wizibu nyibafuna. Eno sekta yoke njini inga yu efunye 105 billion, okula wanga tuteka wezo systems, ezira wabantu zikenda kulondula wana wano, okula wanga yu na jiba genze, kula wanga wana mawanga, embele jiba limte tujitegela, na yenga fe government, tuwa tuina okula fako, wadiba genze, wadiba yugana, kula wanga waleta sente, sente nyingi, actually wa contributing a sente nyingi nyo, eno sekta eta sente nyingi nyo, budget ya Uganda na yate tulaba nti ntono nyo ezitekebwa mu okulabanga sector ekula kulanyizibwa okusokera dala fe ngabo oludda oluwabula government byonna byetukola tubikola nga tubikola mu mateka olwalero budget je tuyisiza eya trillion ana mwenya ekole ku financial ya eyo mwako ogujja tutaddewo bichi byetekeddwa okusokera ko naye kinjagala okusaba government yafu etekeddwa okuwa ekitiibwa oludda oluvuganya government nadala ebirowoze ebiretebwa tutunulide ntisinga government uh, ewa sente zo mu wo musoro ekitiibwa ojja kwesanga nga okwewola kukendera ne sente bulwezeewola ne tutatukiriza kigenderera kyazo kyekyasinze okukosa egwanga lino kubanga Bwewe wala orwe chigende ilo anuta chitukiriza. Atemu vuta chitukiriza. Nuhobe ranga sente ziba zifurumia ate zibibwa. Echo chabula benyo. Awo nutunulide. Echo kuwa ebi oburamu uh, priority. Ebi njigiriza priority. Singa tunatunulida ebi nituwe ebi soker wako. Abantu wafibajia kuwa bayambi. Na ya abantu bavu. E sente zewo lewa. Tezuko lache ziteke duwa kola. Ate zewo lewa kumu ku interest nene. Chokate netuva wane zibibwa. Tusaba government, ekendeze kububiwe sente, singa sente zomu uomu solo teziwewe chitiwa. Kumanga chetisinzo kutatanye guanga lino. Nenga njaga lao kuweba za uh, uh, avoludo uluwabula government. Okubantino, tusobode okuisa budget, jetugenda okuteka kufulo, atera tusaba parliament, ejiwe chitiwa, ngafiri tunuli de trilioni, ana munya, so si sente ndala zomu. Oxoka, there are trying to debudget, the Trina, Edwina Uganda. The range of Savannah Uganda will knock you over there, or Kujimania, no Kujisoma, or Kujitagir. Been a bit trying to do a little trying to be cause a singer to know beings. Nay, Bites of Birunji, maybe in Zokuzikira, Ransom and Tetunafuna beings. Atena habari mbuyinza, atena habari sive etegefu, kubite kesa mungkola, kuwa wachimanyi, mbabi kola, uh, bagi na kubanga badda wansi, kuwa mbabi kola budgeti za wenga, batu nuri de mekaze baba, so si meka ezi amba abantu. 
budget je tukoza mbaja kwe unyanti nga yikako wansi kwe yu government je furumye ransu nga fe mbajet ya fete tubalide muza ababi ababi badeba teloba wa yobu umbi obu trio ni ze kumi wakuda wa guru ze bagi zako kunyaga mungeri ya mwubi ndala na efe kuruno tetuzitade mfeche tubalide cheche chigendele muna Uganda eda echi amba muna Uganda nja kwe bazawa nangu wa tukozo mlimuguno kwa wawo tunuri ya doke tia ministry ya agenda Wele duwa kumusimbi ya zitegele kika ngele wa antu wa watu nuri de echikula cha haba antu. Niti tufunye trio ni emu, nubu umbi tanu. Zino sende zile zigele tu ya mbako nyo nyo nyo. Okudu ukilira haba chala, okudu ukilira haba kade. Na haba vubuka mu programs ne projects. Ziba ya mba okwe kula ukulanyi. Mudoke tia fenga minister haba vubuka tuina obu umbi chukumi atanu. Obu umbi buna chukumi atanu. Obu ina projects zenja uze bugenda mu. Okuli ya green job, okuli ya appreciative, na okuli nendala. Zineno program tuwazi uh, wezidi na hete zina funding. Government ya badengezi teka unga izo gira kone haba ntubazi manji ya hete zina funding ya mala. Niyo tuwa tuistade musente tukiliza chige na kukeza ako okuda mu echibuzo. Echa experience ya badebu uzi waba nafe. Jovamu university. University mo vude ni wakubuza experience wakufuno umulimu. Nenga wachimanyu waka graduating. Nenga wakubuza experience ya miaka ejiri mwebili obe miaka esatu. So eno program wakukipinga nga tuli unemployed. Egenda kubange wa abantu omukisa na vubu kavude mu university o kukukule rao ngabayi ingiza ngabayi developing skills za wenga abantu ate baso wolo kubanga wafuna na experience wa sobo zesa o kutula miri mweje jama anji se nga jibajiri advertised baba baina wibadeba kolera nga program government jema anji yada ekorebe bitongole ebi 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 ateke wao government wakubanga viwa abavubuka skills zino so bia imu kubitu bia tuwe nyumirizamu ila bia tutunuri dokulanga tuke ndeza kubula liye mirimu kubia imu kubitu gobamu tiwe muma liliza umazo kusomo ise bulu unji ba kusaba experience wa rusti jiota ina atende bata kuwa mkisa kufuna experience ya yungori kumunimu so fetuko ze proposal nga mbia tutunuri de tuina muu projects ingezo ya zige ndo kuyamba kaba ntunga tuina mwaba sauba engineer buli mulimu omuntu wabela kone sector jaguamu ila wetu saumu deploying Thank you. For example, we to stay kaku biobulamu, ne to stay kaku biyengi giliza, ne to stay kaku biyengu do. No ko empowering abantu wa fumu biye mirimu, tu la banga tu ba tu kule dalo omoni moguga samana yuga daba sokero ako. Centers zisingo abuunje zibadde zilete banga mo budget, zibadde zilimu centers nyinge zimali zanga zono ne duabo ono neba, enda langa tapaswa na kunyonyora waje zara zee. Such a vora wa fetwa genzo kubali dalo abuunje, gata wali kudibu dako na ngobo sana mo busa tu bo mali dalo abuunje. Na tui miride wamu na hapa subu zibafe Ela tuongela yu dobo zili ya febuli weta agisa Tie misoro jisu se Okusingi la dala hapa subu zi Bayina echizibu chokumanti bo Tebayina musoro guankala kari la gweba manyi Gusasura kubia maguzi ya hapa lese Omu subu zi emabe gako emye zingebi Emabe gaba dasa suru buka dechikumi Kubuka dechikumi muwa bilio kuingi zebi intu Na ene bakula ganti kati container jisa suru lio buka debi na Eda, kontaina za zisu kila dane mubita ano zaale mede ku revenue nga hawa subuzi, bazi boycotti so kuzijia yu urembe la yu misoro. Ita ili tax. Omisoro ugo, hawa singo bungi bagu ita infliz. Omisoro ugo nobuli chintu chona omisubuzi cha atunda katika tibuli waka furumia. Achaji ingi wa sente za asa sura. Gatiba mwenye nyo desi genda kukolachi na ija singa achaji ingi dua. Omisubuzi azira banga penalty o banga echimone rezo. Kumanga ezi singo bungi bagu ndo kumaliriza nga tege gandi bade ama goba gabwe. Okugeza, omusubuzi senga tunde chitu cha mituwalo mkaga muetano, asasule mituwalo muenda, kuhidi sita ebe furumye. So, avasubuzi bandi ya wagade, niti at least sinewe wana vagala okubajia kwa msoro kwa itaksi. Gwandi wa do msoro gunungagusa suromunu di gumumu mwaka, ngapola yawa sasura kesi siye. Enso nge ndala, 
revenue Uganda revenue authority twaga leveyo na yekole report egambe mu parliament ya Uganda tibanage nsente ke semi solo jino mu nkola na yemo embanji kunji kunganya mfuno obuzibu kumanga jisukili dobunji hata jirina mu benyi mu amateka so chija kuyamba ko ne parliament ebitongole bina vaye byenja olalebi ebifunanyizwa mu kunganya emisoro nga yuara eh ngabira go obuzibu ebufuna parliament demo etunulira revising ka ku misoro jino echo kubiri e ensonge endala emisoro jandi badenga bo jiba jirete bajisoka nebebuzwa ku sector zebaga lokongera ke misoro obwe bintu abigenda okuletebwa ke misoro ngabebuzwa kwa aba babikola e e ababikola e chirala ne jiberanga jisomesebwa abantu ne bategera ne babaga zisoka sura emisoro na yenga jino ejiri double taxation wa triple taxation ejiganda wa mateka jiberenga jivawo presentation for the opposition with the theme of fostering resilient communities by combating corruption and promoting efficient service delivery. The Honorable Chagulani Robert Sentano, we welcome you all to this. I want to welcome our leader of the opposition, Chief Opposition Whip, Honorable the Honorable MP for Mandia County, Honorable Jawakam, the Shadow Cabinet members who are here, present. I welcome you, members of Parliament, our invited guests, the Fourth Estate. We are very much going to have a short, a short presentation today, like I informed you earlier, such that we can get back to other business of the week. But also before I do so, we are here as the opposition in Parliament, appreciating and acknowledging that we are not the two have been here before. Our elders who have been in the opposition before, most of us are their products. We have them. I want us to appreciate them with a hand clap for what they have done. That is not enough. In because we are facing us the same goal of removing the dictatorship in this country. So I request all of us in the opposition to have one goal, to focus on what we want to achieve, to get to where we want to get to. Um, and uh, he, he, he fed them with only five loaves and two fish. 
call them, you, you add them and get scripts of crumbs. Now, those also need many. That means we do not have to throw away the crumbs. We can also use them for something else. So if the people who have gone away from us in this country, I therefore call upon the Honorable John Baptist Nambeshe to give us <coughs> apologies. I call him to... I have elected to clap. Clap very well. Clap very well. Thank you, Mr. President, yeah. sir, and leader of opposition. I'm Seungu Joseph Gonzaga, MP Kalon County West. But he, frankly speaking, I'm the Minister of Education. Because the other one is nowhere to be seen, so I'm doing two duties. Full Minister. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> and the leader of opposition, guests here. My name is Rutama Guzise Makura. I'm a Shadow Minister of Lands, Housing and Urban Development. Bachireke Nambo Zebeti, MP Mukono Municipality, Shadow Minister for Internal Affairs. Samuji Ibrahim, Shadow Finance Minister. Luchams David Kalwanga, CPA Representative. Your Excellency, the Right Honorable Lead of Opposition, and all honorable members, good morning and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Shamim Malende, woman member of parliament for Kampala district and the shadow human rights minister. Your Excellency, the Right Honorable Leader of Opposition, my name is Nyakato Asnans. I represent Hoima City as a woman member of parliament and I'm the Shadow Minister for Agriculture. Uh, Your Excellency, uh, the legitimate president of the Republic of Uganda, His Excellency Chagurani Sentamo Robert, the Right Honorable Leader of Opposition, and the other leaders present. My name is Muwada Nkunyenji, Member of Parliament for Chadondo County East, and the Shadow Minister now acting as the Foreign Minister of Foreign Affairs. Uh, thank you. Your Excellency, our Chief Guest, welcome. Right Honorable Lop, protocol observed. My name is Betty Itonaluima. I'm the woman MP for Kiso District. I'm also the one who is championing full devolution and decentralization in the country, also implying I'm the Shadow Minister for Local Governments. Thank you. Mr. President, sir, I am Kanyike Ronald Evans. I represent the people of Bukoto East in Masaka District. And uh, I am the Shadow Minister for Energy and Mineral Development. I thank you. Your Excellency, the Leader of Opposition, I'm Chiaga Hilary Innocent. I represent Maokota North, and I'm the Shadow Minister Arts and Culture. Your Excellency, the President and LOP. My name is uh, Balimwezo Ronald Insuga, the Member of Parliament representing Nakawa East constituency in the Parliament of Uganda, but I also double as the Shadow Minister for Kampala. Thank you. Your Excellency, my President, my Leader of Opposition, Protocol Observed, um, Christine Kaya Nachimuero. I'm Chivoga District Woman Member of Parliament, but also the Minister for Water and Environment in the Alternative Government. I thank you. Your Excellency, the President, the Lead of the Opposition, I'm Manjari Chivakuchika, the Woman Member of Parliament, Ginger City, and I'm the most experienced Shadow Minister for Trade and Industries, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Your Excellency and the Leader of Opposition and colleagues, I'm Nantongo Fortunate Rose, the woman MP Chotera, and here being the alternative government, I'm the full Minister of Gender, Labor, and Social Development. Your Excellency, the Leader of Opposition, protocol observed, good morning. 
I'm Frank Kabuye, MP Cassandra South, Shadow Minister for the Youth and Children Affairs. Uh, Your Excellency, our President, uh, the Leader of Opposition, colleagues, um, Nyeko, Derek, the Minister for Defense and Veteran Affairs. Thank you. Of Parliament for Kalangala District. I thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Ugandans deserve better health care, they deserve better education, and they deserve better infrastructure in order for them to live their full potential and benefit and enjoy all their fundamental rights. Because education is essential for producing skilled workers, a workforce that will transform communities, it's therefore important that our children study subjects and courses that are relevant to their passion and natural abilities. We cannot achieve without changing, we can't achieve this without changing or in fact overhauling our entire education system and realigning our education institutions. Considering that 75% of Uganda's disease burden is preventable, then we must make our priority to invest in disease prevention rather than disease cure. This should be done in addition to hiring skilled and professional health workers through a fair recruitment process and go ahead to remunerate them fairly and on time. We must think about our creative area think about our creatives, provide conditions that don't only protect their intellectual property, but also create conditions that help them to live to their full potential. About the creative that could go on and on and on, but the rest, I guess, Dr. Hilderman and uh, others who are creatives and within our leadership will elucidate on that. However, ladies and gentlemen, as attractive as all these alternative policies might be, it is actually impossible to achieve them if the leaders in charge of our national resources cannot rise above their petty selfishness. We must resist, we must reject, in fact, we must eject all forms of corruption in public administration, otherwise, all this will be going to a waste. Our sources will continue sinking down the long drain of personal greed at the expense of our collective well-being and at the lives of our people, our children, and our children's children. As a national unity platform, we shall continue to take decisive action in that regard. Friends, Many good proposals have been presented in terms of policy alternatives, in terms of laws, by ourselves and other leaders. But let us be honest, no matter how good our thoughts are, no matter how beautiful our proposals are, they shall never see the light of the day for as long as dictator Museveni is still in charge of this country. That is my firm belief. Yes. We must continue telling Ugandans the truth as it is instead of, you know, misleading them 
with eloquent speeches. We must paint to them a picture of the problem and indeed go ahead and point at where the problem is. The man who has ruled our country for almost 40 years now is not just a political opponent to us, no. He is the embodiment of Uganda's problems. He's a living testament of corruption. He's the testament of oppression. He is the embodiment of the abuse of all democratic principles. In a nutshell, he is the roadblock, he is the stumbling block between Uganda and its progress. So let us face the reality and deal with the reality as it is. It's until you diagnose the problem that you'll be able to deal with that problem. I mean, he and his cronies live in extreme luxury while our hospitals are sick and our schools are rotting away. Yes, we have alternative policies. Yes, we have brilliant minds here in parliament, you know, wonderful at economics, wonderful at debating and all that. But we shall debate, we shall propose, and we shall articulate issues. But let me be clear to you once again, my brothers and sisters, that no matter how good our alternatives are, no matter how well-intentioned you, our MPs, are, it won't make any difference for as long as we don't have any power to implement those good ideas. We must get used to that fact and deal with that fact exactly the way it is. I mean, we can draft the most comprehensive budgets, we can allocate funds meticulously, we can strategize endlessly, but as long as Museveni remains at the helm, the efforts will all be like rearranging cups on a falling table. We must channel all our energy. We must channel all our passion and all our abilities and all our determination towards one singular mission, removing the dictator and reorganizing the country as the citizens of Uganda. That is the only way this is going to be possible. So I continue to encourage all of us here present and those watching us outside that we must do what we must do. You cannot take a step unless you unlock your feet. So for now, what we have as a great resource is our collective determination and collective will to have a free country. And after having that, then we shall go ahead to build a Uganda where all Ugandans are equal regardless of their ethnicity, regardless of where they come from, regardless of religion, tribe, or social class. We shall go ahead to build a Uganda where leaders lead with integrity, where leaders are true servants and citizens are the true masters of their destiny. So let us use this resource that we have to put an end to this dictatorship. Let us use this resource to change this country once and for all. I thank you for listening to me, for God and my country. For your bread, six for your family, Straight, straight, straight. We're gonna start. One, two, three. 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 One, two, three.
just like this. One, two, three. Let's go! Let's go for your families. Let's go! Let's go for Uganda! Let's go for Uganda! Let's go for Uganda! Bring them here. One. Focusing enjoying to be to Janabio, Biba Denga Biretewa, Na H Zibu Chetuina, Tebirozo, Bikoma Kuretewa, H Zibu H Singe Cha Uganda, Yenache Marida Yoweri Museveni, Nga Ye, Senteze Gwanga Zonazona, Azimarida Mukwe Kumidambu Yinza, Kuguri Daba Kurembezeva Mwetoro De, Nakunyikizabantu. So H Zibu Chetunok Soko Kujao, Yenache Marida Museveni, then to Bedene Dembe, Ezisasanya Senteza Uganda, Si mkwe jarabia na imu kutere zebio Ebisano kutasa abantu Ngama somero, ngama lwa liru Nebida ifana na webicho Chicho yogera kumsonga Kala nsonge no nene jiru reducing nga kumutu omu Nsonga jemba desikonye kwe nsonga yenguzi Ekute ejembe Ni wankubade omu kufe Na iya sanga monsonge yu Na ye abamu kulira vipasi ngo kulia nguzi Okugeza speaker wa fe wano Speaker wa parliament ya Uganda Ye nachi nku mkulia nguzi Ere cho cheta go kuo geru wako, nsi ne ichimanya, nsi ne mkolinga autu. Kupanga sente, zono nebuwa pari ya mentie, nusobolo kuchusobola mbu wabantu, bonji nyo. So, obolibu enguzi ye kansa, ayono nye Uganda, kati chafuka institutiono. Enguzi ya fuka angeli ya kwe kumida mbu inza, na angeli ya kukakanya bavuganya government. So, enguzi nge kulemberu anita mongo, speaker wawano, no munga mulimu, sibo kabo kaba enarimu, na inga mulimu na abafe, Chizibu nyo era na chotu ino chiru wanyisa, ate tuja chiru wanyisa. Fenga NUP, tuja kukola, kuko, ukoze sebi kolo wa sebi gambo. Wetu ino ubu inza wona, ukulu wanyisa nguzi, na itu wagala, na budi chitongo lecha government, chikosobu inzo obu ukulu wanyisa nguzi, kuwe nguzi ya sisigiza Uganda mabiga. Kasena kano. Ulire mwe abajiteka o, tewali lutaro rona rona. Ukule kango ngamanti okole chitufu, luba lutaro. Ukole chitufu, luba lutaro, then tulimu lutaro. Ira tu ino kubera mu lutalo ngatulwa nyisenguzi ngatulwa nyisobu lyake ngatulwa nyisobu anache malira do luba lutalo so si mu kibina cha fenze ndo uza mu kibina cha fe twandi badenga echo kulabirako buli muntu kaberenga speaker wa parliament ya gude ya kutengu ya lidenguzi kaberenga minister na akanga vulwa ngabe chino kubera fenga NUP tuba wa cha kulabirako tuli option era mu Uganda mpya betu bikola betu job bikola ngatumazo kukuba na che malira kukuka kanya ate kusa kuba memba bange benkulembera mu kibina njagala nnyonjo gere ku nsonga ezigasa egwanga lyonna kati budget eno si ya NUP yoka wabula e reflectinga ekifana ncha opposition yonna so sagala ensonga za NUP atenzi yingi ze mbibine bilala njagala nnyonjo gere ku chintu ekigasa egwanga lyonna lyonna si kibina choka nga NUP we bale nsinga tulooza Nti wawa obu menyi wa mateka o ina kutesa na menya wa mateka. Wawa obu menyi wa mateka, nga wali wo evidence, obu, 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 obu julizi, obu mudu mika. Deni amateka gakore. Bumunga amanti te, te amam, am, omutu wawa menye teka, batesa ganye na ye. Deni tuje wa mateka, bivedebi ya kutesa ganya. Baganda bafe, abasi wa makomeda tebaina musango. Nolu ensongeyo baina okuyimbulwa embagirawo awatalika kwa kulizo kubati baina musango bababa baina musango baletebwe mu koti bavunaniwe omusango gubake mu vi obaba gusinge bejerere so si kutesa ganyana bo eye nkola ya chiyekera tetukirizganya nayo tukirizganya mu fuga eya mateka erabo tunatwa lubuyinza ye mfuga je tujyo kutambulira ko mwebaza lok tufisizayo akadde najja ko mu parliament Nga tusoma jevaita alternative budget. Una kuruwa lero. Era ebigambo vya president vya vivera o. Ba budget. Tena wa kusoma na asoka na tuitiramu. Na ye abada yo garanti. Tu batu soma anga budget zino batu zikola. Tulino kulaba anga ziri practically on the ground. Tu osoma figazi. 
na ye figures inga zili related ne ku service deliveries kubanga budget eba made to offer services to the people kati na agamanti tusobola kuba ne no kuogera oluzungu olunje nyo ne tuogera figures enunji na ye chiri eri munansi wa ordinary citizens obo muntu wa bulijjo okulaba anti ebyo byenyini bye tuogera mu budget babira bako era na agambe tusobola okubiraba nga tulina good governance obo bukulembeze obuteke ekitibwa mu mbalirira obukulembeze obutakiririza mu kulyanguzi obukulembeze obu working at the top kyo mukulembeze bwa agama anti zino tsente tuzitadde mu ministry ya health dalanga zibera yo tuzitadde ministry ye byengudo dalanga zibera yo so njagala kumweba zako nti ataskinze na darafe ngaba kulembeze tulina okubera endabirwamu eri bana Uganda bonna kubanga endabirwamu eri reflecting echo society chebeli no kulaba so twagala okumweba za nato kusinga byonna speech ya tedde munga tukubiriza nti tulina okwegendereze nyo the way we behave, especially as regards to financial handlings. Abali na doke se zitunuli rebye nsimbi. Sifefeka, neba nafa abala la mugwanga, abali no kutunuli renyo. Do we use the money for the intended purposes? Kubanga webatu wa sente zifana na zitia netukola budget inge shininga. Na yenga intended purposes are not fulfilled. The ordinary citizens will always be in, in having bigger gaps in terms of services. So kakati ya chiche mweba zako. Nechi dala ukula, ukula bantino atuza mwa manye. Ntu we are not yet there, but we shall be there very soon. Minister, Minister Warren. Yes, sir. Mutati kubajeti ya mchichicho ugama. Kwebye taka, tubade mutanati kubajeti ya fetu hata demu. Okuteka muzi no sente zi compensating abantu bebye taka. Wanga government ya badenge gamba. Tuge na kusosuliranga etake e eliriko conflicts obezi eliriko kusukomugwa ne yetu badenga bakola tulaba bakola hand picking of uh, selected few individuals abali related to power center ngabo kabe baba eba compensating ku center so land fund twajita dem some good billions mo alternative budget ya fe okulaba anti nazo zibera mu budget tusobola okulaba anti waliwe ebitundu ebimu Nga ba, ba landlords bali willing or accepting a compensation from government through land fund. E, Basobolo kule kaba ntuo kubanti nonti nabo beta isa kubiba njabe. Echio kubiri, mugundi ya fe tuwa chita demunti government okubange liirira weisa infrastructure zayo on time. For example, wali uwe ba isa ngudo. Na yaba antu ni baba anja sente za afu. Inga baba value wingabu lichimucho nanga chagua. Aba antu ni baba anja sente za afu. For years and years. Kakati tu waba gambe muzino sente zili mwezi gendo kusasula uh, amabanja. Domestic debts. Zili no kubera anga na zo zili kumuanjonyo. Uh, Okubanti no naba antu baba bafu ni sente za afu mbote. This is done at a, a nail speed. And right of way is not obtained before we go to banks to borrow money. We have segmented, because the point we make of the resilient communities, look, in agriculture we borrowed money. 309 billion borrowed to boost agriculture is unutilized. And uh, we provide a table here for you to see. We borrowed the money for digital transformation. It is also not utilized. We borrowed the money to fix our broken road network to the tune of 13.2 trillion. It is still there, not utilized. There are road projects such as upgrading the of Talangu, for which we borrowed 44 billion from OPEC in 2018. You can imagine we borrowed 2018 to upgrade this road. But the money is there. We acquired 895 loan from the African Women Bank for the construction of Kampala Jinja Expressway. That money is also there. Government is looking for money to pay for, for, for passage. So the money for roads, even before 
you begin reallocating what is available. Even if you are using just the money that you have borrowed, 13.2 trillion, and the roads that are affected, a list is here, it will be provided. The same applies to the health sector, where we have borrowed money to fix our health infrastructure, but this money is also not utilized. It goes to innovation, technology, and development transfer in the manufacturing sector, 276. In public sector, 43 billion. Regional development, 109. I am giving you figures of money borrowed for these sectors or for programs that is not utilized. In the energy sector, we have borrowed up to 3.3 trillion. We have used only 2.3 trillion. And a list per sector is provided, which we will be sharing. I have now moved to domestic areas. The total stock of central government area, according to finance, rose from 4.8 trillion 2020-2021 to 7.9 trillion in 2022. So the finance presents a figure of 7.9 trillion as our domestic area. The Auditor General presents a figure of 10.8 trillion. And this is money owed to people who have supplied the government in various categories, including court awards, taxes, pension, ETC, rent, what is worrying is that uh, government is only providing 200 towards clearing domestic area. So government uh, owes its suppliers 10 trillion, but in the budget they are providing 200 billion. So it will, it will take them maybe my remaining entire life, because I am 50, I don't have 100, for this government to clear this debt when they are not contracting new ones. I now move to abuse, as noted earlier by the leader of the opposition, abuse of borrowed money. You may all have interacted with the report of the Auditor General. The Auditor General reports on page 84 that we, we have vaccines for COVID worth 300 billion that have expired. Remember the loan the last parliament contracted during the COVID period from World Bank and IMF. 300 billion was used to buy a vaccine. Now these vaccines have expired worth 300 billion. There are other drugs at national medical stores worth 33 billion that are also expiring. Interesting. The Minister of Health now says they are going to use money, part of the money of Gavi, to go and destroy the, these vaccines. So you have borrowed the money, vaccines have expired. Now the money brought here by donors to deal with other problems is what you are going to use to, to go and destroy the expired vaccines. I am reading all this list that will bring me to a figure because we need to clean the budget. Our proposal is that this budget must be clean. One of the figures that you will find in the budget, aggregated figure, this government is spending 187 billion on renting offices every year. 187. Even if you are not a contractor and they give you 187 billion every year, you can construct offices for someone. But maybe these, 
buildings are theirs. 187 billion is what is being provided in the budget for rent. And we have provided a figure. Can you imagine you go to France and you rent for embassy 3.9 a year? In five years, anyone, even of average understanding, will use the 3.9 per year to construct. But we are spending, and the whole list is provided here, what we are spending on embassies, what we are spending on buildings, including later on I will be showing you, we are also renting uh, some structures for state house. Maybe the president and his wife are not fitting in uh, Nakasero and Entebbe. So they are renting extra buildings. So the list is provided here of where we are paying money for rent. Next financial year, we will spend 780 billion on transporting public officers. 780 billion. On average, that's what we spend. Because Usually we spend 220 billion acquiring new vehicles. We spend 404 billion fueling them. 155 billion on maintaining these vehicles. So in a year, we are spending 780 billion. The leader of opposition earlier spoke about phasing out, uh, which is part of the presentation that you have reducing on cost of public expenditure like other DCs. Because another DC in Rubaga, the best you can do is buy him a motorcycle. <laughs> Someone is resident in Rubaga, that's where he's another DC. You buy him a pickup of 400 and then you fuel it and maintain it and give him a drive. And all they do is to visit one radio station after another to go and uh, badmouth the opposition. And you will see a whole fleet 200 vehicles, brand new pickups for other DCs, and you all know what they do in your respective areas. Because they, you can even buy them bicycles. So the table here is showing how much you are going to spend on buying vehicles, on fueling them, and maintaining them. We are also spend, we are going to spend 162 billion on donations by our leaders. And the list is provided here. Mr. M7, under his residence, he will donate 77 billion. Again, he has what he calls support presidential initi initiatives, 59 billion. Parliamentary Commission has 4.9 billion for communication and public affairs. Again, M7 has 4.2 billion in his office for donation. The Prime Minister has 3.7 donation. The Speaker of Parliament, 2.4 billion donation. The National Council of Sports, 2.4 billion donation. The government whip has 1.8 billion donation, not his entire budget, but he has 1.8 billion for donation. The opposition whip has zero. If the leader of opposition has nothing to donate, what about the leader of opposition? So the whole list of who has money to donate that comes to 162 billion is here. You can interact with it. We are going through this list and I'm about to come to an end. I say this is going to be a summary. Looking for money that will be Reprioritized. That's why we are going through this list. Money for donation, money for vehicles, money for this. All this money can be reprioritized in the sectors that the head of opposition outlined here, health, education, 
sectors that are going to help our people. But before I do that, let's look at the revenue projection. We had problems with the finance when they came to Parliament. They said revenue, the projection was that it was going to grow by less than 1%. Yet on average, it has been growing by, uh, by 11%. And that's why they had maintained 29 trillion when you go to the side of um, resources to finance next year's budget. When we, man we maintain the annual revenue growth of 11, it means we'll have 33.4 trillion and not 29. And then I want to come to other areas to complete the list of what we have identified as luxuries in the budget. That list, uh, if it can be highlighted there. Next financial year, we have 34 billion for ceremonies and state functions. 34 billion. When you see these NRM people going to a function, they have 34 billion for ceremonies and state functions. Travel inland, next financial year we have 671 billion travel inland. And travel abroad we have 108 billion. We have 152 billion for workshops, meetings, and seminars. 297 billion special meals and drinks. We have, I have already read out the list of donations. We have 133 billion for welfare and entertainment. When you put this together, you will have 1.5 trillion that is available. And our proposal is that even if you reduce it by just 25%, you will have 1.1 trillion available. I now come to our budget proposal. After doing all what I have outlined, we think the realistic budget for Uganda should be 43 trillion shilling, not any other figure. Why? If you look at the, and you need to take note of this, every year government presents a budget and I'll use last financial year, they presented a budget of 54 trillion. When it came to the actual release, they usually publish in newspapers that we have released money. Most of the time they have released the air. Because what that release means is that they have now asked the government agencies to begin submitting invoices to finance for payment. When those invoices are submitted to finance for payment, there is no money. The most interesting thing is that uh, even when they budgeted for 54 trillion, they made release less than 5.4 trillion. By their own release, they have a budget of 54. When they published the theoretical release, it was less by 5.4. When it came to actual money that is spent, it was actually 43 trillion. trillion. But they released uh, about uh, 49 trillion in theory. But they did not even release the whole budget as, as they had presented it. Uh, we are doing this coming to a figure, and this will be the, the last part. The figure that has, a, if you can go there, the figure that has our budget. So we, we've made proposals on what to remove, what to reallocate these sectors. And I said we will not be going into details of what we intend to put to 
reallocate and to what particular sector and department. But eventually, when all this is done, um, you will come to a budget of 43 trillion shilling. When you will have removed all the luxury, and our proposal is that uh, once you've dealt with this luxury, next year you don't even have to go and borrow 9 trillion uh, from commercial banks. And then if for a sustained period of three to four years you are not borrowing, it means now you'll have more resources available. You'll no longer be spending 20 trillion on servicing debt. Finally, um, I hope I have been clear because I said this is going to be a summary. The NUP president, the Honorable Chagulani, made here very substantive statement on seven being our problem, and I share it 100%. Part of the problem that we have in this budget, <clears throat> and this indiscipline is replicated elsewhere, is that the country has been made to finance Museveni's life, both public and private. I'll give you an example. The title first lady means someone who's wife, isn't it? In fact, it's not even provided for in the government hierarchy. But next financial year, we are going to pay someone his name is Waiswa Charles Baker. His job is executive assistant, first lady. So, for Museveni's wife to be Museveni's wife, we must recruit staff for her, including an executive. I don't know really how he's going to engage with two adults who are married. But his job, and he's paid four million. Because how can you be paid to be an executive secretary to an existing office. The office of first lady does not exist. But we are recruiting someone to facilitate that office that does not exist on the government's structure. And the name is there. You can look at the policy statement of the president. We also have a, a special presidential assistant on household affairs. Butajira Penelope. This person is paid uh, this person is paid uh, eight million per month to help uh, these two adults on their household affairs. And that brings the entire list of people who work at Museveni's residence to one thousand. As you, you earlier interacted with it, he has a uh, 51 cleaners, 62 cooks, he has 80 gardeners, 29 housekeepers, 10 dobby and around area tenants, 100 private secretaries, 14 room attendants, 22 presidential assistants at the residence, <clears throat> 51 waitress and waiters, and 14 presidential advisors. So these are people who are supposed to be helping our president and, and his wife because State House is provided for under the Presidential Monuments and Benefits Act as a residence of the president. <clears throat> Interestingly, and we'll be sharing these lists as well, Mr. M7 has also created another category of mobilizers and political, some of them are mobilizers, political assistants in the state house. They do Museveni's political work, but they are paid by Uganda. For example, someone mentioned Namiaro here, the one who was in Koloro abusing Muslims who went to Foftari. Her salary in the state house is 12 million per month, but she sits at Museveni's office as chairman of NRM in Chambogo. So someone who is employed by NRM in Chambogo 
is on the payroll as a special presidential assistant, 12 million per month. That list has nearly 200 people who are doing that sort of work, we'll be sharing it. So honorable members, the details of our locations, of our proposals, are in a booklet that the lead of opposition will launch. And these proposals are proposals sector by sector, program by program. What I have outlined here is a summary and the structure of the economy. So I want to thank you very much for listening to me, for God and my country. Thank you, the very able finance minister, Honorable Samuju Ibrahim Nanda, for that very elaborate presentation. And thank you for being brief. Uh, allow me, honorable members, welcome the Honorable Miriam Atembe. She has just joined us. Honorable, we welcome you. Please feel at home. She's one of the elders I talked about before. And we are very thankful we still have her in, in our presence. Uh, honorable members, allow me, uh, that is honorable members and our visitors, allow me once again welcome, because I welcome these members in the absence of the leader of the opposition, the new members of parliament that joined us and that they are in the opposition, honorable appeal, that is Honorable Dr. Pio and Honorable Sarah Guti. Please stand up for recognition. You're welcome once again. I would also want to welcome our, some of our guests here and allow me to mention the names. Mr. Chris Nkwatsibwe from the N National NGO Forum. You're welcome, sir. Thank you for coming. We have Mr. Aibaziwa Innocent from the Ethics and Integrity Forum. You're very much welcome. Where is he? Thank you so much for coming. And um, allow me, honorable members, at this juncture, like we said, we're not going to take a lot of time. Uh, allow me to invite the leader of the opposition to launch the finance, our budget for the financial year 2024-2025. That is all enshrined in that book that we all have. Honorable members, please go and read uh, whatever is in this book and understand because I believe most of you are going to be invited on different TV stations, radio stations to tell the country what it is all about. So let us understand and uh, best present the opposition of pa the Parliament of Uganda. The leader of the opposition, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Helen. We are pretty much coming to the end. I um, understand we have some representatives from the UN who have joined us. I don't know if they are in the room somewhere. Are they? Okay. Well, um, we'll probably try and locate them at some point. want to appreciate you again, colleagues, for making time and coming. I want to appreciate again the director the office of the leader of the opposition and the technical staff who, who I tend to stress. Well, not stress really, but, um, you know, we keep driving them as hard as we possibly can to produce this work, and they are doing an incredible job, even when it's a lean team. But we appreciate them. I want to also, again, welcome the Honorable Dr. Miriam Atembe, who has just joined us. She's got numerous commitments, but she has come nonetheless. As I end, I'll invite her to say hello to us in about two minutes or so. 
as Honorable Helen has been saying, we do produce this work. Uh, let's, let's make good use of it. Um, it will even help us to keep shaping the next ones. These are documents that we avail so we can interact with them. Um, our alternative budget priorities were captured from our alternative ministerial policy statements, which were laid in Parliament, and they were brought to your committees. I hope you have been attending these uh, sectoral committees and interacting with these documents and, and so on. But again, when you get the documents, please find time and read so you can excogitate over them and we see how we keep improving them so that the next time we have even better watertight documents. This, our opposition priority areas, we did unveil it a couple of weeks back and um, we were saying this is what we want to be focusing on, critical issues, you know, corruption, poor service delivery, human rights abuses, etc., etc., to make sure that uh, we execute our mandate. We unveiled this a short while ago. There's another small document that um, we have availed to us. Herein is our budget speech. It's a summarized version of uh, our breakdown of the alternatives, what we think needs to be focused on. So we have captured it in this document. And finally, this big, fairly big, not too big, uh, booklet here is what has our alternative budget priorities for the different dockets. So you'll find herein what we are proposing should go to healthcare, what we are proposing should go to education, to infrastructure, to all the service delivery areas. And we are showing you where the money can be gotten from. Honorable Semuju has very ably, and I want to appreciate him, made his presentation to show the wastages, to show the corruption and so on. So when we are telling government that you are allocating so little to healthcare, we are telling them this is what ought to be allocated there. This is what ought to be allocated to the different dockets. And we are also pointing out where the money can come from. Because normally, when we say allocate more to healthcare, allocate more to education, infrastructure, and so on, they say, but you see, we are a poor country. We don't have the resources. So we in the opposition are saying, we do have the resources. Let's cut down on the wastage that we have been showing you. Let's stamp out corruption. We shall have the resources to deliver services to the people of Uganda. And so ladies and gentlemen, I take the pleasure to launch this uh, booklet, which has got our alternative budget priorities. Our hope is that, uh, yes, the good, amazing ideas in this booklet will be picked for the benefit of the people of Uganda. I thank you. Trillioni ana musatu feza tsuvi na zetu nyoko nisa ni mduu kile eri baadhi wani sadi kuto trillioni atano mumu na ana ni inga abiri gaku sasura mabanya ugendo kula baadhi mengine mengine mduu uli de ngatui na just trillioni kumi na sasa zetu mulo kula banga tu kula kwa appropriation ngapa parliament ito chiba chichamu ati chiba chini mzee guanga liyafe ati chiba chini nika sente zetu kwa wazee donations zetu kwa wazee zetu 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 tayari sana baadhi tia kwa guanga ah chiso kila dala ngongo mbaka parliament na suvi na ati na hangi Nja kuwa hone donation, jivampa, mpenge nenga vile kuwa ntuba fe. Echitali iyo, mbaka wa parliament, wavuli iyo. Sikanya no mruni no gumu, kuwa nti wali omu kule mbeza wa donation, agendaga vila avantu. Kabe president we guanga, sentezo zikola nyo, ngaziri mpulu emu, egenda, okusovolo okulaba, gekula akula nyabantu wa anseyo. Kuwa wa kula akula nyiza wamu, nyomu kuwa liba kanya ne constituency development fund. Nga tujuko sita system, Eyes on, hands off. Tiwe kaji yaka uumbi, kula kula nye constituency, kakuatiwe mikono mitufu, haba ntuba ganyuruemu. Nye donation zizi neno, nga ziga wibwa offices. Sikanya na zonze, sima yi prime minister, sima yi presidenti, na kabelo opu, obo gabida wa meko, na gabida wa meka. Obo kade wava ntuburi mu Uganda, chitika tosobu la kula ki, ezo sento wanga azu wa deyobu wii. Kwa sembele da, kwa budget nga wawuride, kwa hili opposition ya sports, oro oza nti chimala. Uh, of course, uh, sports national council on Gayo, Emigos of Anamuri Egirio, Bolio Mo Ario Akava, Yagalo Kuba Tegeza, Gamunavia Mizanio, Atabus Babus, Vedavia Galeno, Tewali Saint is a Batekamo sports. Boba Tekamu, Batekamu Twitter, Peanuts, Butono Dala, Otuke Sena, never didn't you get a cove course in Avunanis Waku Netball. 
Nengo uli nanti, annually milioni bisatu, mubutufu milioni bisatu mu Uganda, ziba zigenda kolachi. Nechitegeza wateka mubutono dala. Tuino kudeku drawing board, nyetumanya ebie mizanyo, bigata kubitia. E that we know couldn't to many anti, never wanga be obukat over to be got taco, because the two could taco to just sent him pitiful Nava Zungu gives a fetching gum spots. Never to tade musente ku investing gum to sobola ku jamu sente bakama bank. To be no, to no be a guanga. To no be a guango kujua each fan inti into senga to the government sent as a year was as on nan e take our bad in it because the Samuri is a good way is a marwa little as it uma or kubango muendo ga interest in munene. Go to Sasula, Senga sent as to Savolo Kubanga Zigan and Saturation Nezuko, which takes a budget here for Yandi Sawans and I, Okfan and a co president to Afe. No one never navy, Rose, Abi Runji, which ya, and to be taken with government in Unga Sifa, Basovolo, Kusala, won't teach you no chit to you, Nako, Kokola, Chitagas, I will never be to take a Coca Cola to what you want more food for two you want more taka to Walich to Suvisava, Nayuganda, Chiganda, Kubakole, or Kuja Konga to Mazok, choose or Kurembeza, or Guanga. Nayo could work at Chifan and Yukubichi, a bit to Kosasa. Was no Kwekugeza anti government in Okola sent. Nezi sawa bali. Neta zuko desa. Ate sent ezo nezi galange ezi sasuli do musoro monene nyo. Echi ukugamba bo chitu nuli na monti nino. Ebi ya maluari ronga bibibu ebiti. Nato ina joso wola genda kumpi maluari raga singa. Nga wali ebitande ebi mala. Ova edagale ebi mala. Nenga government ya ina sent ezi tuli de. Ate ezi sasuli da kwa musoro monene nyo. Gamba. Si chitu teka mumbele la ganti no mtu watu weleza ya gala kututira dala. Laba haba sobo zivali mkwe kala kasalwa misolo. Na yu ina sente ze weweze zidu wabali zitu dezi sobo la no kuyamba ko okende ze mbele eno. Kukamba nse nche kala kwebu zana haba tufugo waba antu. Bine bintu ya yumbi eta kwa kujia mwomu za nyo. Tosobo la kunga manti sente waze wola e bilion nesu kama wibili okukola marua alido. Oku improving ku innovation zine technology. Na yu tosobo la nazitu wala yu. Ovo ya gala nansi, ovo ya gala kutaba nansi. E, e, orugudo reji nja tulimanyi bulu nji ntubuli mtu alu yitako, wakavira yu. Nzi nteno kuru kwa tata wabanga matutu genda jinja nera likirita. Kubanga jamu wa kukua hata nova angwe basi vide mkomera. Na yu mtu ye wada esende zuka mbu umbiru nana. Okukolo orugudo azituli de, azue la omusoro na yesende. So priorities are government to agala kubuza ezi tekawa. So tu government senga e setting right priorities. Nti ku improving ngudo we was sent. Na Uganda Kampala buli wo itabinya binya 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 binya. Chikwe wonyisa. Obulumi buno to agala na Uganda bategere. Nti senga fe to bad no buyinza sawe. Twa ndi gambye bugambi kati olugudo lejinja balukole nja. So one day to Oza, ne a chocolate with a catcher, the government here will send the Sukam, Momo, or a full mission is to come a video on Chicumichinana, or Kupangisa, Avizim, or Mukolewe, Midimuja government, Gamba, a simple Chirumia no more, to Omoto, never obey that good. So we'll go over and go again a Kupangisa one. So again, I know good our year, watch it is in bed. She would mark at a solar good out is in bed. Gamba, government, Chilavica, Navy Zimbe, Yahweh. Kugamba, banavantu, into the neighbor called Via, Via Kunigizansi, ne, to talk at the Balagach Fanny, it is Senga Centers, no, Zukasi Wabudunji, Guanga, Yand, Govoro, Demun, Yonavan, Tuvalio, Kuanga, a chim is our budget in Monsi. Those are one to two day sectors, a biddy, a Vienji Giriza, Navy overlap. A catty wave and Gavana, which has made a once away meeting, Ningo in a saint, was it told because if you be a you can't do no people live in Uganda. Maybe I will. So it's funny to get a call quantity. No one could have this hours in the videos of your petty so well to talk. Nay to my intimate bang, a little bit of a little bit of a girl who someone called a Gwanga in the match. Um, Zesha Dominic, our agenda, labor and social development sector, you know. In a sector quarter, Kumbe, Zobu, to Gavan, to Memuri Abakozi, Memuri and Kula, Kulan and Chikula Chomut. Nga alternative budget to them sent 1.3 trillion, 
nga zino zisingira dalo genda ku abantu okutumbula embera za abantu eno ye sector ekwatedde ku bantu ku bachala engula ko naye abachala abavubuka abakadde abalema kati fe sente yafu ya kuteka sente mwe byebigenda okuyamba okutumbula zetu ita vulnerable groups of people okutumbula embera za abwe atena damu sector edi very delicate sector ya labor organization bana abana abagenda ebweru abaga ne makola eh, Saudi Arabia abaga ne makola Dubai inti baleta sente nyingi mu economy na yate ntono nyo eziteke bwamu okulaba nga tulondola embera zaabwe eriye bwe ruje bagenze no bayamba kubanga bizibinyi bafuna eno sector yoke nyine nga iyo efunye 105 billion okulaba nga tuteka wezo systems ezira abantu zigenda kulondola abana bano okubayamba yo naje bagenze kubanga bera mawanga embera jibali mtu tujitegera na yenga fe government tuwa tuina okubafu hako wadebagenze wa yugana kuwanga waleta sente sente nyingi actually wa contributing a sente nyingi nyo eno sector eta sente nyingi nyo kubudgeti ya yugana na ya tetula manti ntono nyo eziteke wamu okulabanga sector ekula okula njizibu mkusoke radala fe ngabo uluda uluwa ula government Biyo nabye tukola tubikola nga tubikola mmateka. Olwa lero budget je tuyisiza eya trillion ana mwenya. Ekole ku financial ya eyo mwako ogujja. Tutaddewo bichi bye tutekedwa okusokera ko nechi njagala okusaba government yafu. Etekedwa okuwa ekitibwa. Oludda oluvuganya government nadala ebirowoze ebiretebwa. Tutunulide ntisinga government uh, ewa sente zo muwo musoro ekitibwa. Ojja kwesanga nga okwewola kukendera. Ne sente bulwezewola ne tutatukiriza kigenderera kyazo kyekyasinze okukosa egwanga lino kubanga bwe wewola olwe kigenderwa nota kitukiriza ate mu buta kitukiriza no beranga sente zibazifulumye ate zibibwa ekyo kya bulabe nnyo awo no tunulide ekyo kuwa ebyobulamu uh, priority ebyenjigiriza priority singa tuna tunulira ebintu ebisokerwako abantu bafe bajja kuba bayambi naye abantu bavu e sente zewolebwa Tezuko la cheziteke duwa kola, ateze wole wakumu ku interest ya nene, chokate ni tuvaa wane zibiwa. Tu sababu government, ekeendeze kububiwe sente, singa sente zomu uomu solo teziwewe chitiwa. Kumanga chetisinzo kutatanye guanga lino. Nenga njaga lao kuweba za uh, uh, avoludo uluwa government, okubanti no, tusobode okuisa budget, jetugenda okuteka kufulo, atera tusaba parliament, ejiwe chitiwa, ngafetu tunuli de trilioni, ana munya, so si sente ndala zomu. Uganda. <laughs> Atena abali mbuyinza, atibali sibe etegefu, kubite ekesa mungkola, kuwa wachimanyi, mbabi kola, uh, bagi na kubanga badda wansi, kuwa mbabi kola budgeti za wenga, batu nuri demekaze baba, so si meka ezi amba abantu. Budget jetuko za mbaja kwe unyanti, nga yikako wansi kwe yu, government jefurumia, ransu nga fe mbajeti ya fete, tubaliri demu za ababi, ababi vade batiloba wa yobu umbi, obu trio ni ze kumi, okuda wa gulu, zibagi za koku, kunyaga mungeri ya mbe ndala. Na efe kuruno, to start them, which is too bad. The church, the church, the church, Uganda, the church, 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 the Mudoketi ya fenga minister wa bavubu katuina obuumbi chukumi atano. Obuumbi buna chukumi atano. Obu ina projects ezenja uze bugenda mu. Okuli ya green job. Okuli ya appreciative. Na okuli nendala. Zineno program tuwa uh, wezidi. Na yete zina funding. Government iba denge ziteka unga. Izo gira kone. Haba mtubazi manyi. Yate zina funding ya mala. Niyo tuwa tu start demu sente. Tukiliza chige na kugeza ako okuda mu echibuzo. Echa experience. Iba debu uzi wabanafe. Jovamu University, 
mu university mu vude ne bakubuza experience okufuna omulimu nenga bakimanyu waka graduating nenga bakwaga za experience ya myaka ejiri mu ebiri obe myaka esatu so in a program of keeping anga tuli unemployed egenda kubange wa abantu omukisa abavubuka vude mu university okukorerawo nga bayingiza nga ba developing skills za wenga abantu ate basobola kubanga bafuna ne experience basobozesa okutula milimu eje jamanyi singa jibajiri advertised baba bainawe bade bakolera nga program government jemanyi era ekolebwe bitongole ebyatekebwa government okubanga biwa abavubuka skills zino so byemu ku bintu byetu enyumirizamu era byetutunuli dokulanga tukendeza ku bula liye milimu kube bimu ku bitugo bamu tiwe mumaliriza omazo kusoma oyise bulungi bakusaba experience oluchi jota ina atende batakuwa mukisa kufuna experience yongo ku mulimu so Fetuko ze proposal nga mbiye tutunuri de tuina muu projects ingezo ya zige ndo kuyamba kaba ntunga. Tuina muu haba saoba engineer, bulimulimu, omuntu wabela kone sector jaguamu, ero yotiso muu deploying. Ani agendo kono holo za nti obuse anamu obusa pumbala mbunu nji mwa. Obuse nga kwa nga mwala government kuya leto kwa vya wa mbali ya mwato uja. Kuli ya vili mwana pia vili mwana. Mwishu nori de choku singa obuse kwa nga mwana obusa tu. Uh, Totonuli de, okubanti sente zite ekebua kwebio viga samona Uganda. Tujemu sente ezibibwa, tujemu sente ezite ekewa mkoyo uro kutasani de. Uh, echo kubidi, uh, tutunuli de okubanti sente zino tugenda kuzite eka ku basics. For example, we tuzite eka kubiobulamu, ni tuzite eka kubie njigiriza, ni tuzite eka kubie ngudo, no kwa empoweringa bantu wa femu bie milimu, Tula banga, tuba tukole dedalo omuli moguga sama na Uganda haba sokeru wako. Sente zi singo obu unje, ziba dezi lete banga mo budget. Ziba dezi limu sente nyinje, zima li zanga zono nedua bo ono nebwa. Enda langa tapasu wana kunyo nyura waje zara ze. Sochi ovora wafe tuwa genzo kubali lilo obu unje. Gata wali kudibu ndako na ngobo sana mwobu satubo malida dada obu unje. Na tui milide wamu, na haba subu ziba fe. Era tuongera yedo bozili ya febuli weta agisa. Tiemi soro jisu se. Okusingi la dala haba subuzi. Bajina echizibu chokumanti bo. Tebaina musoro guankala kari la gweba manyi. Gusasura kubia maguzibu ya haba lese. Omu subuzi emavegako emiezi ngebili emavegabada sasura buka dechikumi. Kubuka dechikumi muabili oku ingi zebi intu. Na ene bakula ganti kati container jisasura buka debi na. Era container za zisu kila dane mubita anuzale mede ku revenue. Nga hava subuzi, bazi boykoti so kuzijia yu ule mbeda yu misoro. Ita ili tax. Omisoro ugo, hava singo bunji bagu ita infliz. Omisoro ugo nobulichi intu chona omisubuzi cha atunda. Katika tibuli waka furumia, achaji ingi wa sente za asa sura. Gatiba mwenye nyo desi genda kukolachi, neja singa achaji ingi dua. Omisubuzi azira banga penalty, obanga echimone rezo. Kumanga ezi singo bunji, bagi ndo kumaliriza, nga tege gandiba de ama goba gabwe. Okugeza. Omusubuzi senga tunde chitu cha mituwa lomkaga muetano, asa sule mituwa lomuenda kuhidi sita ebe furumye. So avasubuzi bandi ya wagade, niti atulisi newa wala wagala okubajia kwa msoro kwa e-taxi. Gwandi badu msoro kwa nunga kusa sulo munu digumu mumu waka, nga pola ya wasa sula kesi siye. Enso nge ndala, revenue, Uganda Revenue Authority, tuwa gale veyo na yeko le report. E gambe mu parliament ya Uganda, tiba nage, nze nteke semi soro jino mungkola. Na ye moemba njikunga nyamfuno obuzibu kumanga jisu kili dobu nji, ata jiri na muvenye mga mateka. So, chidja kuyamba kone parliament, evitongo le vina avaye bie nja ule, evi funa njizibu wa mkunga nye emi soro nga yuara, e, nga vila gobu zibu webu funa, parliament edemu, etunulida rifaisi nga kumisoro jino. E choku wili, e, enso nge ndala, emi soro jandi ba denga bo jiba jirete, ba jisoka, nebe ebu uzi waku sekta, ze baga loko ngela kemi soro, obewi nituwe bigendo kulete waku kemi soro, nga ebu uza kwa haba habi kola. E, e, haba habi kola, e, chidala nejibe langa jiso mesebwa, haba ntune bate gera, nebaba aga ziso kusasure emi soro, na yenga jino, e jiri double taxation, wa triple taxation, e jigani wa mateka, jibe renga jiva u.
presentation for the opposition with the theme of fostering resilient communities by combating corruption and promoting efficient service delivery. The Honorable Chagula Nwaba Sentama to welcome you all to this. I want to welcome our leader of the opposition, Chief Opposition Whip, Honorable the Honorable MP for Mandia County, Honorable Jawakam, the Shadow Cabinet members who are here, present. I welcome you, members of Parliament, our invited guests, the Fourth Estate. We are very much going to have a short, a short presentation today, like I informed you earlier, such that we can get back to other business of the week. But also before I do so, we are here as the opposition in Parliament, appreciating and acknowledging that we are not those who have been here before. Our elders who have been in the opposition before, most of us are their products, we have them. I want us to appreciate them with a hand clap for what they have done. That is not enough. In because we are facing us the same goal of removing the dictatorship in this country. So I request all of us in the opposition to have one goal, to focus on what we want to achieve, to get to where we want to get to. Um, and uh, he, he, he fed them with only five loaves and two fish. Call them, you, you add them and get baskets of crumbs. Now those also fed many. That means we do not have to throw away the crumbs. We can also use them for something else. So if the people who have gone away from us living in this country, I therefore call upon the Honorable John Baptist Nambeshe to give us <coughs> apologies. I call him to I've be elected to clap. Clap very well. Clap very well. Thank you, Mr. President, uh, sir, and leader of opposition. I'm Seung Joseph Gonzaga, MP Kalon County West. But he, frankly speaking, I'm the Minister of Education. Because the other one is nowhere to be seen. So I'm doing two duties. Full Minister. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> and the leader of opposition, guests here. My name is Ruta Maguzi Semakura. I'm a Shadow Minister of Lands, Housing, and Urban Development. Bachireke Nambo Zebeti. MP Mukono Municipality, Shadow Minister for Internal Affairs. Samuji Ibrahim, Shadow Finance Minister. Luchams David Kalwanga, CPA Representative. Your Excellency, the Right Honorable Leader of Opposition, and all Honorable Members. Good morning and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Shamim Malende, woman member of parliament for Kampala district and the shadow human rights minister. Your Excellency, the Right Honorable Leader of Opposition, my name is Nyakato Asnans, 
I represent Hoima City as a woman member of parliament, and I'm the shadow minister for agriculture. Uh, Your Excellency, uh, the legitimate president of the Republic of Uganda, His Excellency Chagurani Sentamo Robert, the Right Honorable Leader of Opposition, and other leaders present. My name is Muwada Nkunyinji, Member of Parliament for Chad Dondo County East, and the Shadow Minister, now acting as the Foreign Minister of Foreign Affairs. <laughs> Thank you. Your Excellency, our Chief Guest, you are welcome. Right Honorable Lop, protocol observed. My name is Betty Itonaluima. I'm the woman MP for Kiso District. I'm also the one who is championing full devolution and decentralization in the country, also the implying I'm the shadow minister for local governments. Thank you. Mr. President, sir, I am Kanyike Ronald Evans. I represent the people of Bukoto East in Masaka District. And uh, I am the Shadow Minister for Energy and Mineral Development. I thank you. Your Excellency, the Leader of Opposition, I'm Chiaga Hilary Innocent. I represent Maokota North and I'm the Shadow Minister Arts and Culture. Your Excellency, the President and Lop. My name is uh, Balimwezo Ronald Insuga, the member of parliament representing Nakawa East constituents in the parliament of Uganda, but I also double as the shadow minister for Kampala. Thank you. Your Excellency, my president, my leader of opposition, protocol observed, um, Christine Kaya Nachimuero. I'm Chivoga district woman member of parliament, but also the Minister for Water and Environment in the Alternative Government. I thank you. Your Excellency, the President, the lead of the Opposition, Amanja Richevakuchika, the Woman Member of Parliament, Ginger City, and I'm the most experienced Shadow Minister for Trade and Industries. Thank you. Uh, Your Excellency and the Leader of Opposition and colleagues, I'm Nantongo Fortunate Rose, the woman in picture terror, and here being the alternative government, I'm the full Minister of Gender, Labor, and Social Development. Your Excellency, the Leader of Opposition, protocol observed, good morning. I'm Frank Kawye, MP Kassanda South, Shadow Minister for the Youth and Children Affairs. Uh, Your Excellency, uh, President, uh, the Leader of Opposition, colleagues, um, Nyeko, Derek, the Minister for Defense and Veteran Affairs. Thank you. Of Parliament for Kalangala District. I thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Ugandans deserve better health care, they deserve better education, and they deserve better infrastructure in order for them to live their full potential and benefit and enjoy all their fundamental rights. Because education is essential for producing skilled workers, a workforce that will transform communities, it's therefore important that our children study subjects and courses 
that are relevant to their passion and natural abilities. We cannot achieve without changing, we can't achieve this without changing or in fact overhauling our entire education system and realigning our education institutions. Considering that 75% of Uganda's disease burden is preventable, then we must make our priority to invest in disease prevention rather than disease cure. This should be done in addition to hiring skilled and professional health workers through a fair recruitment process and go ahead to remunerate them fairly and on time. We must think about our creative area, think about our creatives, provide conditions that don't only protect their intellectual property, but also create conditions that help them to live to their full potential. About the creative that could go on and on and on, but the rest, I guess, Dr. Hilderman and uh, others who are creatives and within our leadership will elucidate on that. However, ladies and gentlemen, as attractive as all these alternative policies might be, it is actually impossible to achieve them if the leaders in charge of our national resources cannot rise above their petty selfishness. We must resist, we must reject, in fact, we must eject all forms of corruption in public administration, otherwise, all this will be going to a waste. Our sources will continue sinking down the long drain of personal greed at the expense of our collective well-being and at the lives of our people, our children, and our children's children. As a national unity platform, we shall continue to take decisive action in that regard. Friends, Many good proposals have been presented in terms of policy alternatives, in terms of laws, by ourselves and other leaders. But let us be honest, no matter how good our thoughts are, no matter how beautiful our proposals are, they shall never see the light of the day for as long as dictator Museveni is still in charge of this country. That is my firm belief. Yes. We must continue telling Ugandans the truth as it is, instead of, you know, misleading them with eloquent speeches. We must paint to them a picture of the problem, and we need to go ahead and point at where the problem is. The man who has ruled our country for almost 40 years now is not just a political opponent to us, no. He is the embodiment of Uganda's problems. He's a living testament of corruption. He's the testament of oppression. He is the embodiment of the abuse of all democratic principles. In a nutshell, he is the roadblock, he is the stumbling block between Uganda and its progress. So let us face the reality and deal with the reality as it is. It's until you diagnose the problem that you'll be able to deal with that problem. I mean, he and his cronies live in extreme luxury while our hospitals are sick and our schools are rotting away. Yes, we have alternative policies. Yes, we have brilliant minds here in Parliament, you know, wonderful at economics, wonderful at debating and all that. But we shall debate, we shall propose, and we shall articulate issues but let me be clear to you once again, my brothers and sisters, that no matter how good our alternatives are, no matter how well-intentioned you, our MPs, are, it won't make any difference for as long as we don't have any power to implement those good ideas. We must get used to that fact and deal with that fact exactly the way it is. I mean, we can draft the most comprehensive budgets, we can allocate funds meticulously, we can strategize endlessly, but as long as Museveni remains at the helm, the efforts 
we'll all be like rearranging cups on a falling table. We must channel all our energy. We must channel all our passion and all our abilities and all our determination towards one singular mission, removing the dictator and reorganizing the country as the citizens of Uganda. That is the only way this is going to be possible. So I continue to encourage all of us here present and those watching us outside that we must do what we must do. You cannot take a step unless you unlock your feet. So for now, what we have as a great resource is our collective determination and collective will to have a free country. And after having that, then we shall go ahead to build a Uganda where all Ugandans are equal regardless of their ethnicity, regardless of where they come from, regardless of religion, tribe, or social class. We shall go ahead to build a Uganda where leaders lead with integrity, where leaders are true servants and citizens are the true masters of their destiny. So let us use this resource that we have to put an end to this dictatorship. Let us use this resource to change this country once and for all. I thank you for listening to me, for God and my country. For your bread, six for your family, Straight, straight, straight. We're gonna start. One, two, three. 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 Uganda ye nache malira yowe limu seveni nga ye senteze guanga zona zona azimalira mkwe kumira mbu inza kugulidaba kulembeze wa mwetorode na kunyigiriza abantu so echizibu chetu ino kusoko kujao ye nache malira mu seveni then tuberene dembe ezivisa sanya senteza Uganda si mkwe jarabia na imu kutereze vyo ebisano kutasa abantu nga masomero nga maluwa liru nebi laifana na webicho kala nsonge no nene jiri du singa kumutu omu uh, ensonga jemba desikonye kwe ensonga yenguzi ekute ejembe ni wangu bade omu kufe na ye yasanga monsonge yu na ye abamu kulira vipasingo kuli yenguzi wakugeza speaker wa fewano speaker wa parliament ya Uganda ye nachinku mkuli yenguzi elecho cheta goku ogeru wako ensi nechimanya nensi ne mkulinga out kubanga sente ezono nebuwa parliament ya nesobolo kuchusobola mbu abantu bonji nyo so obolibu yenguzi ye kansa Ayono nye Uganda kati chafuka 
institution enguzi yafuka ngeri ya kwekumira mbuyinza na ngeri ya kukakanya abavuganya government so enguzi nge kulemberwa ni tamongo pika wa wano mimu sibo kabo kaba enarim nenga mulimo na abafe kizibu nyo era nacho tunino kirwanyisa ate tujja kirwanyisa fenga nup tujja kukola ukoze sebi kolwa sibi gambo wetu ino buyinza wona okulwanyisa enguzi na etu agala na buli kitongo le cha government chikoso buyinza obo okulwanyisa enguzi kuba enguzi yesizigiza yugane mabega ulire mwe abajitekawo tewali lutalo rona rona okuleka ngo ngama nti okole kitufu luba lutalo okole kitufu luba lutalo then tuli mu lutalo era tuino kubera mu lutalo ngatulwanyisa enguzi ngatulwanyisa obuli yake ngatulwanyisa bwana chema lira do luba lutalo so si mu kibina cha fe nze ndoza mu kibina cha fe twandi badenga echo kulabirako buli muntu kaberenga speaker wa parliament ya gude ya kutengu ya lidenguzi kaberenga minister na akanga vulwa nga bechino kubera fenga nup tuba wa cha kulabirako tuli option era mu yugane mpya betu bikola betu job bikola nga tumazo kugobana chema lira ku uh, kukukakanya ate kusa kuba member bange benkulembera mu kibina njagala nnyonjo gere ku nsonga ezigasa egwanga lyonna kati budget eno si ya NUP yoka wabula e reflecting a financial opposition yonna so sagala ensonga za NUP atenzi yingi ze mbibine bilala njagala njogere ku chintu ekigasa egwanga lyonna lyonna si kibina choka nga NUP we bale nzinga tulooza nti bwaba obumenyi bwa mateka oyina kutesa na amenya mateka bwaba obumenyi bwa mateka nga waliwo evidence obwe obu o, o, o o o o bujulizi obumulumika then amateka gakole bumuga amanti te nti amam omuntu babamenye teka batesaganye naye then tujewa amateka bibere bya kutesaganya baganda bafe abasi wa makomera te baina musango no lwe nsonge iyo baina okuyimbulwa embagirawo awatali kwa kulizo kubati baina musango bababa baina musango baletebwe mu koti bavunaniwe omusango gubake mu vi obaba gusinge bejerere so si kutesaganya nabo iye nkola ya chiyekera tetukirizganya nayo tukirizganya mu fuga eya mateka era bwe tunatwa lubuyinza ye nfuga je tujjo kutambulira ko mwebaza lok tufisizayo akadde najja ko mu parliament nga tusoma je baita alternative budget ona kulwalero era ebigambo bya president be biberawo ba budget tena bakusoma nasoka na tuitiram na ye abadde ayo guarantee bwe tuba tusomanga budget zino batu zikola tulina okulaba nga zili practically on the ground to soma figures na ye figures nga zili related ne ku service deliveries kubanga budget eba meant to offer services to the people kati na government tusobola kuba ne no kuogera oluzungu olunje nyo ne togera figures enunji na yechiri eri munansi wa ordinary citizens obo muntu wa bulijjo okulaba nti ebyo byenyini byetogera mu budget babira bako era na agambe bitusobola okubiraba nga tulina good governance obo bukulembeze obuteke ekitibwa mu mbalirira obukulembeze obutakiririza mu kulyanguzi obukulembeze obu walking at the top kyo mukulembeze bwa agama nti zino tsente tuzitadde mu ministry ya health dalanga zibera yo tuzitadde ministry yebye ngudo dalanga zibera yo so njagala kumweba zako nti ataskinze na darafe ngaba kulembeze tulino okubera endabirwamu eri bana Uganda bonna kubanga endabirwamu eri reflecting echo society chebeli no kulaba so twagala kumweba za na toxinga byonna speech ya tedde munga tukubiriza nti tulino okwegendereze nyo the way we behave especially as regards to financial handlings abali na docket says zitunulire byensimbi sifefeka ne banafa abalala mugwanga bali no kutunulire enyo do we use the money for the intended purposes kubanga we batu wa sente zifana nazia ne tukola budgeting e shininga na yenga intended purposes are not fulfilled the ordinary citizens will always be in, in having bigger gaps in terms of services so kakati ya chiche mweba zako nechi lala ukula, ukula bantino atuza mwa amanyi ntu we are not yet there but we shall be there very soon yes sir mwebye taka tubade alternative budget ya fetu hata demu okuteka mzino centers compensating abantu bebye taka 
kwanga government ebadenge gamba tugenda kusosuliranga intake eririko conflicts obezi eririko kusukomugwa ne tubadenga bakola tulaba bakola hand picking of a selected few individuals abali related to power center ngabo kabe baba eba compensating a percentage so land fund to ajita them some good billions more alternative budget yafe okulaba anti nazo zibera mu budget tusobola okulaba anti waliwe bitundu ebimu nga ba landlords bali willing ko accepting a compensation from government through land fund e, basobola okuleka abantu okubanti nonti nabo beta iza kubibanja bya ekyo kubiri mu gundi yafe to ajita them anti government okubange lirira weisa infrastructure zayo on time for example waliwo bayi engudo ne abantu ne babanja sente za fenga baba value winga buli kimucho nanga chagwa abantu ne babanja sente za bwe for years and years kakati twabagambe muzino sente zirimwe zigenda kusasula uh, amabanja domestic debts zirino kuberanga nazo ziri ku mwanjonyo uh, okubanti no nabantu baba bafune sente za bwe mu budde this is done at a, a nail speed and right of way is not obtained before we go to banks to borrow money. We have segmented, because the point we make of the resilient communities, look, in agriculture we borrowed money. 309 billion borrowed to boost agriculture is unutilized. And uh, we provide the table here for you to see. We borrowed the money for digital transformation. It is also not utilized. We borrowed the money to fix our broken road network to the tune of 13.2 trillion. It is still there, not utilized. There are road projects such as upgrading the well of Talangu, for which we borrowed 44 billion from OPEC in 2018. You can imagine we borrowed 2018 to upgrade this road, but the money is there. We acquired 895 loan from the African Movement Bank for the construction of Kampala Jinja Expressway. That money is also there. Government is looking for money to pay for, for, for passage. So the money for roads, even before you begin the allocating what is available, even if you are using just the money that you have borrowed, 13.2 trillion, and the roads that are affected, at least is here, it will be provided. The same applies to the health sector, where we have borrowed money to fix our health infrastructure, but this money is also not utilized. It goes to innovation, technology, and development transfer in the manufacturing sector, 276. In public sector, 43 billion. Regional development, 109. I am giving you figures of money borrowed for these sectors or for programs that is not utilized. In the energy sector, we have borrowed up to 3.3 trillion. We have used only 2.3 trillion. And a list per sector is provided, which we'll be sharing. I have now moved to domestic areas. The total stock of central government area, according to finance, rose from 4.8 trillion 2020-2021 to 7.9 trillion in 2022. So the 
finance presents a figure of 7.9 trillion as our domestic area. The auditor general presents a figure of 10.8 trillion. And this is money owed to people who have supplied the government in various categories, including court awards, taxes, pension, ETC, rent. What is worrying is that the uh, government is only providing 200 towards clearing domestic area. So government uh, owes its suppliers 10 trillion, but in the budget they are providing 200 billion. So it will, it will take them maybe my remaining entire life, because I am 50, I don't think I will reach 100 for this government to clear this debt when they are not contracting new ones. I now move to abuse, as noted earlier by the leader of the opposition, abuse of borrowed money. You may all have interacted with the report of the Auditor General. The Auditor General reports on page 84 that we we have vaccines for COVID worth 300 billion that have expired. Remember the loan the last parliament contracted during the COVID period from World Bank and IMF. 300 billion was used to buy vaccine. Now these vaccines have expired worth 300 billion. There are other drugs at national medical stores worth 33 billion that are also expiring. Interesting. The Minister of Health now says they are going to use money, part of the money of Gavi, to go and destroy the, these vaccines. So you have borrowed the money, vaccines have expired. Now the money brought here by donors to deal with other problems is what you are going to use to, to go and destroy the expired day vaccines. I am reading all this list that will bring me to a figure because we need to clean the budget. Our proposal is that this budget must be clean. One of the figures that you will find in the budget, aggregated figure, this government is spending 187 billion on renting offices every year. 187. Even if you are not a contractor and they give you 187 billion every year, you can construct offices for someone. But maybe these buildings are theirs. 187 billion is what is being provided in the budget for rent. And we are provided a figure. Can you imagine you go to France and you rent for embassy 3.9 a year? In five years, anyone, even of average understanding, will use the 3.9 per year to construct. But we are spending, and the whole list is provided here, what we are spending on embassies, what we are spending on buildings, including later on I will be showing you, we are also renting uh, some structures for state house. Maybe the president and his wife are not fitting in uh, Nakasero and Entebbe. So they are renting extra buildings. So the list is provided here of where we are paying money for rent. Next financial year, we will spend 780 billion on transporting public officers. 780 billion. On average, that's what we spend. Because Usually we spend 220 billion acquiring new vehicles. We spend 404 billion fueling them. 155 billion on maintaining these vehicles. So in a year, we are spending 780 billion. The leader of opposition earlier spoke about phasing out, uh, which is part of the presentation that you have reducing on cost of public expenditure like other DCs. Because another DC in Rubaga, the best you can do is buy him a motorcycle. 
someone is resident in Rubaga, that's where he's an RDC, you buy him a pickup of 400 and then you fuel it and maintain it and give him a drive. And all they do is to visit one radio station after another to go and uh, badmouth the opposition. And you will see a whole fleet, 200 vehicles, brand new pickups for RDCs. And you all know what they do in your respective areas. Because they, you can even buy them bicycles. So the table here is showing how much you are going to spend on buying vehicles, on fueling them, and maintaining them. We are also spend, we are going to spend 162 billion on donations by our leaders. And the list is provided here. Mr. Seven, under his residence, he will donate 77 billion. Again, he has what he calls support presidential initi initiatives, 59 billion. Parliamentary Commission has 4.9 billion for communication and public affairs. Again, Mseven has 4.2 billion in his office for donation. The Prime Minister has 3.7 donation. The Speaker of Parliament, 2.4 billion donation. The National Council of Sports, 2.4 billion donation. The government whip has 1.8 billion donation, not his entire budget, but he has 1.8 billion for donation. The opposition whip has zero. If the leader of opposition has nothing to donate, what about the leader of opposition? So the whole list of who has money to donate that comes to 162 billion is here. You can interact with it. We are going through this list, and I'm about to come to an end. I said this is going to be a summary. Looking for money that will be reprioritized. That's why we are going through this list. Money for donation, money for vehicles, money for this. All this money can be reprioritized in the sectors that the head of opposition outlined here, health, education, sectors that are going to help our people. But before I do that, let's look at the revenue projection. We had problems with the finance when they came to Parliament. They said revenue, the projection was that it was, was going to grow by less than 1%. Yet on average, it has been growing by, uh, by 11%. And that's why they had maintained 29 trillion when you go to the side of um, resources to finance next year's budget. When we, man we maintain the annual revenue growth of 11, it means we'll have 33.4 trillion and not 29. And then I want to come to other areas to complete the list of what we have identified as luxuries in the budget. That list, uh, if it can be highlighted there. Next financial year, we have 34 billion for ceremonies and state functions. 34 billion. When you see these NRM people going to a function, they have 34 billion for ceremonies and state functions. Travel inland, next financial year we have 671 billion. Travel inland. And travel abroad we have 108 billion. We have 152 billion for workshops, meetings, and seminars. 200 and 
97 billion special meals and drinks. We have, I have already read out the list of donations. We have 133 billion for welfare and entertainment. When you put this together, you will have 1.5 trillion that is available. And our proposal is that even if you reduce it by just 25%, you'll have 1.1 trillion available. I now come to our budget proposal. After doing all what I have outlined, we think the realistic budget for Uganda should be 43 trillion shillings. Not any other figure. Why? If you look at the, and you need to take note of this, every year government presents a budget, and I'll use last financial year, they presented a budget of 54 trillion. When it came to the actual release, they usually publish in newspapers that we have released the money. Most of the time they have released the air. Because what that release means is that they have now asked the government agencies to begin submitting invoices to finance for payment. When those invoices are submitted to finance for payment, there is no money. The most interesting thing is that uh, even when they budgeted for 54 trillion, they made the release less than 5.4 trillion. By their own release, they have a budget of 54. When they published the theoretical release, it was less by 5.4. When it came to actual money that is spent, it was actually 43 trillion. trillion. But they released uh, about uh, 49 trillion in theory. But they did not even release the whole budget as, as they had presented it. Uh, we are doing this coming to a figure, and this will be the, the last part. The figure that has, a, if you can go there, the figure that has our budget. So we, we've made proposals on what to remove what to reallocate these sectors, and I said we will not be going into details of what we intend to, to reallocate and to what particular sector and department. But eventually, when all this is done, um, you will come to a budget of 43 trillion shillings, when you will have removed all the luxury, and our proposal is that uh, once you've dealt with this luxury, next year you don't even have to go and borrow nine trillion uh, from commercial banks. And then if for a sustained period of three to four years you are not borrowing, it means now you'll have more resources available. You'll no longer be spending 20 trillion on servicing debt. Finally, um, I hope I have been clear because I said this is going to be a summary. The NUP president, the Honorable Chagulanyi, made here very substantive statement on seven being our problem, and I share it 100%. Part of the problem that we have in this budget, <clears throat> and this indiscipline is replicated elsewhere, is that the country has been made to finance Museveni's life, both public and private. I'll give you an example. The title first lady means someone who's wife, isn't it? In fact, it's not even provided for in the government hierarchy. But next financial year, we are going to pay someone his name is Waiswa Charles Baker. His job is executive assistant, first lady. So 
for Museveni's wife to be Museveni's wife, we must recruit staff for her, including an executive. I don't know really how he's going to engage with two adults who are married. But his job, and he's paid four million. Because how can you be paid to be an executive secretary to an existing office? The office of first lady does not exist. But we are recruiting someone to facilitate that office that does not exist on the government's structure. And the name is there. You can look at the policy statement of the president. We also have a, a special presidential assistant on household affairs, Butajira Penelope. This person is paid the this person is paid the eight million per month to help uh, these two adults on their household affairs. And that brings the entire list of people who work at Museveni's residence to one thousand. As you, you earlier interacted with it, he has a uh, 51 cleaners, 62 cooks, he has 80 gardeners, 29 housekeepers, 10 dobby and round area tenants, 100 private secretaries, 14 room attendants, 22 presidential assistants at the residence, <clears throat> 51 waitress and waiters, and 14 presidential advisors. So these are people who are supposed to be helping our president and, and his wife because State House is provided for under the Presidential Monuments and Benefits Act as a residence of the president. <clears throat> Interestingly, and we'll be sharing these lists as well, Mr. M7 has also created another category of mobilizers and political, some of them are mobilizers, political assistants in the state house. They do Museveni's political work, but they are paid by Uganda. For example, someone mentioned Namiaro here, the one who was in Kororo abusing Muslims who went to Foftari. Her salary in the state house is 12 million per month, but she sits at Museveni's office as chairman of NRM in Chambogo. So someone who is employed by NRM in Chambogo is on the payroll as a special presidential assistant, 12 million per month. That list has nearly 200 people who are doing that sort of work, will be sharing it. So honorable members, the details of our locations, of our proposals, uh, in a booklet that the lead of opposition will launch. And these proposals are proposals sector by sector, program by program. What I have outlined here is a summary and the structure of the economy. So I want to thank you very much for listening to me, for God and my country. Thank you, the very able finance minister, Honorable Samuju Ibrahim Nanda, for that very elaborate presentation. And thank you for being brief. Uh, allow me, honorable members, welcome the Honorable Miriam Atembe. She has just joined us. Honorable, we welcome you. Please feel at home. She's one of the elders I talked about before. And we are very thankful we still have her in, in our presence. Uh, honorable members, allow me, uh, that is honorable members and our visitors, allow me once again welcome, because I welcome these members in the absence of the leader of the opposition, the new members of parliament that joined us and that they are in the opposition, honorable appeal, 
that is Honorable Dr. Pio and Honorable Sarah Guti. Please stand up for recognition. You're welcome once again. I would also want to welcome our, some of our guests here and allow me to mention the names. Mr. Chris Nkwatsibwe from the N National NGO Forum. You're welcome, sir. Thank you for coming. We have Mr. Aibazibwe Innocent from the Ethics and Integrity Forum. You're very much welcome. Where is he? Thank you so much for coming. And um, allow me, honorable members, at this juncture, like we said, we're not going to take a lot of time. Uh, allow me to invite the leader of the opposition to launch the finance, our budget for the financial year 2024-2025. That is all enshrined in that book that we all have. Honorable members, please go and read uh, whatever is in this book and understand because I believe most of you are going to be invited on different TV stations, radio stations, to tell the country what it is all about. So let us understand and uh, best present the opposition of pa the Parliament of Uganda. The leader of the opposition, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Helen. We are pretty much coming to the end. I um, understand we have some representatives from the UN who have joined us. I don't know if they are in the room somewhere. Are they? OK. Well, um, we'll probably try and locate them at some point. want to appreciate you again, colleagues, for making time and coming. I want to appreciate again the director in the office of the leader of the opposition and the technical staff who, who I tend to stress. Well, not stress really, but, um, you know, we keep driving them as hard as we possibly can to produce this work, and they are doing an incredible job, even when it's a lean team. But we appreciate them. I want to also, again, welcome the Honorable Dr. Miriam Atembe, who has just joined us. She's got numerous commitments, but she has come nonetheless. As I end, I'll invite her to say hello to us in about two minutes or so. As Honorable Helen has been saying, we do produce this work. Uh, let's, let's make good use of it. Um, it will even help us to keep shaping the next ones. These are documents that we avail so we can interact with them. Um, our alternative budget priorities were captured from our alternative ministerial policy statements, which were laid in Parliament and they were brought to your committees. I hope you have been attending these uh, sectoral committees and interacting with these documents and, and so on. But again, when you get the documents, please find time and read so you can excogitate over them and we see how we keep improving them so that the next time we have even better watertight documents. This, our opposition priority areas, we did unveil it a couple of weeks back and um, we were saying this is what we want to be focusing on, critical issues, you know, corruption, poor service delivery, human rights abuses, et cetera, et cetera, to make sure that uh, we execute our mandate. We unveiled this a short while ago. There's another small document that um, we have availed to us. Herein is our budget speech. It's a summarized version of uh, our breakdown of the alternatives, what we think needs to be focused on. So we have captured it in this document. And finally, this big, fairly big, not too big, uh, booklet here is what has our alternative budget priorities for the different dockets. So you'll find herein what we are proposing should go to healthcare, what we are proposing should go to education, to infrastructure, to all the service delivery areas. And we are showing you where the money can be gotten from. Honorable Semuju has very ably, and I want to appreciate him, made his presentation to show the wastages 
to show the corruption and so on. So when we are telling government that you are allocating so little to healthcare, we are telling them this is what ought to be allocated there. This is what ought to be allocated to the different dockets. And we are also pointing out where the money can come from. Because normally, when we say allocate more to healthcare, allocate more to education, infrastructure, and so on, they say, but you see, we are a poor country. We don't have the resources. So we in the opposition are saying, we do have the resources. Let's cut down on the wastage that we have been showing you. Let's stamp out corruption. We shall have the resources to deliver services to the people of Uganda. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I take the pleasure to launch this uh, booklet, which has got our alternative budget priorities. Our hope is that, uh, yes, the good, amazing ideas in this booklet will be picked for the benefit of the people of Uganda. I thank you. Trillion ya namu satu, feze tisubi na zetu inoko yosa. Nemu juki deri, baji wani sadi ku trillioni, atano umu nana. Nienga abiri, ga kusasura mabanja. Ugendu okulaba baji menye menye muji ulide. Nga tuina just trillion kumi na satu. Zetu ulo okulaba nga tukulako appropriation, nga parliament. Echo chiba chichamu, ati chiba chenye mze guanga liyafe, ati chiba chilinyika. Sente si kwa wanza donation zezu. Ulo za zechi zechi tagi sa mba jetia kwa guanga. Ah, chisao kila didala, ngo mba kwa parliament. Na subi na ati nangi. Nja kuwa haone donation jivampa Mpenge nenga vile kuwa natuwa fe Echita hali yyo Mbaka wa parliament wavuli yyo Sikanya no mulundi no gumu Kuwa nti wali uomo kulembeza wa donation Agenda aga vila avantu Kabe president we guanga Sentezo zikola nyo Ngaziri mpulu emu Egenda okusovolo ukulaba Gekula kula nyabantu wa anseyo Kuwa wakula kula, kula nyiza wamu Ndiyo mkuwa liba kanya ne constituency development fund Nga tujiko sisa system Eyes on, hands off. Tiweka jaka uumbi, kula kula nye constituency, kakuatiwe mikono mitufu, haba ntuwa ganyuremu. Nye donation zizi neno, nga ziga wibwa offices. Sikanya na zonze, sima yi prime minister, sima yi presidenti, na kabele opu, obo gabida wameko, na gabida wameka. Obo kade waba ntuburi mu Uganda, chitika tasobu la kula ki, ezo sento banga azu wa deyobu wii. Kwa sembele da, kubaje tinga wawuride, kwa hili opposition ya sports, oroza, antichimala. Uh, of course, uh, sports national council on Gayo, Emigos over Namuri Egidio, Buriomo Ariu Akava, Jagalo Kuba Tegeza, Gamunavia Mizanio, Atabusi Babusi, Tewali Saint is about a camo sports. Boba take camo, but take camo check Twitter peanuts, but no dollar. O two cage seller, never did you get a cove course in Abunanis Waku Neti Ball. Nengo uli nanti, anyuari, milioni bisatu, mubutufu milioni bisatu mu Uganda, ziba zigenda kolachi. Nechitegeza wateka mubu tono dala. Tu ino kude yoku drawing board, ni tumanya ebie mizanyo, bigata ko bitia. E tatu ino kude ntumanya nanti, ni wanga obukatu, wawete bigata ko, because tu tiyo kugata ko, tu jesente mpidilivu, nga wazungu jivza wafechi nga msports. Ni wabatu tade musente, kuinvesti nga mu, tu sobola kujia musente bakama wangi. Tuino, tuino biwe guanga, tuino biwe guango, kujikuwa echifana nchi, nchi senga tu dira government, sente ze yewo ze zo nane ete kawa bali nete kwa ze saumuli ya za ingudo, ya za marua, lilo, ya zitu uma, okubango muendo kwa interest munene, gotusa sula, senga sente ezo, tuso volo okubanga zige endamu saturation nezu kwa lachitegeza budget ya fe ya andi sewansi, na ye, okufana nako president wa fe, newe tunawa nebi, rowo ze bilu unjibitia, Netu bite kama government yenu nga sifa baso volo kusala onti chino chetu ina koko kukola. Chitegeza vio nabio tutege koko kukola tubatu yu wa mfufu, tu yu wa mutakate wali chetu suviza wa na Uganda chigenda kubakole wa. Okuja konga tumazo kuchuso kukulembeze wa guangali. Na yu kuwa kechifana nye kubichi evitu kosa sawa zino kwe kugeza anti government okwe wala sente. Nezi sawa bali. Neta ziko zisa. Ate sentezo nesigalange zite zisasuli romu solomo nene nyo. Echu kugamba bo chitu nuli na monti nino. Ebyo ngabia maluari ronga vivibu ebiti. Ngato ina josobola genda kumpi maluari raga singa. Nga wali ebitande ebimala. Oba edagale ebimala. Nenga government ya ina sentezo tulide. Ate zisasuli romu solomo nene nyo. Gamba chitu teka mumbele la ganti no mtu watu weleza ya gala kututira dala. Laba haba sobo zibali mkwe kala kasaluwa misolo. Na yu ina sente zewe woze zidu wabali zetu dezi soko la noku ya mbako okende ze mbele. Kwa kamba nse nchekala kwebu zana haba tufugo wabantu. 
bibi ebintu byetaaga okujjamu omuzanyo tusobola kunga manti sente wazewola e billion ezuka mu bibiri okukola amalwaliro okuimprovinga ku innovations ne technology naye tusobola na zitu alayo obo yagala nsi obo yagala kutaba nansi e e olugudo lwejinja tuli manyi bulunji ntu buli muntu aluyitako okabirayo nze ntano kulukwata tabo banga manti tugenda jinja nera likirita kubanga jamu akukwata no bangwe basibide mu komera naye omuntu yewola esente ezuka mu bubumbiro nana okukola olugudo azituulide azuwera omusoro naye sente takoze taina kola chaina kola so priorities za government twagala kubuza ezitekawa so tugama ntisenga esetinga right priorities nti ku improving engudo we was sent na Uganda Kampala buli woita binya 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 chikwe wonyisa obulumi buno twagala na Uganda bategere nti senga fetu badde no buyinza sawe twandi gambye bugambi kati olugudo lwejinja balukole encha so wandi bade toza ne echo kula bila ke chirala the government ye wole sente zisuka mu mu efuru mya sente zisuka mu billion 18 okupangisa ebizimbe omukolebwe emire mu government kugamba echindo echo chirumya no muntu omutwe ne bobera gwe musobola okwewola ngo 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 ogena kupangisa wali so ogena no gula wali ye wachi de chizimbe chibuli mwaka tasobola gula yo chizimbe kugamba government chirabika ne bizimbe byabwe kugamba bana abantu ebintu bino ebakola bya bya kunyigiriza nsi ne twagadde balaga kifana nyi nti senga sente zino zikwasibwa bulungi gwanga lyandi gobolo demu nyo na abantu bali kubanga echimiriza o budget mu nsi doza wandi tuni de sectors bidi ebyenjigiriza ne byobula kakati webanga abana bachasomera wansi we miti ningo ina sente ozitulide bikuga ebintu bino byewunyisa nti tulina okubibulira abana yuganda ne byabulumu so ekifana nche tugeza ko kuanti no wankuba desa wazi ne birozo bya kute bisobola kutuka ne tumayinti mu bange litali lya wala ebi bitu agalo okusa mu nkola ikwanga lijene mu maso hola mo je mo kundiyo genda yo tsende mekaka um nze sha dominisa wa agenda leban social development sector yonna ino sekte kwata kumbera zo obuntu nga abantu mwe muli abakozi mwe muli enkula kulana ne chikula cho muntu nga alternative budget wa demu sente 1.3 trillion nga zino zisingira dalo genda kwa bantu okutumbula embera za abantu eno ye sekta ekwata dalo ku bantu ku bachala enkula kulana ya bachala abavubuka abakadde abalema kati fe Sente ya fe ya kuteka sente mwebi ebigendo okuyamba okutumbula za tuita vulnerable groups of people okutumbula embera za abwe atena dam sector edi very delicate sector ya labor organization bana bana bagende ebweru abagana bakola Saudi Arabia abagana bakola Dubai yonna inti baleta sente nnyingi mu economy na yate ntono nyo eziteke bwamu okulaba nga tulondola embera za abwe edi ebweru je bagenze no bayamba kubanga ezibinyi bafuna eno sector yo kenyini nga iyo efunye 105 billion okulaba nga tuteka wezo systems ezira abantu zigenda kulondola abana bano okubayamba yo naje bagenze kubanga bera mawanga embera je bali mtutegera naye nga fe government tuba tuina okubafaako wadde bagenze bwe bwa yogana kubanga baleta sente sente nnyingi actually ba contributing a sente nnyingi nyo eno sector eta sente nnyingi nyo ku budget ya Uganda naye ate tulaba nti ntono nyo ezitekebwamu okulabanga sector ekula kulanyizibwa okusokera dalala fe ngabo ludda oluwabula government byonna byetukola tubikola nga tubikola mu mateeka olwalero budget je tuyisiza eya trillion ana mwenya ekole ku financial ya eyo mwako ogujja tutaddewo bichi byetekeddwa okusokera ko nechi njagala okusaba government ya fe etekeddwa okuwa ekitibwa oludda oluvuganya government nadala ebirowoze ebiretebwa tutunulide ntisinga government uh, e wa sente zo mu wo musoro ekitibwa ojja kwesanga nga okwewola kukendera ne sente bulwezeewola ne tutatukiriza kigenderera kyazo kyekyasinze okukosa egwanga lino kubanga bwe wewola olwe kigenderera nota kitukiriza ate mu buta kitukiriza no beranga sente zibazifulumye ate zibibwa ekyo kya bulabe nnyo awo no tutunulide ekyo kuwa ebyobulamu a uh, priority ebyenjigiriza priority singa tunatunulira ebintu ebisokerwako 
abantu bafe bajja kuba bayambi naye abantu bavu esente zewolebwa teziko lache zitekedwa kola ateze wolebwa ku interest enene chokate ne tuvawo ne zibibwa tusaba government ekendeze kububibwe sente singa sente zo muwo musoro teziwe bwe kitibwa kubanga kye kisinze okutatanye gwanga lino nenga njagala okwebaza a uh, a uh, aboludo olwabula government okubanti no tusobode okuisa budget je tugenda okuteka ku fulo atera tusaba parliament ejiwe kitibwa nga fetu tunuli de trillion ana munya so si sente ndala zonna Uganda. <laughs> Ate na abali mbu yinza, tebali sibe etegefu kubite kesa mungkola kwa wachimanyi Mbabi kola, uh, bagi ena kubanga badda wansi Kubabu bagi kola budgeti za wenga batu nuri demekaze baba So si meka ezi amba abantu Budgeti jetuko za mbaja kwe unyanti nga yikako wansi kwe yu government jefurumia Uwansu nga fe mbajeti ya fete, tuba lide muza ababi Ababi badi batiloba wa yobu umbi obu trio ni zekumi Okuda wa guluze bagi za wako kunyaga mungeri ya mwobe ndala Na efe kuruno Tuzitadem, fiche tu baadhi dite cheche, chigeneri muna Uganda, ida echiamba muna Uganda. Njia kwa baza wana nguo tu kuzo muri mugulu. Kwa utunuri ya doketi ya ministry ya agenda, wewe duwa kunsimbi, zitegere kika ngere wantu wa utunuri dite, chikula cha bantu. Dite tu fanya trio ni mu, no bumbi tan, zino sende zivazigera tu yamba kuhonyo nyonyo, ukudu kiri la abacha la, ukudu kiri la abakade, na abavuvu kama programs, ne projects, ziba yamba ukwe kula kulani. Mudoketi ya fenga minister wa vubu katuina obu umbi chukumi atano. Obu umbi buna chukumi atano. Obu ina projects ezenja wazabu genda mu. Okuli ya green job. Okuli ya appreciative. Na okuli nendala. Zineno program tuwa zizi. Na ite zina funding. Government ya dengezi teka unga. Izo gira kone. Haba ntubazi manji. Ya te zina funding ya mala. Na yotuwa tuistade mu center. Tukiliza chige na kugeza ako okuda mu echibuzo. Echa experience. Eba debu uzi waba nafe. Jova mu university. Mu university mu ovu dene. Waku uza experience wakufuno umulimu. Nenga wachi manju waka graduating. Nenga waku wakaza experience. Ya miaka. Ejiri mwebili. Obe miaka esatu. So eno program. Okukipinga. Nga tuli unemployed. Egenda kubange wa abantu omukisa. Na wafubu kavu de mu university. Okukukule rao. Nga bayi ingiza. Nga ba developing skills za wenga abantu. Ate. Baso wolo kubanga wafuna na experience ya basobo zesa. Okutula miri mweje jama anji. Senga jiba jiri advertised. Baba baina webade bakolera. Nga program. Government jema anji. Yela ekorewe bitongole. Ebi ateke wawo government. Okubanga viwa abavubuka. Skills zino. So vya imu kubitu vya tuwe nyumirizamu. Yela vya tutunuri dokulanga. Tuke endeza kubula liye miri mu. Kube imu kubitu goba mu. Tiwe muma liliza. Umazoku somo ise bulu unji. Baku sabe experience. Orushi jiota ina. Atene bata kuwa mukisa. Kufuna experience ya yungoli kumuni mso. Fetuko ze proposal nga mbye. Tutunuri de tuina muu project singezo. Ya zige ndo kuyamba kaba. Ntunga tuina muu avasa uba. Engineer. Budi mulimu. Omu ntua vera kone sector jagu wamu. Ere wetu somu deploying. Ane agendo. Kwa nolo za nchi. Obisee anamu obisee pumbala budo nji mwa. Obisee nga ta nwamu nga laga kumentu kwa yale ito kwa ujia. Kumbale ya mwa kwa Uganda. <laughs> ni tusiteka kubie ngudo no kwa empowering abantu wa fembu bie milimu tulabanga tuba tukole dedalo omulimu obuga sabana yuganda haba sokeru wako sente ya zisi ingo obu unje ziba desile tebanga mo budget ziba desile mu sente nyinje zima li zanga zono neduwa bo ono nebwa enda langa tebasu wana kunyo nyura waje zara ze sochi ovora wafe tuwa genzo kubali lilo obu unje gata wali kudibu dako na ngobu sana mwobu satubo malida dada obu unje kwenye bechise mbayo Na tuimiri dewamu na hava subu ziba fe. Ela tuongela edobo zili ya febuli weta agisa. Tiemisoro jisuse. Okusingi la dala hava subu zi. 
bayina echizibu chokumanti bo tebayina musoro gwankala kalira gwe bamanyi gusasura ku byamaguzi ya balese omusubuzi emabega ko emyezi ngebiri emabega badda sasura bukadde 10 ku bukadde 10 mu abiri okuyingize ebintu naye ne bakulaga nti kati container agisasulira obukadde bina era container za zisukira dane mu bitano zale medde ku revenue nga basubuzi bazi boycotti so kuzijja olembera yo emisoro ta ili tax omusoro ogo abasingo bungi bagwita inflees omusoro guno buli chintu chonna omusubuzi cha atunda katiket buli waka furumia achajingibwa sente za sasura ngate bamunyonyo dasigenda kukola chi ne jasinga achajingidwa omusubuzi azirabanga penalty obanga ekimonerezo kubanga ezisingo obungi bagenda okumaliriza ngatege gandi bade amagoba gabwe okugeza Omusubuzi senga tunde chetu cha mitwalo nkaga mwetano asasule mitwalo mwenda ku ili city ebe fulumye so abasubuzi bandi yagadde nti at least ne bawala bagala okubajja ko musoro gwa itax gwandi badde omusoro guno gagusasula munu ndi gumu mu mwaka ngabola ba sasula kcca ensonge endala revenue uganda revenue authority twagale veyo na yekole report egambe mu parliament ya uganda tibanage nzente ke semi soro jino mu nkola na yemo embanji kunji kunganya mfuno obuzibu kumanga jisukiridde obunji ata jirina mu benyi mu amateka so chijja kuyamba ko ne parliament ebitongole bina Vaye bienja uli ebi funa nizwa mukunga ni misoronga yuara e gavi la gobozi webu funa parliamenti demu e tunuli la revisinga kumi soro jino e chao kubiri e e nsonge ndala e misoro jana badenga baji baji re te baji soka nebe buzi ba ku sector zebaga lo kongera kemi soro obe bintu abi gendo kule te baka kemi soro ngavi buzi kwa ba babi kora e e e babi kora e chira la ne jibera ngaji some sebwa abantu ne bate gera ne baba gazi soko sa sule misoro na yenga jino e jiri double taxation wa triple taxation Ejigani wa mateka, jiberenga jivawu. presentation for the opposition with the theme of fostering resilient communities by combating corruption and promoting efficient service delivery. The Honorable Chagulani Robert Sentano, we welcome your office. I want to welcome our leader of the opposition, Chief Opposition Whip, Honorable the Honorable MP for Mandia County, Honorable Jawakambi Shadow Cabinet members who are here, 
present. I welcome you, members of parliament, our invited guests, the fourth estate. You're very much going to have a short, a short presentation today. Like I informed you earlier, such that we can get back to other business of the week. But also before I do so, we are here as the opposition in parliament, appreciating and acknowledging that we are not the two have been here before. Our elders who have been in the opposition before, most of us are their products. We have them. I want us to appreciate them with a hand clap for what they have done. That is not enough. Because we're facing us the same goal of removing the dictatorship in this country. So I request all of us in the opposition to have one goal, to focus on what we want to achieve to get to where we want to get to. Um, and uh, he, he, he fed them with only five loaves and two fish. Call them, you, you add and get baskets of crumbs. Now, those also fed many. That means we do not have to throw away the crumbs. We can also use them for something else. So if there are people who have gone away from us, we in this country. And therefore, call upon the Honorable John Baptist Nambeshe to give us <coughs> apologies. I call him to. I have elected to clap. Clap very well. Clap very well. Thank you, Mr. President, yeah. sir, and Leader of Opposition. I'm Seungu Joseph Gonzaga, MP Kalon County West. But uh, frankly speaking, I'm the Minister of Education. Because the other one is nowhere to be seen, so I'm doing two duties. Full Minister. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> Say, and the leader of opposition, guests here. My name is Rutama Semakura. I'm a Shadow Minister of Lands, Housing, and Urban Development. Bachileke Nambo Zebeti, MP Mukono Municipality, Shadow Minister for Internal Affairs. Samuji Ibrahim, Shadow Finance Minister. Luchams David Kalwanga, CPA Representative. Your Excellency, the Right Honorable Lead of Opposition, and all honorable members, good morning and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Shamim Malende, woman member of parliament for Kampala district and the shadow human rights minister. Your Excellency, the right honorable leader of opposition, my name is Nyakato Asnans. I represent Hoima City as a woman member of parliament and I'm the Shadow Minister for Agriculture. Uh, Your Excellency, uh, the legitimate President of the Republic of Uganda, His Excellency Chagurani Sentamo Robert, the Right Honorable Leader of Opposition, and other leaders present. My name is Muwada Nkunyinji, Member of Parliament for Chadondo County East, and the Shadow Minister now acting as the Foreign Minister of Foreign Affairs. Uh, thank you. Your Excellency, our Chief Guest, you are welcome. Right Honorable Lop, protocol observed. My name is Betty Itonaluima. I'm the woman MP for Kiso District. I'm also the one who is championing full devolution and decentralization in the country, also implying I'm the Shadow Minister for Local Government. Thank you. Mr. President, sir, I am Kanyike Ronald Evans. I represent the people of Bukoto East in Masaka District. And uh, I am the Shadow Minister for Energy and Mineral Development. I thank you. Your Excellency, the Leader of Opposition, I'm Chiaga Hilary Innocent. I represent Maokota North and I'm the Shadow Minister Arts and Culture. Your Excellency, the President, and Lop. My name is uh, Balimwezo Ronald Insuga, the Member of Parliament representing Nakawa East constituents in the Parliament of Uganda, but I also double as the Shadow Minister for Kampala. Thank you. 
Your Excellency, my President, my Leader of Opposition, Protocol Observed, um, Christine Kaya Nachimuero. I'm Chivoga District Woman Member of Parliament, but also the Minister for Water and Environment in the Alternative Government. I thank you. Your Excellency, the President, the Leader of the Opposition, Amanja Richavakuchika, the Woman Member of Parliament, Ginger City, and I'm the most experienced Shadow Minister for Trade and Industries. Thank you. Uh, Your Excellency, and the Leader of Opposition and colleagues, I'm Nantongo Fortunate Rose, the Woman MP Chotera, being the alternative government, I'm the full minister of gender, labor, and social development. Your Excellence, the leader of opposition, protocol observed, good morning. I'm Frank Kabuye, MP Cassandra South, shadow minister for the youth and children affairs. Uh, Your Excellency, uh, President, are the leader of opposition, colleagues, um, Nyeko, Derek, the Minister for Defense and Veteran Affairs. Thank you. Of Parliament for Kalangala District. I thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Ugandans deserve better health care, they deserve better education, and they deserve better infrastructure in order for them to live their full potential and benefit and enjoy all their fundamental rights. Because education is essential for producing skilled workers, a workforce that will transform communities, it's therefore important that our children study subjects and courses that are relevant to their passion and natural abilities. We cannot achieve without changing, we can't achieve this without changing or in fact overhauling our entire education system and realigning our education institutions. Considering that 75% of Uganda's disease burden is preventable, then we must make our priority to invest in disease prevention rather than disease cure. This should be done in addition to hiring skilled and professional health workers through a fair recruitment process and go ahead to remunerate them fairly and on time. We must think about our creative area, think about our creatives, provide conditions that don't only protect their intellectual property, but also create conditions that help them to live to their full potential. About the creative that could go on and on and on, but the rest, I guess, Dr. Hilderman and uh, others who are creatives and within our leadership will elucidate on that. However, ladies and gentlemen, as attractive as all these alternative policies might be, it is actually impossible to achieve them if the leaders in charge of our national resources cannot rise above their petty selfishness. We must resist, we must reject, in fact, we must eject all forms of corruption in public administration. Otherwise, 
all this will be going to a waste. Our sources will continue sinking down the long drain of personal greed at the expense of our collective well-being and at the lives of our people, our children, and our children's children. As a national unity platform, we shall continue to take decisive action in that regard. Friends, many good proposals have been presented in terms of policy alternatives, in terms of laws, by ourselves and other leaders. But let us be honest, no matter how good our thoughts are, no matter how beautiful our proposals are, they shall never see the light of the day for as long as dictator Museveni is still in charge of this country. That is my firm belief. Yes, we must continue telling Ugandans the truth as it is instead of, you know, misleading them with eloquent speeches. We must paint to them a picture of the problem and indeed need to go ahead and point at where the problem is. The man who has ruled our country for almost 40 years now is not just a political opponent to us, no. He is the embodiment of Uganda's problems. He's a living testament of corruption. He's the testament of oppression. He is the embodiment of the abuse of all democratic principles. In a nutshell, he is the roadblock, he is the stumbling block between Uganda and its progress. So let us face the reality and deal with the reality as it is. It's until you diagnose the problem that you'll be able to deal with that problem. I mean, he and his cronies live in extreme luxury while our hospitals are sick and our schools are rotting away. Yes, we have alternative policies. Yes, we have brilliant minds here in Parliament, you know, wonderful at economics, wonderful at debating and all that. But we shall debate, we shall propose, and we shall articulate issues. But let me be clear to you once again, my brothers and sisters, that no matter how good our alternatives are, no matter how well-intentioned you, our MPs, are, it won't make any difference for as long as we don't have any power to implement those good ideas. We must get used to that fact and deal with that fact exactly the way it is. I mean, we can draft the most comprehensive budgets, we can allocate funds meticulously, we can strategize endlessly, but as long as Museveni remains at the helm, the efforts will all be like rearranging cups on a falling table. We must channel all our energy. We must channel all our passion and all our abilities and all our determination towards one singular mission, removing the dictator and reorganizing the country as the citizens of Uganda. That is the only way this is going to be possible. So I continue to encourage all of us here present and those watching us outside that we must do what we must do. You cannot take a step unless you unlock your feet. So for now, what we have as a great resource is our collective determination and collective will to have a free country. And after having that, then we shall go ahead to build a Uganda where all Ugandans are equal regardless of their ethnicity, regardless of where they come from, regardless of religion, tribe, or social class. We shall go ahead to build a Uganda where leaders lead with integrity, where leaders are true servants and citizens are the true masters of their destiny. So let us use this resource that we have to put an end to this dictatorship. Let us use this resource to change this country once and for all. I thank you for listening to me, for God and my country.
so easy. That is so easy. One, two, three. 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 Uganda ye nache marira yowe limu seveni nga ye senteze guanga zona zona azimarira mkwe kumira mbu inza kugulidaba kulembeze wa mwetorode na kunyigiriza bantu so echizibu chetu nino kusoko kujao ye nache marira mu seveni then tuberene dembe elivisa sanya senteza Uganda si mkwe jarabia na imu kutere zebio elivisano kutasa bantu nga masomero nga maluariro nebila ifana na webicho kala nsonge no nene jiri du singa kumutu omu a uh, ensonga jemba deskonye ko ensonga yenguzi ekute ejembe ni wangu bade omukufe na ye yasanga mu nsonga eyo na ye abamukulira bebasingo kuli enguzi okugeza speaker wa fe wano speaker wa parliament ya Uganda ye nachinku mukuli enguzi erecho cheta go kuogerwa ko ensi ne chimanya nensi ne mukolinga out kubanga sente ezono ne bwa parliament eno sobolo kuchuso bulambo abantu bonji nyo so obulibwe enguzi ye kansa Ayono nye Uganda kati chafuka institutiono enguzi ya fuka angeli ya kwe kumirambu inza na angeli ya kukakanya bafuganya government. So enguzi nge kule mberu anita mongo speaker wa wano. No munga mulimu sibo kabo kaba enarimu na inga mulimu na abafe. Chizibu nyo era na chotu ino chiru wanyisa. Ate tuja chiru wanyisa. Fenga NUP tuja kukola kukozi sebi kolo wa sibi gambo. Wetu ino ubu inza wona ukulu wanyisa enguzi. Na itu wagala na bulichitongo lecha government. Chiko sobu inzo obo okuluwa nyese nguzi kuwe nguzi ya sisi giza yugane mabiga. Uli le mwe abajite kao. Te wali lutaro rona rona. Okule kango ngamanti okule chitufu luba lutaro. Okule chitufu luba lutaro then tulimu lutaro. Ile tu ino kubela mulutaro. Gatuluwa nyese nguzi, gatuluwa nyese obu liyake, gatuluwa nyese obu anache marira. Do luba lutaro. So, si mchibi na chafe. Nze ndo uza mchibi na chafe. Tu andiba denga echo ukula bilako bulimuntu kaberenga speaker wa parliament ya gude ya kuteng ya leader nguzi kaberenga minister na akanga vulwa ngabe chino kubera fenga NUP tuba wa chakula bilako tuli option era mu Uganda mpya betu bikola betu job bikola ngatumazo kukubana chema lira ku uh, kukukakanya ate kusa kuba member bange ben kulembera mu kibina njagala nnyonjo gere ku nsonga ezigasa egwanga lyonna kati budget yeno si ya NUP yoka wabula e reflecting a chifana ncha opposition yona. So sagala ensonga za NUP ya tenzi ingi zembibi nebidara njagala njogele kuchintu e chigasa e guanga liona liona si chibina choka nga NUP. Webali nyo. Si inga tulo oza nti buwaba obu menyi buwa mateka o ina kutesa na menya mateka. Buwaba obu menyi buwa mateka nga wali wo evidence obu ya obu 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 julizi obu mudu mika deni ama teka gakole obu munga amanti te, te ama omutu wabama menye teka bate saganye na ye deni tuje wama teka bivedebi ya kute saganya baganda bafe abasi wama komeda te baina musango nolue nsonge yo baina okuyimburua embagira o awatalika kwa kulizo kubati baina musango bababa baina musango 
baletewe mukoti bavunaniwe umusango gubake mu vi obaba gusinge bejerere so si kutesa ganyana bo yenkola ya chiyekera tetukirizganya nayo tukirizganya mu fuga e yamateka erabo tunatwalo buyinza ye mfuga je tujyo kutambulira ko mwebaza lok tufisi zayo akadde najja ko mu parliament nga tusoma je baita alternative budget onakuruwa lero era ebigambo bya president ke biberawo ba budget tena bakusoma na soka na tuitiram na ye abadde ayo guarantee bwe tuba tusomanga budgets zino batu zikola tulina okulaba nga zili practically on the ground to soma figures na ye figures nga zili related ne ku service deliveries kubanga budget eba meant to offer services to the people kati na government tusobola kuba ne no kuogera oluzungu olunje nyo ne toogera figures enunji na ye kiri eri munansi wa ordinary citizens obo muntu wa bulijjo okulaba nti ebyo byenyini byetoogera mu budget babira bako era na gambe bitusobola kubiraba nga tulina good governance obo bukulembeze obuteeke ekitibwa mu mbalirira obukulembeze obutakiririza mu kulyanguzi obukulembeze obu walking at the top kyo mukulembeze bwa gama nti zino tsente tuzitadde mu ministry ya herese dalanga zibera yo tuzitadde ministry ye byengudo dalanga zibera yo so njagala kumweba zako nti ataskinze na dalafe ngaba kulembeze tulina okubere ndabirwamu eri bana Uganda bonna kubanga ndabirwamu eri reflecting echo society chebeli no kulaba so twagala okumweba za na toxinga byonna speech ya tedde munga tukubiriza nti tulina okwegendereze nyo the way we behave, especially as regards to financial handlings. Abalina docket says, itunulile bien simbi, sifefeka, neba nafa, abalala mugwanga, abalina okutunulile nyo, do we use the money for the intended purposes? Kubanga webatu wa sente zifana nazia, netukola budget inge shininga, na yenga intended purposes are not fulfilled. The ordinary citizens will always be in, in having bigger gaps in terms of services. So kakati ya chiche mweba zako. Nechi lala ukula, ukula bantino atuza mwa amanyi. Ntu we are not yet there but we shall be there very soon. Yes sir. Mwudati kubajeti ya mwuchicho kama. Mwebye taka. Tubade mutanative budget ya fetu hata demu. Okuteka muzino sente is compensating. Abantu webye taka. Wanga government ya badenge gamba. Tuge na kusasuliranga etake eriliko conflicts obezi eriliko kusukomugwa ne yetu badenga bakola tulaba bakola hand picking of a selected few individuals abali related to power center ngabo kabe baba eba compensating ku center so land fund twajita dem some good billions mu alternative budget ya fe okulaba anti nazo zibera mu mu budget tusobola okulaba anti waliwe bitundu ebimu Nga ba landlords bali willing ku accepting a compensation from government through land fund e, basobolo kuleka abantu okubanti nonti nabo beta iza kubibanja byabo ekyo kubiri mu gundi ya fe twachya demunti government okubanga elirira weisa infrastructure zayo on time for example waliwo we bayi engudo Na yaba ntune baba anja sente za fuinga, baba vali uinga bulichimucho nanga chagua. Aba ntune baba anja sente za we for years and years. Kakati tu waba gambe muzino sente zili mwezi gendo kusasula uh, ama banja. Domestic debts zili no kubeira anga na zo zili kumuanjonyo. Uh, okubanti no naba ntu baba bafune sente za we mvudu. This is done at a, a nail speed and right of way is not obtained before we go to banks to borrow money. We have segmented, because the point we make of the resilient communities, look, in agriculture we borrowed money. 309 billion borrowed to boost agriculture is unutilized. And uh, we provide the table here for you to see. We borrowed money for digital transformation. It is also not utilized. We borrowed money to fix our broken road network. 
to the tune of 13.2 trillion, it is still there, not utilized. There are road projects such as upgrading the well of Talangu, for which we borrowed 44 billion from OPEC in 2018. You can imagine we borrowed 2018 to upgrade this road, but the money is there. We acquired 895 loan from the African Movement Bank for the construction of Kampala Jinja Expressway. That money is also there. Government is looking for money to pay for, for, for passage. So the money for roads, even before you begin the allocating what is available, even if you are using just the money that you have borrowed, 13.2 trillion, and the roads that are affected, a list is here, it will be provided. The same applies to the health sector, where we have borrowed money to fix our health infrastructure, but this money is also not utilized. It goes to innovation, technology, and development transfer in the manufacturing sector, 276. In public sector, 43 billion. Regional development, 109. I am giving you figures of money borrowed for these sectors or for programs that is not utilized. In the energy sector, we have borrowed up to 3.3 trillion. We have used only 2.3 trillion. And a list per sector is provided, which we'll be sharing. I have now moved to domestic areas. The total stock of central government area, according to finance, rose from 4.8 trillion 2020-2021 to 7.9 trillion in 2022. So the Finance presents a figure of 7.9 trillion as our domestic area. The Auditor General presents a figure of 10.8 trillion. And this is money owed to people who have supplied the government in various categories, including quarter awards, taxes, pension, ETC, rent. What is worrying is that uh, government is only providing 200 towards clearing domestic area. So government uh, owes its suppliers 10 trillion, but in the budget they are providing 200 billion. So it will, it will take them maybe my remaining entire life, because I am 50, I don't think I will reach 100, for this government to clear this debt when they are not contracting new ones. I now move to abuse, as noted earlier by the leader of the opposition, abuse of borrowed money. You may all have interacted with the report of the Auditor General. The Auditor General reports on page 84 that we, we have vaccines for COVID worth 300 billion that have expired. Remember the loan the last parliament contracted during the COVID period from World Bank and IMF. 300 billion was used to buy a vaccine. Now these vaccines have expired worth 300 billion. There are other drugs at national medical stores worth 33 billion that are also expiring. Interesting. The Minister of Health now says they are going to use money, part of the money of Gavi to go and destroy the, these vaccines. So you have borrowed the money, vaccines have expired. Now 
the money brought here by donors to deal with other problems is what you're going to use to, to go and destroy the expired vaccines. I am reading all this list that will bring me to a figure because we need to clean the budget. Our proposal is that this budget must be clean. One of the figures that you will find in the budget, aggregated figure, this government is spending 187 billion on renting offices every year. 187. Even if you are not a contractor and they give you 187 billion every year, you can construct offices for someone. But maybe these buildings are theirs. 187 billion is what is being provided in the budget for rent. And we have provided a figure. Can you imagine you go to France and you rent for embassy 3.9 a year? In five years, anyone, even of average understanding, will use the 3.9 per year to construct. But we are spending, and the whole list is provided here, what we are spending on embassies, what we are spending on buildings, including later on I will be showing you, we are also renting uh, some structures for state house. Maybe the president and his wife are not fitting in uh, Nakasero and Entebbe. So they are renting extra buildings. So the list is provided here of where we are paying money for rent. Next financial year, we will spend 780 billion on transporting public officers. 780 billion. On average, that's what we spend. Because Usually we spend 220 billion acquiring new vehicles. We spend 404 billion fueling them. 155 billion on maintaining these vehicles. So in a year, we are spending 780 billion. The leader of opposition earlier spoke about phasing out, uh, which is part of the presentation that you have reducing on cost of public expenditure like RDCs. Because an RDC in Rubaga, the best you can do is buy him a motorcycle. <laughs> Someone is resident in Rubaga, that's where he's an RDC. You buy him a pickup of 400 and then you fuel it and maintain it and give him a drive. And all they do is to visit one radio station after another to go and uh, badmouth the opposition. And you will see a whole fleet 200 vehicles, brand new pickups for other DCs, and you all know what they do in your respective areas. Because they, you can even buy them bicycles. So the table here is showing how much you are going to spend on buying vehicles, on fueling them, and maintaining them. We are also spend, we are going to spend 162 billion on donations by our leaders. And the list is provided here. Mr. M7, under his residence, he will donate 77 billion. Again, he has what he calls support presidential initi initiatives, 59 billion. Parliamentary Commission has 4.9 billion for communication and public affairs. Again, M7 has 4.2 billion in his office for donation. The Prime Minister has 3.7 donation. The Speaker of Parliament, 2.4 billion donation. The National Council of Sports, 2.4 billion donation. The government whip has 1.8 billion donation, not his entire budget, but he has 1.8 billion for donation. The opposition whip has zero. If the leader of opposition has nothing to donate, what about the leader of opposition?
So the whole list of who has money to donate that comes to 162 billion is here. You can interact with it. We are going through this list, and I'm about to come to an end. I said this is going to be a summary. Looking for money that will be reprioritized. That's why we are going through this list. Money for donation, money for vehicles, money for this. All this money can be reprioritized in the sectors that the head of opposition outlined here, health, education. Sectors that are going to help our people. But before I do that, let's look at the revenue projection. We had problems with the finance when they came to Parliament. They said revenue, the projection was that it was, it was going to grow by less than 1%. Yet on average, it has been growing by, uh, by 11%. And that's why they had maintained 29 trillion when you go to the side of um, resources to finance next year's budget. When we, man, we maintain the annual revenue growth of 11, it means we'll have 33.4 trillion and not 29. And then I want to come to other areas to complete the list of what we have identified as luxuries in the budget. That list, uh, if it can be highlighted there. Next financial year, we have 34 billion for ceremonies and state functions. 34 billion. When you see these NRM people going to a function, they have 34 billion for ceremonies and state functions. Travel inland, next financial year we have 671 billion travel inland. And travel abroad we have 108 billion. We have 152 billion for workshops, meetings, and seminars. 297 billion special meals and drinks. We have, I have already read out the list of donations. We have 133 billion for welfare and entertainment. When you put this together, you will have 1.5 trillion that is available. And our proposal is that even if you reduce it by just 25%, you will have 1.1 trillion available. I now come to our budget proposal. After doing all what I have outlined, we think the realistic budget for Uganda should be 43 trillion shilling, not any other figure. Why? If you look at the, and you need to take note of this, every year government presents a budget and I'll use that last financial year. They presented a budget of 54 trillion. When it came to the actual release, they usually publish in newspapers that we have released the money. Most of the time they have released the air. Because what that release means is that they have now asked the government agencies to begin submitting invoices to finance for payment. When those invoices are submitted to finance for payment, there is no money. The most interesting thing is that uh, even when they budgeted for 54 trillion, they made release less than 5.4 trillion. By their own release, they have a budget of 54. When they publish the theoretical release, it was less by 5.4. When it came to actual money that is spent, it was actually 43 trillion. trillion. But they released about 49 trillion in theory. 
but they did not even release the whole budget as, as they had presented it. Uh, we are doing this coming to a figure, and this will be the, the last part. The figure that has, a, if you can go there, the figure that has our budget. So we, we've made proposals on what to remove, what to reallocate these sectors. And I said we will not be going into details of what we intend to, put to reallocate and to what particular sector and department. But eventually when all this is done, um, you will come to a budget of 43 trillion shilling when you have removed all the luxury. And our proposal is that uh, once you've dealt with this luxury, next year you don't even have to go and borrow nine trillion uh, from commercial banks. And then if for a sustained period of three to four years you are not borrowing, it means now you'll have more resources available. You'll no longer be spending 20 trillion on servicing debt. Finally, um, I hope I have been clear because I said this is going to be a summary. The NUP president, the Honorable Chagulani, made here a very substantive statement on M7 being our problem, and I share it 100%. Part of the problem that we have in this budget. <clears throat> and this indiscipline is replicated elsewhere, is that the country has been made to finance Museveni's life, both public and private. I'll give you an example. The title first lady means someone who's wife, isn't it? In fact, it's not even provided for in the government hierarchy. But, Next financial year, we are going to pay someone. His name is Waiswa Charles Baker. His job is executive assistant, first lady. So, for Museveni's wife to be Museveni's wife, we must recruit staff for her, including an executive. I don't know really how he's going to engage with two adults who are married. But his job, and he's paid four million. Because how can you be paid to be an executive secretary to an unexisting office? The office of first lady does not exist. But we are recruiting someone to facilitate that office that does not exist on the government's structure. And the name is there. You can look at the policy statement of the president. We also have a, a special presidential assistant on household affairs, Butajira Penelope. This person is paid, uh, this person is paid uh, eight million per month to help uh, these two adults on their household affairs. And that brings the entire list of people who work at Museveni's residence to 1,000. As you, you earlier interacted with it, he has a 51 cleaners, 62 cooks, he has 80 gardeners, 29 housekeepers, 10 dobby and round area tenants, 100 private secretaries, 14 room attendants, 22 presidential assistants at the residence, <clears throat> 51 waitress and waiters, and 14 presidential advisors. So these are people who are supposed to be helping our president and, and his wife because State House is provided for under the Presidential Monuments and Benefits Act as a residence of the president. <clears throat> Interestingly, and we'll be sharing these lists as well. 
Mr. Museveni has also created another category of mobilizers and political, some of them are mobilizers, political assistants in the state house. They do Museveni's political work, but they are paid by Uganda. For example, someone mentioned Namiaro here, the one who was in Kororo abusing Muslims who went to Foftai. Her salary in the state house is 12 million per month. But she sits at Museveni's office as chairman of NRM in Chambogo. So someone who is employed by NRM in Chambogo is on the payroll as a special presidential assistant, 12 million per month. That list has nearly 200 people who are doing that sort of work, who will be sharing it. So, honorable members, the details of our locations, of our proposals, are uh, in a booklet that the lead of opposition will launch. And these proposals are proposals sector by sector, program by program. What I have outlined here is a summary and the structure of the economy. So I want to thank you very much for listening to me, for God and my country. Thank you, the very able finance minister, Honorable Samuju Ibrahim Nganda, for that very elaborate presentation. And thank you for being brief. Uh, allow me, honorable members, welcome the Honorable Miriam Atembe. She has just joined us. Honorable, we welcome you. Please feel at home. She's one of the elders I talked about before. And we are very thankful we still have her in, in our presence. Uh, honorable members, allow me, uh, that is honorable members and our visitors, allow me once again welcome, because I welcome these members in the absence of the leader of the opposition, the new members of parliament that joined us and that they are in the opposition, honorable appeal, that is Honorable Dr. Pio and Honorable Sarah Guti. Please stand up for recognition. You're welcome once again. I would also want to welcome our, some of our guests here and allow me to mention the names. Mr. Chris Nkwatsibwe from the N National NGO Forum. You're welcome, sir. Thank you for coming. We have Mr. Aibazibwe Innocent from the Ethics and Integrity Forum. You're very much welcome. Where is he? Thank you so much for coming. And um, allow me, honorable members, at this juncture, like we said, we're not going to take a lot of time. Uh, allow me to invite the leader of the opposition to launch the finance, our budget for the financial year 2024-2025. That is all enshrined in that book that we all have. Honorable members, please go and read uh, whatever is in this book and understand because I believe most of you are going to be invited on different TV stations, radio stations to tell the country what it is all about. So let us understand and uh, best present the opposition of pa the Parliament of Uganda. The leader of the opposition, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Helen. We are pretty much coming to the end. I um, understand we have some representatives from the UN who have joined us. I don't know if they are in the room somewhere. Are they? Okay. Well, um, we'll probably try and locate them at some point. 
want to appreciate you again, colleagues, for making time and coming. I want to appreciate again the director in the office of the leader of the opposition and the technical staff who, who I tend to stress. Well, not stress really, but um, you know, we keep driving them as hard as we possibly can to produce this work, and they are doing an incredible job, even when it's a lean team. But we appreciate them. I want to also again welcome the Honorable Dr. Miriam Matembe, who has just joined us. She's got numerous commitments, but she has come nonetheless. At the end, I'll invite her to say hello to us in about two minutes or so. As Honorable Helen has been saying, we do produce this work. Uh, let's, let's make good use of it. Um, it will even help us to keep shaping the next ones. These are documents that we avail so we can interact with them. Um, our alternative budget priorities were captured from our alternative ministerial policy statements, which were laid in Parliament, and they were brought to your committees. I hope you have been attending these uh, sector committees and interacting with these documents and, and so on. But again, when you get the documents, please find time and read so you can excogitate over them and we see how we keep improving them so that the next time we have even better watertight documents. This, our opposition priority areas, we did unveil it a couple of weeks back and um, we were saying this is what we want to be focusing on, critical issues, you know, corruption, poor service delivery, human rights abuses, etc., etc. to uh, we execute our mandate. We unveiled this a short while ago. There's another small document that um, we have availed to us. Herein is our budget speech. It's a summarized version of uh, our breakdown of the alternatives, what we think needs to be focused on. So we have captured it in this document. And finally, this big fairly big, not too big, a booklet here is what has our alternative budget priorities for the different dockets. So you'll find herein what we are proposing should go to healthcare, what we are proposing should go to education, to infrastructure, to all the service delivery areas. And we are showing you where the money can be gotten from. Honorable Semuju has very ably, and I want to appreciate him, made his presentation to show the wastages, to show the corruption and so on. So. When we are telling government that you are allocating so little to healthcare, we are telling them this is what ought to be allocated there. This is what ought to be allocated to the different dockets. And we are also pointing out where the money can come from. Because normally, when we say allocate more to healthcare, allocate more to education, infrastructure, and so on, they say, but you see, we are a poor country. We don't have the resources. So we in the opposition are saying we do have the resources. Let's cut down on the wastage that we have been showing you. Let's stamp out corruption. We shall have the resources to deliver services to the people of Uganda. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I take the pleasure to launch this uh, booklet, which has got our alternative budget priorities. Our hope is that, uh, yes, the good, amazing ideas in this booklet will be picked for the benefit of the people of Uganda. I thank you. Trillion ya namu satu feza tisubi la zetu nyoko yosa. Nye mjukile edhi baji wanisa liku trillion ya tano umu nana. Nye inga habili nga kusasura mabanja. Ugendu ukulawa baji menye menye mjuu ulide. Nga tuina just trillion kumina satu. Zetu ulo ukulawa nga tukula kwa appropriation nga parliament. Echo chiba chichamu, ati chiba chenye mze guanga liyafe, ati chiba chilinyika. Sente zikuwa wanza donation zezu. Ulo za zichi zichi tabi sa mbaje chia kwa guanga. Aa, chisa ukila didala, nguwa mbako wa parliament. Na subi la ati nangi. Nja kuwa haone donation, jivampa, mpenge nenga vile kuwa natuwa fe. Echita liyo, mbaka wa parliament, wavulijo. Sikanya no mulundi no gumu, kuwa nti wali omu kulembeza wa donation, agenda aga vila avantu. Kabe president we guanga, sentezo zikola nyo, ngaziri mpulu emu, agenda, okusovolo ukulaba, gekula kula nyabantu wa anseyo. Kuwa wakula kula, kula nyiza wamu, njomu kuwa liwa kanya ne constituency development fund. Nga tujuko sa system, Eyes on, hands off. Tiweka jaka uumbi, kula kula nye constituency, kakuatiwe mikono mitufu, haba ntuwa ganyuremu. Nye donation zizi neno, nga ziga wibwa offices. Sikanya na zonze, sima yu prime minister, sima yu presidenti, na kabelo opu, obo gabida wameko, na gabida wameka. 
obukadde bw'abantu buli mu Uganda kitiga tasobola kola ki ezo sente obanga azwadde yobu wi Budget ngabo Otuke chisena, nabadi njokida kwa of course na avu nanyizi waku netball. Nengo uli nanti, annually, milioni bisatu. Mubutufu milioni bisatu mu Uganda. Ziba zigenda kola chisena. Nechitegeza wateka mubu tono dala. Tuino kude yoku drawing board. Nitumanya ebie mizanyo. Bigata ko bitia. Eza tuino kude ntumanya nanti. Nemo wanga obukati, wawete bigata ko. Because tutio kugata ko. Tujie sente mpidilivu. Nga bazungu jibuza wafechi nga msports. Nemo watu tade musente. Ku investing amu, to sobola kujia musente bakama wangi. Tubino, tuino biwe guanga. Tuino biwe guanga, kujikuwa echifana nti, nti senga tudira government, sente ze yewo zezo nane ete kawa bali nete kwa ze saumuli eza ingudo, eza marua alilo, ezi tuuma, okubango muendo kwa interest munene. Gwetu sasula, senga sente ezo, Tuso volo kubanga zige nda musaturation nezi kwa lachitegeza budget ya fe ya andi sewa nsi. Na ye, okufana na kwa president wa fe. Newe tunawa nebi, rogo zebi, runji bitia. Netubite kamu government yenu nga sifa baso volo kusala onti chino chetu ina kwa kukola. Chitegeza vyo na vyo tutege kwa kukola. Tuba tuyuwa mfufu, tuyuwa mutakate wali chetu suviza vana Uganda chigenda kubako lewa. Okujia konga tumazo kuchuso kukulembeze wa guanga lima. Na yo kuwa kechifana nye kubichi ebitu kosa sawa zino kwe kugeza anti government okwe wala sente. Nezi sawa bali. Neta zikozesa. Ate sentezo nesigalange ezisasuli ezi romu solomo nene nyo. Echu kugamba bo chitu nuli na monti nino. Ebyo nabia maluari ronga bibibu ebiti. Nato inajo sobola genda kumpi maluari raga singa. Nga wali ebitande ebimala. Oba edagale ebimala. Nenga government ya ina sentezo tuulide. Ate zisasuli ezisas, romu solomo nene nyo. Gamba chitu teka mumbele la ganti no mtu watu weleza ya gala kututira dala. Laba haba sobo zibali mkwe kala kasaluwa misolo. Na hiyo ina sente zewe waze zidi wabali zitu deziso kula no kuyamba ko okendeze mbele eno. Kwa gamba nse nche kala kwebu zana haba tufugo waba antu. Kwa bine bintu ya yumbi ya tago kujia mwomu za nyo. Tuso kula kukunga manti sente waze wala e bilio nesu kama bibili okukola marua alilo. Oku improving haku innovation zine technology. Na hiyo tuso kula na zitu wala yo. Ovo ya gala nsi, ovo ya gala kutaba nansi. E, e, orugudo reji nja tulimanyi bulu nji ntubuli muntu alu yitako, okavira yu. Nzi nteno kuru kwa tata wabanga matutu genda jinja nera likirita. Kubanga jamu haku kwa tata wabanga kwa sivide mkomera. Na yu mtu ye wada esende zuka mbubumbiru nana. Okukolo orugudo. Azituli de, azue romu solo na yesende. Ta inakola, cha inakola. So priorities za government tuwa gala kubuza. Ezi tekawa. So tuga mantisenga, esetenga right priorities. Nti kuimprovi nge ngudo, we uzi sente. Na ye Uganda, kampala buli uo itabinyavi, nyavi, 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 nyavi. Chikuwe uunyisa. Ovulumi, buno tuwa gala ba na Uganda bategele. Nti senga fetu ba denobu yinza saa wemu. Tuwa andi gambi ya bugambi, kati olugudo reji njaba lukole nja. So, wandi wa deto oza, ne, e, chukula vila kechi lala, the government ye wale sende zisho kamu, mu, mu, o, efuru miya sende zisho kamu bidi yoni, chukumi chinana, o, kupa angisa, ebi zimbo, mukole we, mire muja government, kugamba, e, chintu echi chiru miya no mu, tuwa mutu, nebo wabe edagwe, msobolo kwe wala, ngo, 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 o, 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 Kugamba, bana abantu, vintu vya nae wako la vya, vya kwenye giri zansi. Na ye, tuwa kade bala gachifana nyo, niti senga sente zino, zikuwa asibu wabudu unji, nguanga liyandi, guovoro demu nyo na abantu bali. Kuwanga, echi imiriza o budget mwonsi, doza, wanditunu de sekta zibidi, vya nji giri za, ne vya obola. Kakati uweva angabana vacha asumera wansu wa emiti, ningu ina sente, kuzituli de. Kwa hivyo nitu vino vye uunyisa, nitu ino kubibu ulira vana yugana, nevi ya avulumu. So, echifana nchetugeza kwa kuwanti, ni wankuwa desa wazi nevirozo vya kutevi sobo la kutoka. 
naye tumaini nti mubange litali lya wala ebi bitu agalo kusa mu nkola ikwanga ligene mmaso ola moje mu kundi yo genda yo tende mekali um, mzee shadow minister wa gender labor and social development sector yonna ino sector ekwata kumbera ze zo obuntu nga abantu mwe muli abakozi mwe muli enkula kulana ne chikula cho omuntu nga alternative budget wa demo center 1.3 trillion nga zino zisingira dalo genda ku abantu okutumbula embera za abantu eno ye sector ekwata dalo ku bantu ku bachala enkula kulana ya bachala abavubuka abakadde abalema kati fe Sente ya fe ya kuteka sente, mwebi ya bigendo kuyamba, ukutumbula za tuita vulnerable groups of people. Ukutumbula embeda za we, atena damu sekta ya di very delicate. Sekta ya labor externalization, bana wana wakende we, wakende wakende wakula Saudi Arabia, wakende wakule Udabiona, inti baleta sente nyingi mwe ekonomi. Na yate ntono nyo eziteke buwamu, ukula wangatulo ndole embeda za we, edie we lujiba genze, no baya amba kula wangu zibu njiba funa. Eno sekta yo kenyini inga yo efunye 105 billion, ukula wanga tuteka wezo systems, ezira gabantu zike na kulondula wana wano, ukuba ya amba yu na jiba genze, ukuba wanga wana mawanga, embele jiba limte tujitegele, na yenga fe government, tuwa tuina ukuba fako, wadiba genze, wadiba yugana, kuwa wanga waleta sente, sente nyingi, actually wa contributing a sente nyingi nyo, eno sekta eta sente nyingi nyo, kubudgeti ya Uganda na yate tulaba nti ntono nyo ezitekebwamu okulabanga sekta ekula okulanyizibwa Okusokera dala fe ngabo oludda oluwabula government byonna byetukola tubikola nga tubikola mu mateeka olwalero budget je tuyisiza eya trillion ana mwenya ekole ku financial year eyo mwako ogujja tutaddewo bichi byetekeddwa okusokera ko nechi njagala okusaba government yafu etekeddwa okuwa ekitibwa oludda oluvuganya government nadala ebirowoze ebiretebwa tutunulide ntisinga government uh, e wa sente zo mu wo musoro ekitibwa ojja kwesanga nga okwewola kukendera ne sente bulwezeewola ne tutatukiriza kigenderera kyazo kyekya sinze okukosa egwanga lino kubanga Bwewe wala orwe chigende ilo anota chitukiriza. Atemo vuta chitukiriza. Nuhu veranga sente ziba zifurumia ate zibibwa. Echo chabula benyo. Aono tunulide. Echo kuwa evi obula mu uh, priority. Evi anjigiriza priority. Singa tunatunulida evi nituwe evi soker wako. Abantu wafibajia kuwa bayambi. Na ya abantu bavu. E sente zewo lewa. Teziko lache ziteke duwa kola. Ate zewo lewa kumu ku interest nene. Chokate netuva wane zibibwa. Tusaba government ekendeze kububiwe sente. Singa sente zomu uomu solo teziwewe chitibwa. Kumanga chetisinzo kutatanye guanga lino. Nenga njaga lao kuweba za uh, uh, avoludo uluwabula government. Okubanti no tusobode okuisa budget jetugenda okuteka kufulo. Atera tusaba parliament ejiwe chitibwa. Ngafiri tunuli de trilioni ana munya sosi sente ndala zomu. Oxoka, there are trying to do the budget, the Trina, Edwina Uganda. The range of Savannah Uganda will not do a wood day, or Kujimania, no Kujisoma, or Kujitagera. Been a bit trying to do a little trying to be cause a singer to know who is. Nay, be test of Birunji, maybe in Zokuzikira, Ransom and Tetunafuna Buyinza. Atena habari mbuyinza, atibari sive ete kifu, kubite kesa mungkola, kuwa wachimanyi, mbabi kola, uh, bagi ena kubanga badda wansi, kuwa mbabi kola budgeti za wenga, batu nuri demekaze baba, so si meka ezi amba abantu. Budgeti jetuko za mbaja kwe unyanti, nga yikako wansi kwe yu, government jefurumia, uransu nga fe mbajeti ya fete, tuba liride muza ababi, ababi badi batiloba wa yobu umbi obuli obu trio ni zekumi, okuda wa guluze bagi za koku kunyaga mungeri ya mbendala. Na efe kuruno, Tuzitademu. Tuwa lili decheche. Chigendele muna Uganda. Eda echi amba muna Uganda. Nja kuweba zawa nangu wetu kuzo muli mugunu. Kwa wawo tunuri ya doketi ya ministry ya agenda. Uwele duwa kuhunsimbi ya zitegele kika ngele wa antu wa tunuri de echikula cha haba antu. Nti tufunye trio ni emu. Nobu mbitano. Zino sende ziba zigera tuya ambako nyo nyo nyo. Okudu ukilira haba chala. Okudu ukilira haba kade. Na haba vubuka mu programs ne projects. Ziba ya amba okwe kula kulanyi. Mudoketi ya fenga minister wa vubu katuina obu, obu umbi chukumi atano. 
Obumbi buna chikumi ata ano. Bu ina projects zenga wazabuge na mu. Okuri ya green job. Okuri ya appreciative. Okuri ne ndala. Zineno program tuwazi uh, wezidi. Na yete zina funding. Government iba denge ziteka unga. Izo gira kone. Haba ntubazi manyi. Yete zina funding ye mala. Nyo tuwa tuistade mu center. Tukiliza chige na kugeza ako okuda mu echibuzo. Echa experience. Iba debu uzi waba nafe. Jovamu university. University mo vude ni wakubuza experience wakufuno umulimu. Nenga wachimanyu waka graduating. Nenga wakubuza experience ya miaka ejiri mwebili obe miaka esatu. So eno program o keeping anga tuli unemployed. Egenda kubange wa abantu omukisa. Na wafubu kwa vude university. O kukukule rao. Nga bayi ingiza. Nga ba developing skills za wenga abantu. Ate. Baso wolo kubanga wafuna na experience. Baso wazesa. O kutula miri mweje jama njise. Nga jiba jiri advertised. Baba baina weba deba korela nga program, government jemanyi, yada ekorewe bitongole. Ebi 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 ateke wawo government wakubanga viwa abavubuka skills zino. So vya imu kubitubia tuwe nyumirizamu, yada vya tutunuri dokula nga tuke endeza kubula liye mirimu, kubia imu kubitu gobamu. Tiwe muma liliza, umazoku uh, soma oise bulunji, baku sabi experience, oruchi jiota ina, atende bata kuwa mkisa, kufuna experience ya yungori kumunimu. So, fetuko ze proposal nga mbia tutunuri, detu ina muu projects ingezo, Yezi gendo kuyamba kaba ntunga. Tuina mwaba saoba, engineer, budimulimu. Omuntu wabela kone sekta jaguamu, ere wetu saobu deploying. Ani ya gendo kone holo za nchuko kusee, anamu wabusa pumbala mbunji mwa. Wabusi inga kani wabu nalaka kumentu kwa ya leto kwa vya. Wabari ya mwaba uja. Kulia vili mwena pia vili mwena. Mwishuno lide choku singa. Wabusa kwa anamu wabusa. Toto no lide. Wakubanti sente zite ekebua kwebio viga samu na Uganda. Tujemu sente ezi bibwa. Tujemu sente ezi tekewa mkoe uro kutasani de. Uh, echeo kubidi. Uh, Tutunuli dokubanti sente zino tugenda kuziteka ku basics. For example, we tuziteka kubi obulamu. Ne tuziteka kubi enjigiriza. Ne tuziteka kubi engudo. No kwa empowering abantu wa femu bie mirimu. Tula banga, tuba tukole dedalo omu ni mwuguga sama na Uganda haba sokeru wako. Sente ya zisi ingo obu unje, ziba desile te wanga mbudget. Ziba desile mu sente nyingi, zima li zanga zono nedua bo ono nebwa. Enda langa tapasu wana kunyo nyura waje zara ze. Sochi ovora wafe tuwa genzo kubali lilo obu unje. Gata wali kudibu dako na ngobu sana mwobu satubo malida dada obu unje. Na tui milide wamu na haba subu ziba fe. Ela tuongela edo bo zili ya febuli weta agisa. Ya misoro jisu se Okusingi la dala haba subuzi uh, Baina echizibu Chokumanti bo Tebaina musoro guankala kari la gweba manyi Gusasura kubia maguzi ya haba lese Omusubuzi emavega ko Emiezi ngebili emavega bada sasura buka dechikumi Kubuka dechikumi muabili okuingi zebi intu Na ene bakula ganti kati container Jisasura buka debina Era container za zisu kila dane mubitano Zare mede ku revenue Nga hawa subuzi, bazi boykoti so kuzijia urembela yu misoro. Ita ili tax. Omisoro ugo, hawa singo bungi bagu ita infliz. Omisoro ugo nobuli chintu chona, omisubuzi cha atunda. Katike tuli waka furumia, achaji ingi wa sente za asa sura. Gatiba mwenye nyo desi genda kukolachi, neja singa achaji ingi dua. Omisubuzi azira banga penalty, obanga echimone rezo. Kumanga, ezi singo bungi, bagi ndo kumaliriza, ngatege gandi bade ama goba gabwe. Okugeza. Omusubuzi senga tunde chitu cha mituwalo mkaga muetano, asasule mituwalo muenda ku ili sita ebe furumye. So abasubuzi bandi ya wagade, niti atulisi newa wana wagala okubajia kwa msoro kwa itaksi. Gwandi wa do msoro kwa nungagusa suro munu di gumumu mwaka, nga pola yawa sasura kesi siye. Enso nge ndala, revenue, Uganda Revenue Authority, tuwa gale veyo na yekole report. E gambe mu parliament ya Uganda, tiba nage, nze nteke semi soro jino mungkola. Na ye moemba njikunji kunga nyamfuno obuzibu kumanga jisu kilidobu nji, hata jiri na mube njimu wama teka. So, chinja kuyamba kone parliament, evitongo levi na vaye bie nja ulo, evi funa njizibu wa mkunga nye emi soro nga yuara, eh, nga vila gobuzi uwebu funa, parliament edemu, etunulida revising kwa kumi soro jino. E choku wili, e enso nge ndala, emi soro jandiba denga kwa jiba jire tewa jisoka nebebu uziwa ku sekta zimbaga lo kuonge la kemi soro obebi nituwa bigendo kule tewa kemi soro nga bebu uza kwa ababi kola e e e ababi kola e chila la nejiwe langa jiso mesebwa ama ntuneba tegera ni baba agazi so kusasule emi soro na yenga jino ejiri double taxation wa triple taxation ejigani wa mateka jiwe langa jiva u
presentation for the opposition with the theme of fostering resilient communities by combating corruption and promoting efficient service delivery. The Honorable Chagula Robert Sentama to welcome you all to this. I want to welcome our leader of the opposition, Chief Opposition Whip, Honorable the Honorable MP for Mandia County, Honorable Jawakam, the shadow cabinet members who are here, present. I welcome you, members of parliament, our invited guests, the fourth estate. We are very much going to have a short, a short presentation today, like I informed you earlier, such that we can get back to other business of the week. But also before I do so, we are here as the opposition in parliament, appreciating and acknowledging that we are not the ones who have been here before. Our elders who have been in the opposition before, most of us are their products. We have them. I want us to appreciate them with a hand clap for what they have done. That is not enough. In because we are facing us the same goal of removing the dictatorship in this country. So I request all of us in the opposition to have one goal, to focus on what we want to achieve, to get to where we want to get to. Um, and uh, he, he, he fed them with only five loaves and two fish. Call them, you, you add and get baskets or crumbs. Now those also fed many. That means we do not have to throw away the crumbs. We can also use them for something else. So if the people who have gone away from us are living in this country, I therefore call upon the Honorable John Baptist Nambeshe to give us apologies. I call him to... I have elected to clap. Clap very well. Clap very well. Thank you, Mr. President, yeah. sir, and leader of opposition. I'm Seungu Joseph Gonzaga, MP Kalon County West. But uh, frankly speaking, I'm the Minister of Education. Because the other one is nowhere to be seen. So I'm doing two duties. Full Minister. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> and the leader of opposition, guests here. My name is Ruta Maguzi Semakura. I'm a Shadow Minister of Lands, Housing, and Urban Development. Bachireke Nambo Zebeti. MP Mukono Municipality, Shadow Minister for Internal Affairs. Samuji Ibrahim, Shadow Finance Minister. The chairman is David Kalwanga, CPA Representative. 
Your Excellency, the Right Honorable Leader of Opposition, and all Honorable Members, good morning and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Shamim Malende, Woman Member of Parliament for Kampala District and the Shadow Human Rights Minister. Your Excellency, the Right Honorable Leader of Opposition, my name is Nyakato Asnans. I represent Hoima City as a woman member of parliament, and I'm the shadow minister for agriculture. Uh, Your Excellency, uh, the legitimate president of the Republic of Uganda, His Excellency Chagurani Sentamo Robert, the right honorable leader of opposition, and other leaders present. My name is Muwada Nkonyenji, Member of Parliament for Chad Dondo County East and the Shadow Minister now acting as the full Minister of Foreign Affairs. <laughs> ah, thank you. Your Excellency, our Chief Guest, you are welcome. Right Honorable Lop, Protocol Observed. My name is Betty Ethan Aluima. I'm the woman MP for Kiso District. I'm also the one who is championing full devolution and decentralization in the country, or is that implying I'm the shadow minister for local governments. Thank you. Mr. President, sir, I am Kanyike Ronald Evans. I represent the people of Bukoto East in Masaka District. And uh, I am the shadow minister for energy and mineral development. I thank you. Your Excellency, the leader of opposition, I'm Chiaga Hilary Innocent. I represent Maokota North, and I'm the Shadow Minister Arts and Culture. Your Excellency, the President and LOP, my name is uh, Balimwez Ronald Insuga, the Member of Parliament representing Nakawa East constituency in the Parliament of Uganda, but I also double as the Shadow Minister for Kampala. Thank you. Your Excellency, my President, my Lead of Opposition, Protocol Observed, I'm Christine Kaya Nachimuero. I'm Chivoga District Woman Member of Parliament, but also the Minister for Water and Environment in the Alternative Government. I thank you. Your Excellency, the President, the Lead of the Opposition, I'm Manjari Chivakutika, the woman member of parliament, Ginger City, and I'm the most experienced shadow minister for trade and industries. Thank you. Uh, Your Excellency and the leader of opposition and colleagues, I'm Nantongo Fortunate Rose, the woman in Pichotera, and here being the alternative government, I'm the full minister of gender, labor, and social development. Your Excellency, the Leader of Opposition, Protocol Observed, good morning. I'm Frank Kawye, MP Cassandra South, Shadow Minister for the Youth and Children Affairs. Uh, Your Excellency, our President, are the Leader of Opposition, colleagues, um, Nyeko, Derek, the Minister for Defense and Veteran Affairs. Thank you. Of Parliament for Kalangala District. I thank you.
ladies and gentlemen, Ugandans deserve better health care. They deserve better education. And they deserve better infrastructure in order for them to live their full potential and benefit and enjoy all their fundamental rights. Because education is essential for producing skilled workers, a workforce that will transform communities, it's therefore important that our children study subjects and courses that are relevant to their passion and natural abilities. We cannot achieve without changing, we can't achieve this without changing or in fact overhauling our entire education system and realigning our education institutions. Considering that 75% of Uganda's disease burden is preventable, then we must make our priority to invest in disease prevention rather than disease cure. This should be done in addition to hiring skilled and professional health workers through a fair recruitment process and go ahead to remunerate them fairly and on time. We must think about our creative area, think about our creatives, provide conditions that don't only protect their intellectual property, but also create conditions that help them to live to their full potential. About the creative that could go on and on and on, but the rest, I guess, Dr. Hilderman and uh, others who are creatives and within our leadership will elucidate on that. However, ladies and gentlemen, as attractive as all these alternative policies might be, it is actually impossible to achieve them if the leaders in charge of our national resources cannot rise above their petty selfishness. We must resist, we must reject, in fact, we must eject all forms of corruption in public administration. Otherwise, all this will be going to a waste. Our sources will continue sinking down the long drain of personal greed at the expense of our collective well-being and at the lives of our people, our children, and our children's children. As a national unity platform, we shall continue to take decisive action in that regard. Friends, many good proposals have been presented in terms of policy alternatives, in terms of laws, by ourselves and other leaders. But let us be honest. No matter how good our thoughts are, no matter how beautiful our proposals are, they shall never see the light of the day for as long as dictator Museveni is still in charge of this country. That is my firm belief. Yes. We must continue telling Ugandans the truth as it is instead of, you know, misleading them with eloquent speeches. We must paint to them a picture of the problem and indeed go ahead and point at where the problem is. The man who has ruled our country for almost 40 years now is not just a political opponent to us, no? He is the embodiment of Uganda's problems. He's a living testament of corruption. He's the testament of oppression. He is the embodiment of the abuse of all democratic principles. In a nutshell, he is the roadblock. He is the stumbling block between Uganda and its progress. So let us face the reality and deal with the reality as it is. It's until you diagnose the problem that you'll be able to deal with that problem. I mean, he and his cronies live in extreme luxury while our hospitals are sick and our schools are rotting away. Yes, we have alternative policies. Yes, we have brilliant minds here in Parliament, you know, wonderful at economics, wonderful at debating and all that. But we shall debate, we shall propose, and we shall articulate issues. But let me be clear to you, once again, my brothers and sisters, that no matter how good our alternatives are, 
no matter how well intentioned you our MPs are, it won't make any difference for as long as we don't have any power to implement those good ideas. We must get used to that fact and deal with that fact exactly the way it is. I mean, we can draft the most comprehensive budgets, we can allocate funds meticulously, we can strategize endlessly, but as long as Museveni remains at the helm, the efforts will all be like rearranging cups on a falling table. We must channel all our energy. We must channel all our passion and all our abilities and all our determination towards one singular mission, removing the dictator and reorganizing the country as the citizens of Uganda. That is the only way this is going to be possible. So I continue to encourage all of us here present and those watching us outside that we must do what we must do. You cannot take a step unless you unlock your feet. So for now, what we have as a great resource is our collective determination and collective will to have a free country. And after having that, then we shall go ahead to build a Uganda where all Ugandans are equal regardless of their ethnicity, regardless of where they come from, regardless of religion, tribe, or social class. We shall go ahead to build a Uganda where leaders lead with integrity, where leaders are true servants and citizens are the true masters of their destiny. So let us use this resource that we have to put an end to this dictatorship. Let us use this resource to change this country once and for all. I thank you for listening to me, for God and my country. Uganda ye nache malira yowe li museveni nga ye senteze guanga zona zona azimalira mkwe kumira mbu inza kugulira ba kulembeze wa mwetorode na kunyigiriza bantu so echizibu chetu ino kusoko kujao ye nache malira museveni then tuberene dembe elivisasa nya senteza uganda si mkwe jarabia na imu kutere zebio elivisano kutasa bantu ngama somero ngama lwa liro nebila ifanana webitio
Kala nsonge no nene ji reducing ka kumuntu omu. Nsonga jemba desikonye kwe nsonga yenguzi ekute ejembe. Ni wangu bade omu kufe na hii ya zisanga monsonge yu. Na ye abamu kulira viva singo kulia nguzi. Okugeza speaker wa fe wano. Speaker wa parliament ya Uganda. Ye nachi nku mkulia nguzi. Ere cho cheta goku ogeru wako. Nsi nechimanya. Nensi ne mkulinga out. Kupanga sente. Zono nebuwa parliament ya nusobolo kuchusobola mbu abantu. Bonji nyo. So obolibu nguzi ye kansa. Ayono nye Uganda. Kati chafuka institutiono enguzi ya fuka angeli ya kwe kumida mbu inza na angeli ya kukakanya bafuganya government. So enguzi inge kulembe wanita mongo speaker wawano. No munga mulimu sibo kabo kaba enari mna inga mulimu na abafe. Chizibu nyo era na chotu ino chiru wanyisa. Ate tuja chiru wanyisa. Fenga NUP tuja kukola kukozi sebi kolo wa sibi gambo. Wetu ino bu inza wona ukulu wanyisa enguzi. Na itu wagala na buli chitongo licha government. Chiko sobu inzo obo ukulu wanyisa enguzi. Kuwe enguzi ya sisigiza yugane mabiga. Uli le mwe abajite kawo. Tewali lutaro rona rona. Ukule kango ngamanti ukule chitufu luba lutaro. Ukule chitufu luba lutaro. Then tulimu lutaro. Ile tu ino kubela murutaro. Gatulu wanyisa enguzi. Gatulu wanyisa obu liyake. Gatulu wanyisa obu anache malira. Do luba lutaro. So si mchibina chafe. Nzendo uza mchibina chafe. Tuandiba denga chokula bilako. Buli muntu. Kaberenga speaker wa pali ya meti ya, gude, ya, kute, ya lide nguzi. Kaberenga minister. Na haka angavurua. Ngabe chino kubela. Fenga NUP. Tuba wa chakula bilako. Tuli option. Era mu Uganda mpia. Betu bikola. Betu job bikola. Ngatumazo kukuma na chema lila. Ku, uh, kuku kakanya. Ate kusa kuba memba bange. Ben kule mbela mchibina. Njaga nyo njogere kusonga. Ezigasa egwanga liona. Kati budget yenu si ya NUP yoka. Wabula e reflectinga echifana ncha opposition yona. So sagala ensonga za NUP atenzi ingi zembibine bidara. Njaga njogere kuchintu echigasa egwanga liona liona. Si chibina choka nga NUP. Webali nyo. Nga tulo oza. Nti wawa obu menyi wa mateka. O ina kutesa na menya mateka. Wawa obu menyi wa mateka. Nga wali wo evidence. Obu ya obu. obu, obu O, 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 ujulizi, obu mulu mika Deni amateka gakole Bumunga amanti te, te, am, am, Omutu waba menye teka Batesa ganye na ye Deni tujewa amateka Bibedebi ya kutesa ganya Baganda bafe abasi wa makomeda tebaina musango Nolue nsongeyo Baina okuyimburwa embagira o Awatalika kwa kulizo Kupati baina musango Bababa baina musango Baletewe mkoti Bavuna aniwe Omusango gubake muvi, obaba gusinge. Bejerele. So si kutesa ganyana bo. Iye nkola ya chie kira. Tu kilizganyana yo, tu kilizganyana mufuga. E yama teka. E labo tunatu alubu inza, ye mfuga, ye tujo kutambuli lako. Hey, briefly, that's it. Mwebaza, loku tufisizayo akade, na jako muparlamenti, nga tusoma jivaita alternative budget. Unakuruwa lero, era ebigambo vya president, vya a budget tena ba kusoma na soka na tuitiramu na ye abadde ayogera anti bwe tuba tusomanga budget zino batu zikola tulina okulaba nga zili practically on the ground to soma figures na ye figures nga zili related ne ku service deliveries kubanga budget eba meant to offer services to the people kati na government tusobola kuba ne no kuogera oluzungu olunje nyo ne tuogera figures enunji Na yechiri eri munansi wa ordinary citizens zovo mtu wabuli jo. Okulaba antiebio vya njini vya tuogera mbajeti. Babira bako. Era na agambe vya tusobolo kubira ba. Nga tulina good governance. Obu kule mbeze. Obu teke chiti wa mbali lila. Obu kule mbeze. Obu takiririza mkuli anguzi. Obu kule mbeze obu walking at the top. Chua mkule mbeze obu agama anti zino. Tusente tuzita demu ministro ya herese. Dalanga zibe rayo. Tuzita demu ministro ya yebi ngudo. Dala angazibira yu. So, njaga la kumweba zako, niti ataskinze na dala fengaba kule mbeze. Titulino kubele endaviru wamu, eri bana Uganda bona. Kubanga endaviru wamu eri flektingecho, susate chebe eri no kulaba. So, tuwaga la kumweba za, ni hato kusinga vyo na, speech jatu tede munga tukubiriza. Niti tulino kwege ndeleze nyo, the way we behave. Especially as regards to financial handlings. Abali na doke se zitunulire vye nsimbi. Sifefeka neba nafa abala la mugwanga. Abali no kutunulire nyo. Do we use the money for the intended purposes? 
kubanga we batu wa sente zifana na zisia ni tukola budget inge shininga na yenga intended purposes are not fulfilled the ordinary citizens will always be in, in having bigger gaps in terms of services so kakati chiche mweba zako nechi dala ukula, ukula bantino atuza mwa manye we are not yet there but we shall be there very soon Yes, sir. We have to add the alternative budget here for what are them? Octet comes in a sentence compensating. Abantu uh, uh, we have to add. Wanga government have to denge gamba to get access to the danga entake entake eririko conflicts. Obezi eririko kuskomugwa. Ne to add denga bakola to la bakola hand picking of a selected few individuals. Abali related to power center. Ngabo kabe wawa wawa compensating ku center. So land fund ito ajita dem some good billions. Mo alternative budget ya fe. Okulaba nti. Na zo zibera mumu budget. Tusovolo okulaba nti. Wali webi tundu webi mu. Ngaba ba landlords bali willing ku accepting a compensation from government through land fund. E, Basovolo kule kaba nti okulaba nti nti nabo beta iza kubiba njaba. Echio kubidi. Mugundi ya fe tuachita demu nti government okubange liirira weisa infrastructure zayo on time. For example, wali uwe baise ngudo, neyaba antu nebaba anja sente za fe, nga baba vali uingabu lichimucho nanga chagua, haba antu nebaba anja sente za fe for years and years, kakati tu haba gambe muzino sente zili mwezi gendo kusasula uh, amabanja, domestic debts, zili no kubeira anga na zo zili kumuanjonyo, uh, okubanti no naba antu baba bafune sente za abu mbude. This is done at a, a nail speed and the right of way is not obtained before we go to banks to borrow money. We have segmented because the point we make of the resilient communities look in agriculture we borrowed money 309 billion borrowed to boost agriculture is unutilized. And uh, we provide the table here for you to see. We borrowed the money for digital transformation. It is also not utilized. We borrowed the money to fix our broken road network to the tune of 13.2 trillion, it is still there, not utilized. There are road projects such as upgrading the of Talangu, for which we borrowed 44 billion from OPEC in 2018. You can imagine we borrowed 2018 to upgrade this road, but the money is there. We acquired 895 loan from the African Women Bank for the construction of Kampala Jinja Expressway. That money is also there. Government is looking for money to pay for, for, for passage. So the money for roads, even before you begin the allocating what is available, even if you are using just the money that you have borrowed, 13.2 trillion and the roads that are affected, a list is here, it will be provided. The same applies to the health sector, where we have borrowed money to fix our health infrastructure, but this money is also not utilized. It goes to innovation, technology, and development transfer in the manufacturing sector, 200 and uh, 76 in public sector, 43 billion, regional development, 109. I am giving you figures of money borrowed for these sectors or for programs that is not utilized. In the energy sector, we have borrowed up to 3.3 trillion. We have used only 2.3 trillion. And a list per sector is provided, which we will be sharing. I have now moved to domestic areas. 
the total stock of central government area, according to finance, rose from 4.8 trillion 2020-2021 to 7.9 trillion in 2022. So the finance presents a figure of 7.9 trillion as our domestic area. The Auditor General presents a figure of 10.8 trillion. And this is money owed to people who have supplied the government in various categories, including quarter awards, taxes, pension, ETC, rent. What is worrying is that uh, government is only providing 200 towards clearing domestic area. So government uh, owes its suppliers 10 trillion, but in the budget they are providing 200 billion. So it will, it will take them maybe my remaining entire life, because I am 50, I don't think I will reach 100, for this government to clear this debt when they are not contracting new ones. I now move to abuse, as noted earlier by the leader of the opposition, abuse of borrowed money. You may all have interacted with the report of the Auditor General. The Auditor General reports on page 84 that we, we have vaccines for COVID worth 300 billion that have expired. Remember the loan the last parliament contracted during the COVID period from World Bank and IMF. 300 billion was used to buy a vaccine. Now these vaccines have expired worth 300 billion. There are other drugs at national medical stores worth 33 billion that are also expiring. Interesting. The Minister of Health now says they are going to use money, part of the money of Gavi to go and destroy the, these vaccines. So you have borrowed the money, vaccines have expired. Now the money brought here by donors to deal with other problems is what you are going to use to, to go and destroy the expired vaccines. I am reading all this list that will bring me to a figure because we need to clean the budget. Our proposal is that this budget must be clean. One of the figures that you will find in the budget, aggregated figure, this government is spending 187 billion on renting offices every year. 187. Even if you are not a contractor and they give you 187 billion every year, you can construct offices for someone. But maybe these buildings are theirs. 187 billion is what is being provided in the budget for rent. And we have provided a figure. Can you imagine you go to France and you rent for embassy 3.9 a year? In five years, anyone, even of average understanding, will use the 3.9 per year to construct. But we are spending, and the whole list is provided here, what we are spending on embassies, what we are spending on buildings, including later on I will be showing you, we are also renting uh, some structures for state house. Maybe the president and his wife are not fitting in uh, Nakasero and Entebbe. So they are renting extra buildings. So the list is provided here of where we are paying money for rent. Next financial year, we will spend 780 billion on transporting public officers. 780 billion. On average, that's what we spend. Because usually we spend 220 billion acquiring new vehicles, 
we spend 404 billion fueling them, 155 billion on maintaining these vehicles. So in a year, we are spending 780 billion. The leader of opposition earlier spoke about phasing out, uh, which is part of the presentation that you have, reducing on cost of public expenditure like other DCs. Because another DC in Rubaga, the best you can do is buy him a motorcycle. <laughs> Someone is resident in Rubaga, that's where he's another DC. You buy him a pickup of 400 and then you fuel it and maintain it and give him a drive. And all they do is to visit one radio station after another to go and uh, badmouth the opposition. And you will see a whole fleet, 200 vehicles, brand new pickups for other DCs. And you all know what they do in your respective areas. Because they, you can even buy them bicycles. So the table here is showing how much you are going to spend on buying vehicles, on fueling them, and maintaining them. We are also spend, we are going to spend 162 billion on donations by our leaders. And the list is provided here. Mr. Museven, under his residence, he will donate 77 billion. Again, he has what he calls support to presidential initi initiatives, 59 billion. Parliamentary Commission has 4.9 billion for communication and public affairs. Again, M7 has 4.2 billion in his office for donation. The Prime Minister has 3.7 donation. The Speaker of Parliament, 2.4 billion donation. The National Council of Sports, 2.4 billion donation. The government whip has 1.8 billion donation, not his entire budget, but he has 1.8 billion for donation. The opposition whip has zero. If the leader of opposition has nothing to donate, what about the leader of opposition? So the whole list of who has money to donate that comes to 162 billion is here. You can interact with it. We are going through this list, and I'm about to come to an end. I say this is going to be a summary. Looking for money that will be reprioritized. That's why we are going through this list. Money for donation, money for vehicles, money for this. All this money can be reprioritized in the sectors that the head of opposition outlined here, health, education, sectors that are going to help our people. But before I do that, let's look at the revenue projection. We had problems with the finance when they came to Parliament. They said revenue, the projection was that it was, it was going to grow by less than 1%. Yet on average, it has been growing by, uh, by 11%. And that's why they had maintained 29 trillion when you go to the side of um, resources to finance next year's budget. When we, man we maintain the annual revenue growth of 11, it means we'll have 33.4 trillion and not 29. And then I want to come to other areas to complete the list of what we have identified as luxuries in the budget. That list, uh, if it can be highlighted there. Next financial year, we have 34 billion for ceremonies and state functions. 34 billion. When you see 
these NRM people going to a function. They have 34 billion for ceremonies and state functions. Travel inland, next financial year we have 671 billion. Travel inland. And travel abroad we have 108 billion. We have 152 billion for workshops, meetings, and seminars. 297 billion special meals and drinks. We have, well, I have already read out the list of donations. We have 133 billion for welfare and entertainment. When you put this together, you will have 1.5 trillion that is available. And our proposal is that even if you reduce it by just 25%, you'll have 1.1 trillion available. I now come to our budget proposal. After doing all what I have outlined, we think the realistic budget for Uganda should be 43 trillion shilling. Not any other figure. Why? If you look at the, and you need to take note of this, every year government presents a budget, and I'll use last financial year, they presented a budget of 54 trillion. When it came to the actual release, they usually publish in newspapers that we have released money. Most of the time they have released the air. Because what that release means is that they have now asked the government agencies to begin submitting invoices to finance for payment. When those invoices are submitted to finance for payment, there is no money. The most interesting thing is that uh, even when they budgeted for 54 trillion, they made release less than 5.4 trillion. By their own release, they have a budget of 54. When they publish the theoretical release, it was less by 5.4. When it came to actual money that is spent, it was actually 43 trillion. trillion. But they released uh, about uh, 49 trillion in a theory. But they did not even release the whole budget as, as they had presented it. Uh, we are doing this coming to a figure, and this will be the, the last part. The figure that has, a, if you can go there, the figure that has our budget. So we, we've made proposals on what to remove what to reallocate these sectors, and I said we will not be going into details of what we intend to, put to reallocate and to what particular sector and department. But eventually when all this is done, um, you will come to a budget of 43 trillion shilling. When you will have removed all the luxury, and our proposal is that uh, once you've dealt with this luxury, next year you don't even have to go and borrow nine trillion uh, from commercial banks. And then if for a sustained period of three to four years you are not borrowing, it means now you'll have more resources available. You'll no longer be spending 20 trillion on servicing debt. Finally, um, I hope I have been clear because I said this is going to be a summary. The NUP president, the Honorable Chagulani, made here a very substantive statement on seven being our problem, and I share it 100%. Part of the problem that we have in this budget, <clears throat> and this indiscipline is replicated elsewhere, is that the country has been made to finance Museveni's life, both public and private. I'll give you an example. 
the title first lady means someone who's wife, isn't it? In fact, it's not even provided for in the government uh, hierarchy. But next financial year, we are going to pay someone. His name is Waiswa Charles Baker. His job is executive assistant, first lady. So for Museveni's wife to be Museveni's wife, we must recruit staff for her, including an executive. I don't know really how he's going to engage with two adults who are married. But his job, and he's paid four million. Because how can you be paid to be an executive secretary to an existing office? The office of first lady does not exist. But we are recruiting someone to facilitate that office that does not exist on the government's structure. And the name is there. You can look at the policy statement of the president. We also have a, a special presidential assistant on household affairs, Butajira Penrob. This person is paid the uh, person is paid the uh, eight million per month to help uh, these two adults on their household affairs, and that brings the entire list of people who work at Museveni's residence to one thousand. As you, you earlier interacted with it, he has. Uh, 51 cleaners, 62 cooks, he has 80 gardeners, 29 housekeepers, 10 dobby and round area tenants, 100 private secretaries, 14 room attendants, 22 presidential assistants at the residence, <clears throat> 51 waitress and waiters, and 14 presidential advisors. So these are people who are supposed to be helping our president and, and his wife because State House is provided for under the Presidential Monuments and Benefits Act as a residence of the president. <clears throat> Interestingly, and we'll be sharing these lists as well, Mr. M7 has also created another category of mobilizers and political, some of them are mobilizers, political assistants in the state house. They do Museveni's political work, but they are paid by Uganda. For example, someone mentioned Namiaro here, the one who was in Kororo abusing Muslims who went to Foftari. Her salary in the state house is 12 million per month. But, she sits at Museveni's office as chairman of NRM in Chambogo. So someone who is employed by NRM in Chambogo is on the payroll as a, a special presidential assistant, 12 million per month. That list has nearly 200 people who are doing that sort of work, will be sharing it. So honorable members, the details of our locations, of our proposals, uh, in a booklet that the lead of opposition will launch. And these proposals are proposals sector by sector, program by program. What I have outlined here is a summary and the structure of the economy. So I want to thank you very much for listening to me, for God and my country. Thank you, the very able finance minister, Honorable Samuju Ibrahim Nanda, for that very elaborate presentation. And thank you for being brief. Uh, allow me, honorable members, welcome the Honorable Miriam Atembe. She has just joined us. Honorable, we welcome you. Please feel at home. She's one of the elders I talked about before. 
and we are very thankful we still have her in, in our presence. Uh, honorable members, allow me, uh, that is honorable members and our visitors, allow me once again welcome, because I welcome these members in the absence of the leader of the opposition, the new members of parliament that joined us and that they are in the opposition, Honorable Apio, that is Honorable Dr. Apio and Honorable Sarah Guti, please stand up for recognition. You're welcome once again. I would also want to welcome our, some of our guests here and allow me to mention the names. Mr. Chris Nkwatsibwe from the N National NGO Forum. You're welcome, sir. Thank you for coming. We have Mr. Aibazibwe Innocent from the Ethics and Integrity Forum. You're very much welcome. Where is he? Thank you so much for coming. And um, allow me, honorable members, at this juncture, like we said, we're not going to take a lot of time. Uh, allow me to invite the leader of the opposition to launch the finance, our budget for the financial year 2024-2025. That is all enshrined in that book that we all have. Honorable members, please go and read uh, whatever is in this book and understand because I believe most of you are going to be invited on different TV stations, radio stations to tell the country what it is all about. So let us understand and uh, best present the opposition of pa the Parliament of Uganda. The leader of the opposition, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Helen. We are pretty much coming to the end. I um, understand we have some representatives from the UN who have joined us. I don't know if they are in the room somewhere. Are they? OK. Well, um, we'll probably try and locate them at some point. want to appreciate you again, colleagues, for making time and coming. And to appreciate again the director in the office of the leader of the opposition and the technical staff who, who I tend to stress. Well, not stress really, but, um, you know, we keep driving them as hard as we possibly can to produce this work, and they are doing an incredible job, even when it's a lean team. But we appreciate them. I want to also, again, welcome the Honorable Dr. Miriam Matembe, who has just joined us. She's got numerous commitments, but she has come nonetheless. At the end, I'll invite her to say hello to us in about two minutes or so. As Honorable Helen has been saying, we do produce this work. Uh, let's, let's make good use of it. Um, it will even help us to keep shaping the next ones. These are documents that we avail so we can interact with them. Um, our alternative budget priorities were captured from our alternative ministerial policy statements, which were laid in Parliament and they were brought to your committees. I hope you have been attending these uh, sectoral committees and interacting with these documents and, and so on. But again, when you get the documents, please find time and read so you can excogitate over them and we see how we keep improving them so that the next time we have even better watertight documents. This, our opposition priority areas, we did unveil it a couple of weeks back and um, we were saying this is what we want to be focusing on, critical issues, you know, corruption, poor service delivery, human rights abuses, et cetera, et cetera, to make sure that uh, we execute our mandate. We unveiled this a short while ago. There's another small document that um, we have availed to us. Herein is our budget speech. It's a summarized version of uh, our breakdown of the alternatives, what we think needs to be focused on. So we have captured it in this document. 
And finally, this big, fairly big, not too big, uh, booklet here is what has our alternative budget priorities for the different dockets. So you will find herein what we are proposing should go to healthcare, what we are proposing should go to education, to infrastructure, to all the service delivery areas. And we are showing you where the money can be gotten from. Honorable Semuju has very ably, and I want to appreciate him, made his presentation to show the wastages, to show the corruption and so on. So when we are telling government that you are allocating so little to healthcare, we are telling them this is what ought to be allocated there. This is what ought to be allocated to the different dockets. And we are also pointing out where the money can come from. Because normally, when we say allocate more to healthcare, allocate more to education, infrastructure, and so on, they say, but you see, we are a poor country. We don't have the resources. So we in the opposition are saying we do have the resources. Let's cut down on the wastage that we have been showing you. Let's stamp out corruption. We shall have the resources to deliver services to the people of Uganda. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I take the pleasure to launch this uh, booklet, which has got our alternative budget priorities. Our hope is that, uh, yes, the good, amazing ideas in this booklet will be picked for the benefit of the people of Uganda. I thank you. Trillion ya namu satu feza tisubi na zetu inoko yosa. Nemu juki deli baju wanisa liku trillioni atano umu nana. Nienga abili ga kusasura mabanja. Ugendu ukulaba baju menye menye muji ulide. Nga tuina just trillion kumi na satu. Zetu ulo ukulaba nga tukulako appropriation nga parliament. Echo chiba chichamu ati chiba chinyamze guangali ya fe ati chiba chinyamze guangali ya fe ati chiba chinyika. Sente si kwa wanza donation zezu. Ulo uza zechi zechi tagi sa mbaje chia kwa guangali. Chisa ukila dala ngo mbako wa parliament. Na subi na ati nangi. Nja kuwa haone donation, jivampa, mpenge nenga vile kuwa natuwa fe. Echitali hiyo, mbaka wa parliament, wavuli hiyo. Sikanya no mulundi no gumu, kuwa nti wali uomo kulembeza wa uba donation, agenda aga vila avantu. Kawe president uwe guanga, sentezo zikola nyo, ngaziri mpulu emu, egenda, okusovolo ukulaba, gekula kula nyevantu wa anseyo. Kuwa wakula kula, kula nyeza wamu, nyo mkuwa liwa kanya ne constituency development fund. Nga tujiko sisa system, Eyes on, hands off. Tiweka jaka uumbi, kula kula nye constituency, kakuatiwe mikono mitufu, haba ntuwa ganyuremu. Nye donation zizi neno, nga ziga wibwa offices. Sikanya na zonze, sima yi prime minister, sima yi presidenti, na kabele opu, obo gabida wa meko, na gabida wa meko. Obukade waba ntuburi mu Uganda, chitika tasobu la kula chi, ezo sento banga azu wa deyobu wi. Kasembele da, kubaje tinga wa uride, kwa hili opposition ya sports, oloza, antichimala. Uh, of course, uh, sports national council on Gayo, Emigozova, Muri Egidio, Bulio Mo Ariu Akava, Jagalo Kubategeza, Gamunavia Mizanio, Atabusi Babusi, Vedavia Galeno, Tewali Saint is about a camo sports. Boba take camo, but take camo to Twitter peanuts, Butono Dala, or two cage seller, never didn't you get a cove course in Avunanis Waku netball. Nengo uli nanti, annually, milioni bisatu, mubutufu milioni bisatu mu Uganda, ziba zigenda kolachi. Nechitegeza wateka mubutono dala. Tu ino kude yoku drawing board, ni tumanya ebiye mizanyo, bigata ko bitia. Eza tu ino kude ntumanya nanti, ni wanga obukatu, wawete bigata ko, because tu tiyo kugata ko, tu je sente mpidilivu, nga bazungu je vizaba fetching amu sports. Ni wabatu tade mu sente, ku investing amu, tu sobola kujia mu sente bakama wangi. Tuino, tuino biwe guanga, tuino biwe guango, kujikuwa echifana nchi, nchi senga tu dira government, sente ze yewo zezo nane ete kawa bali nete kwa ze saumuli eza ingudo, eza maru aliro, ezi tuuma, okubango muendo kwa interest munene, gotusa sula, senga sente ezo, tuso volo okubanga zige nda musaturation nezi kwa lachitegeza budget ya fe ya andi sewansi, na ye, okufana nako president wa fe, newe tunawa nebi, rooze, ebiru unji, bitia, Netubiteka mu government yenu nga sifa baso volo kusala onti chino chetu inako kukola. Chitegeza vyo nabye tutege kwa kukola tubatu yuwa mfufu, tuyuwa mutakate wali chetu suviza vana Uganda chigenda kubakolewa. Okuja konga tumazo kuchuso kukulembeze kwa guangali. Na yo kuwa kechifana nye kubichi ebitu kosa sawa zino kwe kugeza anti government okwe ula senti. Nezi sawa bali 
Neta zuko zisa. Ate sentezo nesi galangezi. Ezi sasulira umusoro mwenene nyo. Echi ukugamba po chitu nulira mwenti nino. Ebi ya maluari ronga bibibu ebiti. Na toi na josobola agenda kumpi maluari raga singa. Nga wali ebitande ebimala. Oba edagaleri mala. Nenga government ya ina senteze tulide. Ate ezi sasulira kwa umusoro mwenene nyo. Gamba chitu teka mumbele la ganti no mtu watu weleza ya gala kututira dala. Laba haba sobo zibali mkwe kala kasaluwa misolo. Na hiyo inasente zewe uweze zidu wabali zitu dezi soko la noku ya mbako okendeze mbele. Kwa gamba nse nchika la kwebu zana haba tufugo waba antu. Binebi ntue yumbi yeta go kujia momo zanyo. Tu sobo la kunga mantisente waze wola ebili yonezu kama bibili okukola marua alilo. Oku improving haku innovation zine technology. Na hiyo sobo la nazitu wala yo. Ovo ya gala nsi, ovo ya gala kutaba nansi. E, e, orugudo reji nja tulimanyi bulu nji ntubuli muntu alu yitako, okavira yu. Nze nteno kuru kwa tata wabanga matutu genda jinja nera liikirita. Kubanga jamu haku kwa tata wabanga kwa sivide mkomera. Na yu mtu ye wada esende zuka mbubumbiro na na. Okukolo orugudo azituli de, azue romu soro na yesende. Ta inakola, cha inakola. So priorities za government tuwa gala kubuza. Ezi tekawa. So tuga mantisenga, esetenga right priorities. Nti kuimprovi nge ngudo, we uzi sente. Na hii Uganda, Kampala, budu uo ita vinyavi, 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 vinyavi. Chikuwe uunyisa. Ovulumi, buno tuwa gala na Uganda bategele. Nti senga fetu batide nobu yinza saa wemu. Tuwa andi gambi ya bugambi. Kati olugudo reji njava lukole ncha. So, wandi wa deto oza. Ne, echi ukula vila kei chilala. The government ye wale sende zisho kamu. Mu, mu, efuru miya sende zisho kamu bilio. Nichiku michinana. O ukupa angisa evi zimbi. O mukole we mire muja government. Ugamba, echi ndo echi chilu miya no mtu. O mtu. Nebo obe ila gu. Masobo lo kwe wala. Ngo, ngo, ngo. Ogena kupa angisa wali. So, ogena no gula wali ye wa achidi echi zimbi. Chibuli mwaka ta sawala gula echi zimbi. Ugamba, government. Chila vika nevi zimbi vya hawe. Kugamba, bana abantu, vintu vya nae wako la vya, vya kwenye giri zansi. Na ye, tuwa kade bala gachifana nyo, niti senga senters no, zikuwa asibu avuru unji, nguanga liyandi, guovoro demu nyo na abantu bali. Kuganga, echi imiriza o budget mwonsi, doza, wanditu nide sekta zibidi, vya nji giri za, ne vya obola. Kakati uweva angavana vacha asumera wansu wa emiti, ningo ina senti, kuzituli de. Kwa hivyo nitu vino vye uunyisa, nitu vino kubibu lila vana yugana, nevi avurumu. So, echifana nchia tukeza kwa kuwanti, ni wankuwa desa wazi nevirozo vya kutevi soko la kutoka. Na hivyo mainti mbange, ritaliri ya wala, hivyo vitu wagalo kusa mungkola, kuangali vene mmasu. Hola, mwje mwkundi yo, jenda yo, kwenye meka yo. Mzee Shadomi Nisa wa Agenda, Labor and Social Development, Sector Yona, eno sekte kwata kumbera zo obuntu nga abantu mwe muli abakozi mwe muli enkula kulana ne chikula cho muntu nga alternative budget wa demu sente 1.3 trillion nga zino zisingira dalo genda kwa bantu okutumbula embera za abantu eno ye sekta ekwata dalo ku bantu ku bachala enkula kulana ya bachala abavubuka abakadde abaleba kati fe Sente ya fe ya kuteka sente, mwebi ya bigendo kuyamba, ukutumbula zetu ita vulnerable groups of people. Ukutumbula embeda za abwe. Atena damu sekta ya di very delicate. Sekta ya labor externalization, banabana wagende ewe. Abaga ni wako la Saudi Arabia, abaga ni wako la Udabiona. Inti baleta sente nyingi mwe ekonomi. Na yate ntono nyo eziteke buwamu, ukulaba ngatulo ndole embeda za abwe. Edie buwe lujiba genze, no baya amba kuwa nga wizubi nyo ibafuna. Eno sekta yoke nyini nga yyo efunye 105 billion. Ukulaba nga tuteka wezo systems ezira gabantu zike na kulondula abana wano. Ukubaya amba yu na jiba genze, kuwa nga wera mawanga. Embele jibali mte tujitegela na yenga fe government. Tuwa tuina ukubafu hako, wadeba genze wele wa yugana. Kuwa nga waleta sente. Sente nyingi. Actually wa contributing a sente nyingi nyo. Eno sekta eta sente nyingi nyo kubudget ya Uganda na yate tulaba nti ntono nyo ezitekebwa mu okulabanga sector ekula kulanyizibwa Okusokera dalala fe ngabo ludda oluwabula government byonna byetukola tubikola nga tubikola mu mateeka olwalero budget je tuyisiza eya trillion ana mwenya ekole ku financial ya eyo mwako ogujja Tutadeo bichibi ya tutekedua okusoke lako. Na hichi njagala okusaba government ya fi. Etekedua okuwa HTV wa. Oluda oluvuganya government. Nadala ebiroze ebiroetevua. 
tutunuli de singa government uh, e wa sente zo mu wo musoro ekitibwa ojja kwesanga nga okwewola kukendera ne sente bulwezeola ne tutatukiriza kigenderera kyazo che kya sinze okukosa egwanga lino kubanga bwewola olwe kigenderwa nota kitukiriza atemo buta kitukiriza no beranga sente zibazi fulumye ate zibibwa ekyo kya bulabe nnyo awo no tunulide ekyo kuwa ebyobulamu a uh, priority ebyenjigiriza priority singa tuna tunulira ebintu ebisokerwako abantu bafe bajja kuba bayambi naye abantu bavu e sente zewolebwa tezikola kye zitekedwa kola ate zewolebwa ku ku interest enene chokate ne tuvawo ne zibibwa tusaba government ekendeze kububibwe sente singa sente zo muwo musoro teziwe bwe kitibwa kubanga kye kisinze okutatanye gwanga lino nenga njagala okwebaza a uh, uh, aboludo olwabula government okubanti no tusobode okuisa budget je tugenda okuteka ku fulo atera tusaba parliament ejwe kitibwa nga fetu tunulide trillion ana munya so si sente ndala zonna Uganda. <laughs> Ate na abali mbuyinza, ate bali sibe tegefu, kubite kesa mungkola, kuwa wachimanyi, mbabi kola, uh, bagi na kubanga badda wansi, kubabu bagi kola budgeti za wenga, batu nuri demekaze baba, so si meka ezi amba abantu. Budgeti jetuko za mbaja kwe unyanti, nga ikako wansi kwe yu, government jefurumia, uransu nga fe mbajeti ya fete, tuba liride muza ababi, ababi badi batiloba wa yobu umbi obuli obu trio ni zekumi, okuda wa guluze bagi za koku kunyaga mungeri ya mbendala, na efe kuruno, Tutuzitademu. Fiche tuwa lili decheche. Chigendele muna Uganda. Eda echi amba muna Uganda. Nja kuwe bazawa nangu wetu kozo muli mugunu. Kuwa utunuri ya doketi ya ministry ya agenda. Uwele duwa kusimbi ya zitegele kika ngele wa ntua watunuri de echikula chaba. Nti tufunye trio ni emu. Nobu mbitano. Zino sende ziba zigera tuya ambako nyo nyo nyo. Okudu ukilira abachala. Okudu ukilira abakade. Na abavubuka mu programs ne projects. E ziba yamba okwe kula kulanyi. Mudoketi ya fenga minister wabavu katuina obu umbi chukumi atano. Obu umbi buna chukumi atano. Obu ina projects ezenja uze bugenda mu. Okuli ya green job. Okuli ya appreciative. Okuli nendala. Zineno program tuwazi uh, wezidi. Na yete zina funding. Government ya badengezi teka unga. Izo gira kwa ni haba ntubazi manji. Yate zina funding ya mala. Niyo tuwa tuistade mu sente. Tukiliza chige na kugeza kwa okuda mu echibuzo. Echa experience. Eba debu uzi waba nafe. Njoo vamo university. Njoo university mo vude. Njoo vamo university experience. Okufuno omulimu. Nenga wachi manju waka graduating. Nenga wakua gaza experience. Ya miaka. Ejiri mwebili. Obe miaka esatu. So in a program. Okukipinga. Nga tuli unemployed. Egenda kubange wa abantu omukisa. Na vubu kwa vude mu university. Okukukule lao. Nga bayi ingiza. Nga bayi developing skills za wenga abantu. Ate. Baso wolo kubanga wafuna na experience ya basobo zesa. Okutula miri mweje jama anji. Senga jiba jiri advertised. Baba baina webade bakorela. Nga program. Government jema anji. Yela ekorebu ebi tongole. Ebi, ebi, ebi ateke wawo government. Okubanga biwa abavubuka. Skills is in. So vimu kubi ntubi tuwe nyumirizamu. Yela vimu tutunuri dokulanga. Tuke endeza kubula liye mirimu. Kubi vimu kubi tu gobamu. Tiwe muma liliza. Uh, Mazoku soma oise bulunji. Baku sabe experience. Orushi jiota ina. Atene bata kuwa mkisa. Kufuna experience ya ngoli kumunimu. So, fetuko ze proposo nga mbye tutunuri de tuina muu project singezo. Ya zige ndo kuyamba kaba. Ntunga tuina muu avasa uba. Engineer. Budi mulimu. Omu ntua vera kone sector jagu wamu. Ere wetu soo mudeploying. Ane agendo kono holo za nchi. Ogusee anani ogusee pumbala budo nji mwa. Ogusee nga kani wamu nga laga kumentu kwa ya leto. Kwa ya mbali ya mwa kwa Ah, toto nuli de, ukubati sente zite kebwa kwebi ya viga samu na Uganda. Tujemu sente ezi bibwa, tujemu sente ezi tekewa mkoe uro kutasani de. Ah, echo kubidi, ah, toto nuli de ukubati sente zino tugenda kuziteka ku basics. For example, wetu ziteka kubiobulamu, netu ziteka kubienjigiriza. 
ne tusteka ku byengudo no ku empowering abantu bafe mu byemirimu tulabanga tuba tukole dedalo omulimu ogugasa bana Uganda abasokerwako center zisingo obunje zibadde zilete banga mu budget zibadde zili mu center nnyinge zimaliza nga zono ne dwa bono nebwa endala nga tabaswa na kunyonyola waje zaraze socho vola bafe twagenze okubalirira obulungi ngate wali kudibuda ko na ngo busana mu obusa tubo malira dalala bulungi Na tui milide wamu na hava subu ziba fe Ela tuongela edobo zili ya febuli weta agisa Tie misoro jisu se Okusingi la dala hava subu zi uh, Bayina echizibu choku manti bo Tebaina musoro guankala kari la gweba manyi Gusasura kubia maguzi ya hava lese Omu subu zi emabe gako emye zingebi di emabe gabada Sasura buka dechikumi Kubuka dechikumi muabili oku ingi zebi intu Na ene bakula ganti kati container jisa surila buka debi na Eda Kontaina za zisu kila dana mubita anuzale mede ku revenue nga hava subuzi bazi boykoti so kuzija urembela yu misoro. Ita ili tax. Omisoro ugo hava singo bungi bagu ita inflees. Omisoro ugo nobuli chintu chona omisubuzi cha atunda katika tibuli waka furumia. Achaji ingi wa sente za asa sura. Gatepamu nyonyo desi genda kukola chi na ija singa achaji ingi dua. Omisubuzi azira vanga penalty obanga echimone rezo. Kumanga ezi singo bungi bagu endo kumaliriza nga tege gandi bade ama goba gabwe. Okugeza, omusubuzi senga tunde chitu cha mituwa lomkaga muetano, asasule mituwa lomuenda kuhidi sita ebe furumye. So, hava subuzi bandi ya wagade, nti atlisi newa wana vagala okubajia kwa msoro kwa itaksi. Gwandi wa do msoro kwa nungagusa suro munu di gumomu mwaka, nga pola yavawa sasura KCCA. Enso nge ndala, revenue, Uganda Revenue Authority, tuwa gale veyo na yekole report. E gambe mu parliament ya Uganda, tiba nage, nze nteke semi soro jino mungkola. Na ye mwemba njikunji kunga, nyamfuno obuzibu kumanga jisu kilidobu nji, hata jiri na mwemba njimu wa mateka. So, chidja kuyamba kone parliament, evitongo levina vaye bienja urudari, evifuna njizibwa mkunga nye misoro nga yuara, eh, nga vila gobu zibu webu funa, parliament edemu, etunulida revise nga kumisoro jino. E choku wili, e enso nge ndala, e misoro jandiba denga nga bajiba jirete, bajisoka, nebebu uziba ku sekta, zibaga loko ongela kemi soro, obebi nituwe bigendo kulete buwa kemi soro, nga bebu uza kwa ababi kola, e, 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 ababi kola, e, chilala nejiwe nga jiso mesebuwa, ama tunebate gera, nebaba agazi so kusasure emi soro, na yenga jino, ejiri double taxation, wa triple taxation, ejigani wa mateka, jiwe renga jiva u. Thank you. 